Hello, everyone. I heard you like N64. Oh, you don't? No one likes it? What? This is a fucked up time to tell me the truth here, chat. That's... I mean, there's like 10 games. I get it. <laughs> no, this is a 10 really good games. <laughs> what? Chat, how could you wait until now to tell me this? That's so fucked up. Well, we're here to check out how the N64 is coming along on the Mr. Core. It's apparently really big. Whoa. It's like invading everything. Yeah, that's fucking huge. And see me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bob. It's just me and the N64 now. That's my dance. What's Mario? Yeah, restart that timer. There we go. And uh, maybe get this to a reasonable size so that way we can see my co-host still. Yippee! This is just how it was from the Mister. Sorry, it's unplayable. <laughs> I put it in the fucking feedback log. I'm like, bug. It is huge. <laughs> okay. Oh my. Here we go. Okay, we're good. Hey, Bob. Hey. Weirdly, I will let you start by playing Mario 64. Whoa. So for anyone who's curious what the state of the N64 core is on the Mr. Currently, you, um, you can't boot a normal ROM of Mario 64 because the face... Mario's face on the title screen uses hardware that isn't properly supported yet. He's too powerful. It's too powerful. He's of headstrong. A face. <laughs> um, but oh no, people have made ROM hacks to skip that, and so that's what we're using: the no face hack. Whoa. Um, I'm floored that this is the case because I did a test run last night to make sure it was stable. Right. And. It's... I haven't had critical problems with any game except for Mario 64's face. That's crazy. Oh, and we're using... You can't see it because of the crop. We're using the NSO N64 controller wirelessly. Yeah, completely wireless. Whoa. From Nintendo themselves. Insanity. Whoa. And Nintendo says they lose money when, when emulators get involved. How does it feel? It feels too good, actually. The N64 controller stick never felt like that. That thing always felt like weird in a way where you could feel both axes of pressure pushing against you on the stick. That thing, <laughs> that thing feels like it was made one generation later, I think is a good way to put it. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. Very nice in a weird way. Yeah. It's weird that my complaint is they should make it worse. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Maybe by the end of the stream, that will be my complaint about the Mr. Core. That is too good and we waited too long to do the stream. <laughs> we want to see more problems. <laughs> I can't remember the exact... Um, the exact thing i th think it was tlb was the hardware i don't know <laughs> i used to sing mario 64 at less than 60 frames per second in hd in this channel <laughs> yeah that's fair oh no i'm i'm really sad that we got this quality of emulation and bob's gonna die before he gets a single star and we're just gonna shut the game down. You know, before we continue this, here, let me let me take us through some of the visual features yeah, and things sure. we can turn on and off in the uh, Mr. Core, which is really fascinating stuff. Um, yeah, this should make for a good use case. So, cool thing about, they made a driver, personally for the N64 controller, so it works at the Mr. level. <laughs> All I had to do was sync it, and it was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway. So, we have all these things that are normal N64 features. And you could just turn them off to make it look like a PS1, basically. <laughs> it's pretty cool. That's, that's really neat to me. Or as some of you might know, it looks like Mario 64 DS. <laughs> um, some of these are actually really cool to leave off, like... Uh, you know, the texture filtering is neat, I suppose. It makes the clouds look correct at all. Right. 
the dithering, uh, you know, you can see it somewhat. I'm going to do a super zoom so you can really see it. Um, that's that you got going on there. So we turn the dithering off. That's how it would look. Doesn't have smooth gradients there. You turn the dithering on and then there's a D dither. And when you combine those two, that's how you get your gradients on the N64. Make it look a little bit smoother. So once again, that is uh, D dither on, D dither off, and then dithering off entirely. And now you understand why dithering exists. <laughs> it's wobbling because uh, the 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 something stomping around or Mario's animation is causing the camera yeah, to bump into the ramp. We're right next to that rolling ball, so that yeah, I figured it. it's either that or Mario's animation. I'm not positive. Um. Let's get out of the big cam mode because we don't need that to show off this next one. Uh, bilinear filtering. Like, you can just look at the HUD stuff on top and just watch as Mario's face for the uh, health just gets, like, smudged. And everything else like that gets smudged like that. Let's super zoom in for people who can't see that well or, on, or, or, or are on mobile. There you go. That's, yet again, the N64 just did that. But I think it looks really nice to turn off. So, personally, I'd leave the dithering on, sadly. <laughs> I'd leave the bilinear filtering off. And from there, I don't know. I'll let it keep its divot, even though I fucking hate that feature. Wait, what is it? I don't know what its intended purpose is. Let me see if I can fucking find something to show it off, though. Let's look around here, I bet. Oh, I know something that... Absolutely shows that off. Okay, I gotta run over here. Sorry, chat. Tolerate for just a moment. There we go. Okay. One moment. Let me grab that coin. Okay. Now I can move this down. Is that gonna have the menu in the way? Yes. Okay, let's... Move slightly over. That should do it. Okay. So... How do I put this? <laughs> let's turn off the texture filtering. Or maybe not. Oh, man, that floor looks really different. The divot is a really bizarre thing. And if you look at the edges of textures and things, you can huh. see the anti-aliasing it. So that's divot off. And that's divot on. And divot on is good in theory when looking at one picture. Because, yeah, oh, yeah, that looks great, right? Like, it's smooth and doesn't stand out weirdly. Mario, Mario, don't go to sleep, Mario. That's how you get... That's how they get you, Mario. <laughs> but in theory, that's like a good feature because it makes the texture look more a part of the world. You know, there's no longer a hard outline on the outside of the poles and things. Mm -hmm. like you can see. Right. Uh, but it's per frame. So the context of what you're looking at will make the edges of objects morph and shit. And that's always driven me insane about N64. I say always. It's driven me insane for a while now about the N64. Uh, let me go ahead and take this up over here and I can show you exactly how that might play out. See how that tree is behind the X? Yeah. So it has now made the X bloated on one side. Huh. By turning it back on. Weird. And if the camera rotates, it will no longer be that. So anyway, I think it's awesome that these features are here and it totally earns its keep just with that. Hey, Dan Bob. How's it going? Yeah, no, that remake sounds really good. I haven't had time to play it. Anyway, keeping the bilinear filtering off. That's just, I don't need that smudge. And... So hi-fi, I don't know. Right? And these pixels are so crispy. Some of this stuff on the N64 you could turn off with Game Shark codes. Yeah, I remember that being a thing. But anyway, that's, that's, that's how that's going here in the land of Mr. Core and 64 stuff. Um, sorry, I don't want to rob you of your triumphant uh, grab at that first star. There you go. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, that sound, sounds really good. I was watching uh, Phenomenon play it. He was playing it on the Switch. I've seen the demo on PS5 and looks even more ridiculous. Dan will eat the whole cake if you let him. It's true. Yeah, yeah, we can't stay in, in Mario to for too long. I, I had to dangerous. stop myself last night from just spending the whole night playing 
in 64 games because I had a thumbnail to make. That was not an easy Photoshop. <laughs> that was a weirdly difficult Photoshop. Now imagine if you picked him up that second time because instead of punching in front of you, you did a spinning attack. <laughs> what a concept. Where you had a larger hitbox on right, your Right, I was like, I think I just a larger hitbox to be nice. I don't need a giant cooldown or anything. Hey, you can spin attack and not have a giant cooldown. You gotta disassociate <laughs> these concepts, Bob. They are two different ideas. <laughs> oh, I understand that. It's just they weren't in that game. <laughs> but they're in other games like Crash Bandicoot. Yes, I still haven't played that Mario 64 mod with the shotgun. He should go to the slide. Yeah, it's the crash cooldown is uh, incredibly small compared to Mario Galaxy, which right. is not much of a statement when you when you think about it. I thought the stream was late tonight because of the daylight savings happen. That's true. All of our international friends uh yes. didn't know it's true. well that's that's why you go on over to the uh discord where discord's events thing actually adapts to your time zone oh my god and twitter should have that feature and i actually when the discord events thing came up earlier this year and we started using it i spent a lot of time yelling about how twitter should have that fucking feature it's a communication platform why shouldn't i be able to type in a text string and then just this is a time. Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't Idiotic. know why they want to add the most basic, just like, of course that should be here feature. I just Instead, it's going to so become dumb. a dating site. <laughs> Instead, it's what? Going to become a dating site. Oh, is that another thing that's he another said? Yes, that's another he thing. said a lot of things. He it's said hard a lot to keep up with it all. And a bank. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the one I always... Just like GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> Gaming is the shit, and GameStop is my bank. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I don't trust Twitter with my money. Yeah, that's, that's, you know, smart, because I'm pretty sure the people who gave Elon the money to buy it also don't trust Twitter with their money anymore. <laughs> right? With a quick pulls out a gun and just shoots your kneecaps. Right? Every time Tesla has bad financials, Musk snorts an 80s records label party <laughs> and dials Twitter engineers to announce his plans. And now I can't. That would be too self indulgent. I can't just hit that buddy and button anytime I want. <laughs> Are you sure? What if that's what's there for, Dan? Mm. It was pretty good during Sarlene's uh, extra life charity stream when the word plan came up and chat started filling with Karyas. <laughs> oh no! no! I don't think I failed against this guy in like so long, but it's over now. Check all the VODs. Oh, no. We need to know. What if I wasn't actually doing that one and I was getting the star behind the womp or the chomp and i was always doing that oh you were always doing that i, I guess i just <laughs> oh my god i guess a, a, a bomb might have killed me instead actually that was a water bubble well they shoot the bomb shoot the water bubbles <laughs> well really bowser put the bomb there so <laughs> Man, I, I think I really need to get used to playing this in 60 on the PC. <laughs> right? Yeah? <laughs> it's a great experience. I was telling Bob I should make uh, my top level, uh, you know, spectrum video where I say exactly 
Oh, Bob, you don't know. You have to know the tech to do that. Oh, you're right. You have to hold A, and as you're running up it, hit B repeatedly. Oh, yeah. that's how I you do that. I learned this watching Maximilian's chat teach him that. Because huh. I don't go out of my way to look up like weird shit to do in Mario 64 and how to do it, which is why I still can't skip Lakitu. Uh, but I was just there, and people explained that to him, and he was like, oh, this is great. I was like, oh, shit, that is great. Um, but yeah, I was a top-level Spectrum video where I explained the... I rank every possible way to play Mario 64 on a chart. <laughs> that would be so good. I would say it would be just as deranged as that one guy reviewing every fried chicken sandwich. <laughs> Partially because I watched that video, I was like, you know what? I want to I want to try Wendy's chicken sandwich again. I was hoping he was gonna say Jolly Bees. No. You're a loss. Yeah. Tosh no, and I are going there. No, I want to go to Jolly Bees, but Jesus, it's what, Bob? It's just a 600 mile trip, one way in a car. Right. It's just to Jacksonville. There's gotta be something else to do in Jacksonville, right? Please, Jesus. Um, wouldn't we pass the uh? candy place on uh, the yeah, way? because that's Tallahassee. Right, so we could at least stop there. That's true. That's something. Th this thing is incredible, but it's missing the little, the little switch the here. Little, the little release. Pad. I bet the, with the a saw, thing. we could engineer. <laughs> yeah, I know. It really is it, like it the is fidget like, toy no, that I, came I, free with your N64 yeah, like, control. I, it seems so wrong to not have something there to hit. <laughs> Yeah, you're just like your 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 middle finger's reaching up to hit that while you're bored and it's not there. Right? Here, can I Yes. You know, I just I know how much you love Mario 64, but if I got a little <laughs> bit of time with your favorite game before we move on, that would be good. What was uh but yeah, so I tried Wendy's today. Oh no, oh no! I didn't realize this instantly inspired a mistake. Okay, so how'd that go? Um also I overheard I think it was you watched the Sara stream where I was like, Oh yeah, Wendy's chili is like the best thing. Yeah, it's the best smell. She uh, hasn't eaten it. She hasn't eaten chili. Oh. But since she frequents Wendy's. I see. Yes. So I got the chili and then their, their classic chicken sandwich, which used to be good. I remember it was one of the first good chicken, fast food chicken sandwiches way back in the day. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. It, it is such trash. It's so much worse than a, a chicken sandwich from McDonald's now. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's depressing. They uh they do not try on that thing, no sir. They try way harder on a junior bacon cheeseburger than they do their fried chicken sandwich. Um, so that was really disappointing. But the chili was still good. Yeah, the chili's still great. Like, uh, as it turns out, if you just let meat like sit in a thing and boil all day, uh -huh. it'll figure out tasting good on its own. You don't need to educate the meat. <laughs> <laughs> Popeyes came out of the chicken sandwich war on top. Uh, I'm really sure that's the case, but Jolly... Didn't Jolly Bees win that video? Jolly Bees won that video. And but th they're th the only place I could entertain winning over a Popeye's chicken sandwich, because do you know how much the Philippines loves fried chicken? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other ones ranked above it in that video were places I also had never been to. I can't remember like, any of them. Someone's hot chicken... Dave's hot chicken, I think? Yeah, something like that. Um... And a few others, I was like, is this really... I guess this is fast food somewhere. <laughs> You're like, is this guy making up places? No, he's too busy trying to check out... He's too busy trying to go to a fast food place that's clearly been broken into live while he's trying to check out. <laughs> yes. God, I wish I could remember the name of that YouTuber. I'm not the hugest fan of him, but, uh... You know, he, he, he does some alright videos. I'm sure someone here knows what fried chicken sandwich for video i'm looking at chat instead of paying attention right. to me on a slide jolly bees doesn't exist where i am it, it basically doesn't where i am either i gotta go 600 miles right like it's like it's in florida the literally one of the farthest places in florida <laughs> from us it's in florida notionally <laughs> messed up it takes like as long as it would take to get to orlando yeah is is fried chicken not as important as theme parks <laughs> i don't know here's the thing though bob yeah if we don't go to jolly bees now okay yeah it's never happening 
That's true. They are not it's building more. No, they're really not expanding at a rate that anyone can notice. Like, maybe it's happening, but so slowly it doesn't matter. Yeah, Joshua, Joshua Wiseman. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. So anyway, and we're moving out of Florida. Right. So it's not convenient now, but it becomes absolutely fucking ludicrously, stupidly impossible later. Um, yeah, I was like, well, maybe there'll be some... Reason to go to Jacksonville. Right, not Jacksonville, but maybe some other city that has it. I don't know if there's ever, uh, like... There are very few. I mean, yeah, maybe if we go to the West Coast, because they also have places in California. Uh, there's also the other, the other way. <laughs> we go to Riggs. <laughs> we go to Hawaii and eat Jolly Bees with Riggs. Yes, finally. <laughs> I mean, that honestly would be a pretty great trip. Um... This says Jacksonville's about as far from here as it is from you. <laughs> If God. Probably, he, if he's probably right. <laughs> God! That's so stupid! It is. Everyone acts like we're in Florida so we have quicker access to everything. It's like, actually, no. We're in the wrong part. Do Bojangles have a chicken sandwich? Hmm. Uh, pretty sure. Yeah, that seems like something they'd have. I'm I don't remember sure they were in that their, video. That's their deal. I thought they were. Um... Yeah, Raising Cane's and, um... Zaxby's? Okay, I guess it was Zaxby's, but Raising Cane's also ranked pretty high, and that, that was a really good chicken sandwich when he had it. Oh, yeah, that was excellent. Congrats. Hey, buddy, can you, uh... Thank you. Okay, that's cool, Comet Advent. Good luck. I still haven't shipped ours out. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. Oh, you know how to get fixed. Right. And you ship that out, and then start driving. <laughs> Apparently, KS Emeralds is only 30 minutes plus from a Jolly Bee. Oh. Yeah, no, that's. For people who don't know, it's a Filipino fast food chain that's setting up in America. Um, it's, it sounds really good. Tosha's Filipino, so when she talked about Jolly Bees and how it's now, like, in America, I'm like, what? We should do that. I'm trying to think if there's any other stars I want to get before I just bounce to another game. Mm. Yeah, this game seems to be working great. Yeah, no, I I played a decent amount last night. I think it was 12 stars. I don't know. And it just worked great. It was weird. Because, once again, the title screen doesn't work. So you don't expect the game to basically be flawless. Right? Bastard that, child. That 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 Wendy's chicken sandwich is one of the worst I've ever had. Yeah. Like they just uh -huh. slathered it in mayo. Yeah. And it dry chicken. What, what, what happened? <laughs> it's so depressing. I felt like, oh yeah, I won't get their fancy, their weird nacho cheese thing. I'll just try the regular thing I haven't in a long time and I was betrayed. <laughs> oh hey. Look at this. That's what? I don't know if no I, one no, wants no that. One, no, one's, no one wants that. No one wants that. They want Blast Core. That's what people oh. care about. They care about Blast Core. Oh. What's, what's, what's disgusting? What's, what's wrong? What's, <laughs> I don't understand. Look at that! It's so fancy. At least that looks cool. I wonder if Killer Instinct works. I haven't tried it. I actually haven't even played this at all, so it may break the second. We're in unknown territory. I just Great. booted it last time and left it running while I worked on thumbnail stuff. Oh, that's true. We could also test Castlevania 64. Oh, God. Yes, we can. It's going on work. We haven't booted it yet. Yeah, I oh. haven't even booted that. So it may just crash at the title screen. We don't know. Oh, that's um, wow! Yeah, that's not right. It's got some cracks just, in the earth. I'm just gonna check that I didn't leave some. I'm sure turning these back on will. Well, let's I mean, turn the... off everything and see. That that's honestly pretty fitting for this game. You kind of destroy everything. So why wouldn't the earth be shattering? <laughs> All of my drifting has cut striations into the earth. <laughs> um, 
worth noting. This is one of those N64 games. Oh, I thought that was the noise dither thing was on. That's crazy. That just does that. Yeah. I wonder why, <laughs> right? I thought it was the noise dither filter uh, feature, like um, like Star Fox. You, you know what? Oh my god, I don't... The, it's the, funny because I was used to that video looking sharper in the corner because I played this on the Rare Replay. Oh, okay, that's why. It's weird, now we're pretending it's a PS1 game. Yes. Wom, 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 wom. She calls me on the, on the this television screen and is like, Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm like, you sure blowing this up is essential? Oh yeah, yes. that, that's just gonna end it all if I don't get rid of that. Here we go. Order up. Yes, but what specifically? <laughs> Leveling everything will you get you a commendation? Should it though? Thank you, Anti Magic Toxin, for the Prime sub. I'm worried that playing this because this looks like a lot of the cities I drove past or through. Uh huh on the trip is going to make my brain do what Tony Hawk did to like teenage brains when it came out where you're just looking at shit to skate <laughs> and now I'm going to be looking at shit to be like yeah I could take a bulldozer to that, that... <laughs> well, I think you'll be safe as long as you don't drive a bulldozer up there yeah you won't get the urge mm. how much sleep have I had that morning though god you just need to get that gigantic bulldozer they have for the Jackie Chan movie ha <laughs> Um, God, Mr. Nice Guy, I believe, is the one that had that. Yes, I think that's right. Where it's just it's two stories tall. <laughs> the real threat at this point is me accidentally bumping into the truck. Oh, did I leave some fences up, bro? I, I'm sorry. Did I not commit enough murder? Yes. You always need to kill more. Oh, hey. Who knows what that TNT was supposed to be using? Thank you, Dakota, for the sub. Sorry, Wing Alabama Dan played Blast Corps. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the thing. I imagine if that happens, it's definitely not this mister. Like, it's a next generation FPGA thing. And at this rate, I'm guessing it's the guy who made this in the Wonder Swan Corps, which is the same dude. Jeez. I'm really glad I can be a patron of said person because clearly their work is important. Yeah. Um. You know, there's a chance that some of the vehicles just don't work. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do one or two more levels. Yeah, I didn't know there was a Wonder Swan core being worked on. That's pretty crazy. Oh, we have it. Okay. We, we, we did a stream on that. That was what we did. Rockman Challenger from oh, the future. Yeah. yeah, that dude That dude did that and just kept moving. It's great. <laughs> it's funny. Anytime the game doesn't make a sound as you break an entire building. <laughs> just, just silently. Hey, Toshiro Nico. Saturn Corner is on the main branch, but it's not done. Yeah, it is really not done. That thing is busted in a way you kind of expected this to be because the N64 was allegedly impossible. <clears throat> it's really funny. All, we have all these videos about the Mister where people have been like, the N64 is simply too advanced. Uh huh. And here we are. Nice work. Nice work. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Where's my where's my quirky vehicle? Wait. Oh god, can I get into that? Oh, that just ends the mission. Huh! I don't know that I figured that out that entire playthrough we did. <laughs> well that could have saved a little bit of time. Oh good, we start in Thunderfist. Show us what you got! <laughs> that's a, that's a fucking Homestar voice actor. <laughs> it is absolutely. Hey yo. Hey bubs.
people be like, I'm not sure if 3D gaming is cool. And then you show them Metal Robot Man who roll and do a Shoryuken. I mean, he's so shiny. You have to be excited. But if only he had ray tracing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if only. Wasn't someone working on CPS 3 core? Uh, yeah, Jotago, I believe, was supposed to be doing that. I still haven't seen that cropped up, but I've seen a lot of cores coming from them. Uh, I'm a patron of theirs, too. Yeah, hopefully that, that happens, because, oh, man. I think that's one of the most important cores you could make. Yeah, just even if it's basically just there for Street Fighter, Third Strike. It still is. Right. Anyway, let's turn all the features back on. Oh, look, now it looks like an N64. Great. Sure. Yeah. Man, I'm, I'd be really curious to try the, the Saturn core as well. Although it sounds like Imagine it's a stream best. where nothing works. Right? See this, we... It's working way better than I expected, but I knew to some extent it would work at all. Right. That's why we can't make a roulette out of this. I don't want people to donate, and then it's just like your game doesn't work. Yeah. It's a good sound. That's the sound of camera. I don't understand. Why isn't it playing the country song anymore? <laughs> uh, because we're in a cool jetpack thing. We need sleepy music. <laughs> You're just trying to impress me. You're trying to impress me. Ooh. Man, the N64 is really powerful. It can draw a single thing the Dreamcast wouldn't even struggle with in the least. Assuming nothing else is on the screen. Yeah, I'm surprised this is working so well when the Earth is cracked. Yeah, I'm very curious what the stuff is with that. Like, what exactly causes that? Okay. Let's, let's, it is time to get moving. I agree. Hopefully someday that one guy makes that shirt again. The uh, last core time to get moving shirt. Oh, okay. It's the guy who made the shirt you were wearing on that on Force Feedback Final Fantasy 16. Yeah. Bomberman. No one. No one. No one wants Bomberman. <laughs> Actually, I'm really just starting the stream with like our regulars, and then you know moving on to <laughs> just whatever the hell pops up in chat, and not. I, I mean, I don't know if anyone actually wants to see Sin and Punishment, but I guess we could boot it at some point in time. I don't know. Buck Bubble, just for the first level theme. That gets claimed. Buck Bumble does? Yeah, Jesus. that's what happened to our fucking 64 stream. I don't know if I ever got out of Buck Bumble. Yeah, I played this a little last night. <laughs> We're gonna start with Hang Glider. I like how it's our regulars. Mario 64 and then two games only Dan likes. <laughs> what? <laughs> These are games I, only I like, you Philistine. <laughs> they are, however, games you don't like. <laughs> is that Nestor? It really is. Right. They gave him a different name, so. Or did they? I, Either way, it's not officially the same guy, he's just absolutely the same guy. Yeah, Gauntlet Legends, I'm really curious to see. I didn't boot it, yeah. so I don't know what's going to happen there. It did, however, make me go, I guess we need four of these NSO N64 controllers. Right? Check out those amazing skills at landing with the hang glider. You can tell I really spend a lot of time playing the hang glider part of Incredible. Wing 64. Yeah, I'm practicing for Superman 64. <laughs> Mischief Makers would have been an ideal thing to test. Yeah, this is Lark. It's not Nestor. What are you talking about? His face has been so smoothed over in the model. It's hilarious. <laughs> we wrapped it in a bag. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to... We're going to we're gonna try to get as crisp an image on his face as possible. One moment. We need to... <laughs> okay. He's got like the Brunel face like going on. A little on. bit. So, Bob, what do you want to check after this? He said, Wahoo, thank you. Sure, he did. He, he, he did. go, whoa. He had a whistle in his mouth while he said it, I think. Oh, yeah. 
Well, someone else blew a whistle while he was trying to talk. It was very rude. How dare they? <laughs> oh, that's uh, that is a good question. How well does Resident Evil 2 work with all the um, I think that switching? same feature that doesn't work on the title screen of Mario 64 is a critical part of how that game runs. Probably. So I do not believe that game runs at all. I believe that's what I was reading in that Discord. I think it'd be fun to boot it. <laughs> oh yeah, we can still try to boot it and see it not work, but. Okay, will you do a spoiler cast of the Superman animated series for the Superman 64 stream? It's a long series. <laughs> yeah, they made a few episodes. Just a couple. Dan did boot up Perfect Dark yesterday, and that worked surprisingly well. Yeah, um, it actually, the, the specific version it wants is a, um, a ROM hack called the High Performance ROM hack, and I'm still not sure what's up with that, but then the game ran insanely smooth, and it was, it was like, it was like watching propaganda play out. That game <laughs> never ran like that. How the hell did they do this? I did, while trying to find out exactly what the deal with this, uh, I found, uh, news articles talking about how the decompilation on PC helped people optimize the original game more. Huh. So it may be related to that. That may be what the deal is. But Bob, you didn't answer my question. What do you want to do next? Uh, I guess going on. Okay. Which one? Uh, the, the first one, Mystical Ninja. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wow. For a moment, I was like, My what the heck is coming out of the right side? Oh, it's his arm. <laughs> it's a duck. <laughs> Taught the going month voters even more. <laughs> yeah, Bob, how could you be so rude? <laughs> Look, I know it's not going to win. We might as well play some. <laughs> Wait one moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Proto Rosalina. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> why did it sound like that? I don't... I don't know why she said that. <laughs> the, the sounding like that I could get over, but it was just really strange to be like... Uh... <laughs> hmm. Celestial big lady. She go yes in Echo and Stereo Pan. <laughs> Oh, shit. She has the power of a god. There you go, Bob. There's your explanation. Right. That's why she said it. I really need the fucking um, decompilation for this to happen and get done. That'd be pretty cool. I would love to play this game at a higher frame rate. But it's pretty cool that already the Pilot Wings Marathon, could it, two of the three games could happen on the Mister. Yeah. That's great. When's Mister hitting the 3DS? I don't know. Every day I think about hitting the 3DS. Man, it would be, it'd be great if we got the mystery to work on at least regular DS. Or PSP. Or PSP. Those, those are my goals. Man, there's so much DS stuff. I, I assume DS emulation is still just bad. I guess I don't know. Every time I bounce into a stream of a d emulated DS game, I sure hear audio problems, but who knows? I just don't trust anyone who says, actually, emulator is fine, because they're almost always wrong. Yeah. Bow, 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 bow. You mean PSP, Vita, or both? I mean, I doubt I mean, we could get Vita power. Right? Yeah, the Vita's too strong. I mean, we're talking about how it's a Christmas miracle that it's running the N64. Right. Look, Dan, I don't have ears. So is it on offspring? After saying the emulation is okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, you couldn't solve my riddle, Superman. <laughs> yeah, go back and fly through the fucking ring. It's funny that you'd say DS is fine and 3DS isn't. Like, that it's a nightmare because people constantly swear by Citra. So, this conversation's even further pointing out how no one should trust anyone on this shit. So Citra does both of them, I assume? No, Citra does 3DS. Okay. 
and if they swear by it, and then this person in chat's like, it's a fucking nightmare. That says everything I need to know. Last time I looked at Citra was when Pokemon Sun and Moon were, like, at all relevant, so like a few years old. Hmm. They're the same people who swear by PCS X2. Mm -hmm. stop before I hit the end of the runway. <laughs> Never. <laughs> they need to have like an anchor you throw it on these. It's so funny that once you're done playing, the frame rate jumps up to 60 frames per second. Like it just turns off the simulation and shit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. People have said that the uh, duck station guy coming on board has improved uh, PC SX2 immensely. Uh, Still, I will not give those people any quarter of rope. Because <laughs> they've lied to me every single time. I've never heard a pro emulation dude slash PC Master Race guy go, Oh yeah, no, it's bad. Like, for any emulator. Yeah. Ever. Yeah, no. They'd... I mean, a lot of it comes from they don't know what it was supposed to sound or look like hey, originally. Uh, here's a radical concept. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to sound like all 48 kilohertz played in a row. <laughs> pretty sure that's how sound works. Oh, hey. I'm pretty sure when you hit buttons, things are supposed to happen uh, within the second, not within seconds. Those are <laughs> two very different concepts. <laughs> no! Also, yes, the missile thing does sound like yeah, it does. But yeah, that's part of, like, those specific things are part of why the Mr. stuff is so much better than a lot of PC emulation. Because they don't... Like, there's not a lot of buffering for inputs or visuals. Uh, the audio, if it's working, usually plays correctly. It doesn't, like, have a bunch of jumbled mess going on. It doesn't skip kilohertz at random. Throw out the anchor! <laughs> okay. Anyway. But yeah, there's our 60 frames per second yeah. pilot ways. Yeah, what in the world? And then it's immediately like, oh, I'm gonna take it back down. <laughs> yeah, now it has to do a transparency. They have to do a basic mass, but it has these scores. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what plus what? <laughs> uh! <laughs> the N64 risk processor, sorry, MIPS processor is so strong. Dude. That's laser gun. Yeah, that's how menus sound. In the future, all menus will sound like laser guns. Uh, so you were saying the first going on. Yes. I mean, yes. There we go. There you go. Uh, this... Uh, we're talking about... They're talking about PS2 emulation. The real Beepo says playing Guitar Man on P PCSX2 is an exercise in frustration. So that looks a little incorrect. Yeah, that 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 shouldn't have the seams there. But no, it seems just a little off so far. Oh, do you think this will get us playing? It's too late now. Since this is a sane length of stream, possibly, uh, it should be easy enough to go in and re-render. Okay. I'm very curious if the whole intro can play out then. For a no, that's fair. Issues. I like how we've turned off all the visual features of the N64, so it's like, if they brought it to the PS1. It is weird that the, they didn't have, like, a full 3D going on PS1. They had, like, a more retro throwback one with 2D sprites yeah, and stuff. Yeah, and th that looked good. You did. It looked really good. But so did the last Super Nintendo one. Yeah. I'm, I'm sad they never brought that one to the States. Yeah, same. But of course, they just didn't want to bring any of them to the States. 
Oh, error code. Watch out. If that error code is impact will find you. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. I think that's the... The song took up 70% of the card. <laughs> um, I think that error code actually has popped up in every game that I've done. Like that had an error. Oh. Like that exact one, I think, is the one that always pops. I wonder what it stands for. Right. Oh, let me look this up. Oh, it just says, I fucked up. That's all. <laughs> I know a streamer who uses this as his exit song. That's pretty good. I kind of doubt the Kageyama song will get claimed. Comet Advent Buck Bumble got claimed. <laughs> it's not even about, are the original artists claiming the original thing? Right. It's, did some other asshole make enough remixes? I forgot there was, like, no voice acting. Yeah, no. I think there's a voice for impact. <laughs> oh, Ibisumaru. Ibisumaru! I tried to skip the cutscene. Oh, no. I think oh, I did you? Yeah, I hit the start button. Well, we got a different error code. We did get a new error code. So I guess Mystical Ninja going on. Not really working yet. Now imagine if one of you paid five dollars for that. You'd be like, I liked what I got to listen to the Kageyama song. <laughs> okay, Bob, remember on the Mr. Menu, B is yep, select. Yep. I'm constantly struggling with it. They made a fucking driver for this controller to work with the Mr. And some fucking psychopath out there was like, B should select things on the menu. Yeah. What? I do not understand these people. What's I, next? Bob? I have to just go try the next Pokemon game and see if that one works. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Shout out to the American Goemon magazine ad where his head is underwater with some ladies in a hot tub that are thrilled to have him there. Oh, American gaming ads. B4 please play this game. <laughs> Already have an air code. And that's the same one that hard crashed the other thing. Goemon's too advanced for the Mister. Goemon is too powerful. I'm sorry, everyone. Well, you know, if we're gonna hang out in the comedy glitch hour, here, hand that to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show them. <laughs> I show them the funniest, the funniest problems I ran into in my short time checking stuff out last night. Uh, Bob, you didn't get to see any of this, right? No. On Pokemon Puzzle League. Good. <laughs> Look at all this loading. You know why why this ROM is so big? I, I assume all the anime. So, uh... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's, uh, working great. Oh, look. It's fine. See? Yeah. It looks fine. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, Professor Oak. The funny thing is I remember back in the day when N64 emulators did this too. I think I think I like back at like 2004 or something. Right. I tried an N64 emulator to play this game because I'd never played it. And it had the same problem. Don't forget to come and see me in my office in Puzzle League Village. Yeah. Did you hear me, Ash? Eager to prove themselves in this new type of Pokemon battle, Ash and Pikachu race to Pokemon, Pokemon Puzzle, League Puzzle League Village. There it is, Pikachu. Are you ready for another new challenge? Wait, it's, it's so good. It's the funniest <laughs> shit in the world. They got four kids to edit them a new uh, cutscene for the video game. <laughs> Oops, I hit B. Oh, no. The mister has programmed my brain to not operate a menu correctly. Oh, uh, also worth noting for people, the analog video out on this core doesn't work yet. Hmm. They're working on it. Let's do it. Wow, just fighting Gary right off. Jeez. Well, I did choose easy mode. <laughs> but he's supposed to be so cool. Oh my God. He has a dead crab yet. <laughs> yeah, he put out the, the... Put out the crabby to fight... Anyways, as you can see, weirdly enough, the game's fine. Yeah. Which is pretty strange. I've actually seen, like, emulators fuck this up. <laughs> Every game takes place in Game Title Village. You're right, King Spomp. 
Bob, did you know we all live in a Pokemon world? God. Uh oh, it's gone. Ah. Uh, is it because Gary's so close to dying? Yeah, so I'll kill myself. Way to go. Oh man, if I swap those two. Oh. Playing this on a fresh N64 controller, the D-pad's a lot better for doing this than... Um, there's only one other mode I really want to check out. Um, it might just be faster for me to reboot the game, but let me see. Maybe the pause menu has a proper way to quit this. Maybe. Because there is another mode that's fancy enough where I could absolutely buy it would have issues. Let's see. Where would they put it? Do I have to go into... Do I have to go into verses in order to... Oh, wait, no, that was it right there. Wait, 3D. Mode? Hey, kid, get off the fucking Casio keyboard and oh. stop playing Pokemon songs. Okay, so it works, surprisingly. It, wow, yeah, also, it has that kid who had another Pikachu from season one. I don't think he ever came back. Now that's a banger. Listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> What's Pokemon like? Put it in 3D. Yeah. I ever love Rainy City, but Mitty. Yeah, who doesn't? Way to go. I, welcome to my uh, <laughs> my Geo Cities page. Right. What? I, I. Why is Why is Jigglypuff throwing up up there? What's Way up with go. that? Why is she saying stop? She's stopping the time, see? Because oh. I've done that, it stops going up. Damn. Damn! Way to go, way to go, way to go, way to go. Who's that dude in the green? That's the one I was just talking about, word number. That's the Ash's kid rival. Fucking Pikachu? I actually don't know this kid at all. So yeah, he he just shows up in the finals of the like the first season, has another Pikachu, and Ash and him have a rivalry for like two episodes, and they pretend he's going to be important and come back. I don't think he's ever seen again. That's good. Damn it, Dan! That was so close to something remarkable. But he yeah, shows outside up a few of... times in multiple seasons. Wow. Really? That's insane. I never saw another episode with this kid. Man, we're going to Pokemon go to the TV next. <laughs> really get to the bottom of this. At least then Team Rock will do something. Jesus. Yeah, that would actually be a real, a real fucking benefit of doing that series. Right? Get to see Team Rocket fucking get a job. <laughs> I actually didn't know that uh, Jigglypuff does that. That, that. that was new to me. <laughs> I have uh, not played a ton of this version. Because, you know, the N64 D-pad is not what you would call ideal. No. Uh, this one's tolerable. It's like a better enough D-pad. Like, I wish I had um, the, the real N64. Oh, we do. Over there. But yeah, if you use the D-pad on that, it is just more like smashing a flat piece of plastic and hoping it hits something. Right. This controller, once again, like, it's inauthentic because of how good it is, but it's also pretty good. So, once you get over that... <laughs> exactly, Chris did. It's like, time to follow up a sane length podcast was one four times the length of Bleach. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And that's why I'm not being serious. <laughs> Way to go. Way to go. Thanks, Bob. Why does... Why Ash is here? He's off screen. He's yelling at us straw screen. Bob, you are Ash Ketchup. <laughs> Ash Ketchup is you. We get, we, you clear all the blocks in here and you see that he's been locked in the tube the whole time. <laughs> oh no, it's a Mewtwo tube? Yeah, no, the tube you're, you're using the. To... Oh no. So am I helping him by? It's unclear. You might be doing the combination code to make sure he stays locked away. No. I was hoping I was at least waking him up from the coma. 
anyways, this this seems good. I'm kind of surprised given the videos have problems. And as we saw with Goemon, this core is not invincible. No, by no means. Goemon is just really powerful. We need to try Castlevania and see if that's too powerful. Yeah, I think like Castlevania 64 is the obvious next step. Way to go. Way to go. <laughs> Bob, uh, you know, you say it this many times, I'm starting to think that should be a sound. <laughs> <laughs> what are the guns that resolve this problem? It might get Dash out of the tank sooner. <laughs> I mean, if he's in the tank with a gun, I think he can shoot his way out. Right? Vigilante 8 is another good test. Most emulators don't run it well. Huh. I didn't realize Vigilante 8 was so powerful. Yeah, we should have access to that, so I'm all for that. Oh, Spiff, do you have some other suggestion for a sound? Yeah? Is that... What, 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 what other thing do you think would make a good sound? No, the timer isn't up yet. I was gonna, you know, get that set up the moment we're done here. If you saw what I just did, that would be what we in the industry call tap le top level just fucking around. Cause that should not have worked. And yet it did. It was like good combo and I'm like, Haha, they don't know. <laughs> I'm almost done. <laughs> I promise. We're uh -huh. moving on. Sure. Somehow the Jigglypuff haunting echoey filter is my favorite sound. Because it's like the last thing you hear before you die. <laughs> yeah, fair. Like put the fucking Osaka knife scene in here, but with Jigglypuff. You think chat would be upset if we just started having a ton of Azumanga and Excel Saga s s s or Excel Saga sounds? Uh, I don't know that I should care if chat's wrong. <laughs> hmm. Apparently, Spiff just wants the honey noise. Oh, really? How how many how long has it been, Spit? <laughs> yeah, be happy you got that one instead. It's just as good. And you definitely wanted that sound. Yeah, everybody loves that commercial. <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu, get out of the cave! What is he in the, the Pikachu? <laughs> Dang, yes. just uploading AMV L3 in the sound of <laughs> Yeah, just, just a giant amount. <laughs> the, uh, the entire thing just plays the whole thing. Uh-huh. Well, someone had 200,000 channel points, so I guess we're not seeing the rest of the game we had planned for tonight. Well, let's sit down. Whole stream's claim. Let's go. What's the success rate so far? Well, we've only had two games just not work. And then this one glitched. Yeah, this one has a glitch. Uh, the videos don't play back right, so... Wow, this level goes forever. I believe huh. it's a Weird. endless mode. That's that crazy. When up. will this level end? Who knows? You can't just crossfade them to different poses! Holy shit! I didn't... <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. I, I was not ready for... <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Okay, what were we just talking about moving on to? Uh, Castlevania, uh, I Castlevania. believe. Castlevania, okay. <laughs> that, that, that formatted my brain. <laughs> I assume we're going to do 64. Yeah, we're going to start with the regular. Then we can upgrade to the uh, Legacy, Legend, Legacy of Darkness. Legacy of Darkness and see if we can handle that. Yippee! It's, it's extreme power of being able to use the expansion pack. This isn't a good sign. It hasn't popped an error code, but it sure ain't doing shit. Right? Yeah. Hmm. I guess. Try to yeah, I guess. Who knows? Maybe uh, maybe the exact ROM 
I have for that is not what they want. I don't know. We tried Mischief Makers yet. I have, but not on this stream, so we will do it on this stream. Okay, and uh, neither the Castlevania is even boot yet. Weird. Huh. Unfortunate. Well, I guess we can do Mischief Makers. <laughs> I guess. Oh, no. There we go. Very sad. I was very much looking forward to playing the beginning of Castlevania 64. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm pretty bummed out. I always forget this is published by Annex. <laughs> Mischief Maker sure is a cool game. And it's got really good music. Did you know this is... This is one of the best treasure games, and in fact, definitely the only one on the N64. I'm sure you're right, Dan. Oh no, I don't want to become a 3D boulder now! Doesn't work. Oh. I'm shocked that didn't work. That is genuinely surprising. Okay, well, I'll have to write that down. Yeah, I guess we just loaded that file you started yesterday. Well, the intro throws an error code, so okay. it's it's worth at least going back for that. No, I've not heard the full Japanese theme for Mischief Makers. Man, I'm bored. I've been able to visit the planet of Can Cancer. I can't go out. Oh, L and R did uh -huh. advance the dialogue. That's crazy. It's called Troublemaker. It's great. I need to look that up. Was Bungayo also on the N64? I thought that was Dreamcast. <laughs> Thank you, Metal Paper Mario. Yep, there's the R code. I guess there are too many mans. <laughs> I genuinely don't know. There are a lot of mans. How about the treasure logo on the TV? Yeah, isn't that great? Oh no, they killed the professor and ate him. So, so far we played Mario 64, Blast Core, Pilot Wings, Mystical Ninja Going On, Going On's Great Adventure, Pokemon Puzzle League. Did I miss anything? Well, I we tried to boot Castlevania. Both right, those. right. But that's it, right? I think that's it. So we haven't done Sin Punishment yet, but we definitely will boot that up. I'm super curious. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. That's a text sound. <laughs> I wish the N64 had more 2.5D or even 2D games. Yeah. No, so it's, nice. it's so weird that how few we got. Okay, good. The like, pad's working and everything. Ouch, ouch! <laughs> wow, Bob, good job finding the secret collectible for this level. Oh, he's the warrior guy's guards what? Item shot, okay. Yeah, well, you can't get in. Unless. And then you just put him in fire. Yeah. Oh, grab that.
Okay, chat. I'm making a chart. Of all the games we're playing, what happened, and etc. Now I'm going to invite you to look at it. That way, if anybody has any questions about how certain games went, or if we played a thing, you can see. I always forget how weird the intro is, and I don't remember what to do ever. <laughs> well, I don't even remember if I beat the level booting it yet. No, I didn't. I know for a fact I didn't. Throw it at the red thing. Yeah, yeah. there you go. So that, that the using my save wouldn't have helped. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, B rank. Continue or I'm done. Uh, let's do one more. I'm, I'm, it's so over. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, now I want to make a video game and make that the quit game <laughs> selection. It's so over. <laughs> now you talking about Marina or fake Marina? <laughs> yeah, which one are you talking about, chat? <laughs> oh yeah, that was a good time to show this off. Uh, hey Bob, pull up the menu for the uh, for the core. Uh, go down to there to audio video. Um, and then there's crop vertical. Uh, hit the select button on that. Yeah. And so you can actually make it fill more of the screen by cropping more of the vertical space that's just unused in many games. Huh. Yeah. So so that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah. If you'll, if you'll leave that at eight, most games actually can use an eight. Sure. So that's really neat. Remember one of the Asian openings had him look at the cart for this game and so many people got mad he had to address it? No. No, I don't remember that. And as a Mischief Makers fan, you would have think you would have thought that stood out in my head. Right. But no, I don't know. And it's, it's really cool that uh, Treasure was always known for just like, yeah, we threw a bunch of moves in. He's an interesting set of controls, kid. Yeah, no, that's great. Bum, bum, ba, ba, bum. Perfect. Oof, ouch! I like that it was two takes for being hurt. And they're like, use them both. <laughs> Oh, that took me back to the beginning, didn't it? No, no, cool. This is different. held the card in the intro and never actually reviewed it. Oh, okay. I only remember the part of the intro where he weighs a Neo Geo cart and goes, what the fuck? That's never in any actual review. <laughs> I was like, does the AVGN even cover the Neo Geo? I'm trying to remember if he ever once even spoke of the Neo Geo. I don't remember a single fucking time. Right? That's weird. But yeah, we can move on. All right, cool. But yeah, this game's pretty neat. I'm surprised it works so well. Only had one major thing be like, hey, this didn't load at all. Yeah. Yeah, I have to wonder how it would go once we get to the level with the boulders. Right, I assume that would just be unplayable. <laughs> uh, Sin Punishment, or should we do something else first? I don't even know what you're saying right now. Let's do Gauntlet Legends. 
Okay. <laughs> Left and right do pages at a time. It's true. Oh, Gex. 64. <laughs> oh my god! Fine, I'll boot Gauntlet Legends and not Gex 64. Chat seems to want... Seems to want Gex. I don't know what's wrong with chat. Chat, what's wrong with you? Uh-oh. One error code. Uh-oh. Yeah, if it throws up an error code before it even shows anything, that usually means it's just full fucking borked. I guess you, every, you, everyone knows what that means. <laughs> How fucking unfortunate. Uh, was this Gex 3 or Gex 64? 64. Great. So happy. Is there a way that do they have the uh, memory card stuff working yet? Because I know this game is yeah. asked for it. Yeah, okay. there's a. If you go into the menus, you can select that. Uh, it's tail time. There's so much that was sad about that. <laughs> you you can you can fucking see that intro and go, no one loves me. <laughs> You can climb some walls, you know. As a treat. <laughs> That's a sound. <laughs> Jesus. My tail's gonna kick your butt. <laughs> Can't wait for that Gex revival. <laughs> Beats the Matterhorn, what are you gonna do? So everyone, it seems like Gex works. That's In as much as Gex ever worked. <laughs> right, I honestly thought the sound the music was broken when we were booted it, but I guess there just wasn't music during that. Part. Yeah, there was no there was no mu music during that intro sequence and it's also like the quietest game known to man. I just had to boost the uh, fucking volume by like 5 decibels. Yeah. We can't hear. It. Like it's super super quiet. Okay, there's music there. Yes, there is just music. Super Yeah, the whole thing was so quiet compared to every other game we booted. Yeah. Whoa, this camera is wild. Taylor's. You know, if they, if they got... If they're re-recording anything, that, they got Dana Gould back to do Gex lines. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they should just have a mode for those weird limited run game bundle thing to just make it play new jokes entirely. Like, they scripted whole new jokes for the game that are contemporary. Okay, yeah. One, because that's funny. Two, because God knows one of those jokes will get them canceled. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> that's the fucking camera sound? Yeah. I hope New Gex says, damn, Daniel, and here come that boy. <laughs> and by contemporary, you mean, you mean 10 years out of date like the original. What are you gonna do? Yeah. My whole thing is like, I wasn't a boomer back then, so I wasn't aware of how much it was pop culture when this came out versus, you know, 10 years old. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many of jokes in this are aimed at the 1986 pop culture crowd. This reminds me of Thanksgiving at Little St. James Island. <laughs> Licking that way to the top. Lady Teller says, I'm annoyed that Gex actually holds a special place in my heart. Holds a place in my heart because I've only ever played it when I was too young to know what a good game was. Sounds like your claymates. 
<laughs> and then they go, what's Claymates? And I'm like, we don't talk about Claymates. Claymates literally one of the only video games I've come back to that I enjoyed as a kid and was deeply horrified at what it was. <laughs> it literally is one of the only games that ever happened with. That's what happens when you go to a place and you play a thing and it's somewhere you spent your childhood in, but that's not where you continue to be throughout your life so you never get access to, to play it again. Right. That's what happens. What about Balls 3D? What about Balls 3D? Playmates is a delightful game for like three levels, says Spiff. No, that's, that's true. It is rather uh, circus core though. There we did it. We got one remote. We can turn the game off. All right. What else we got in here? We have Gex 3. Well, I guess we started it. Why wouldn't we continue it? Bob, why'd you back out like that? That's I just so, don't know. It's so ridiculous. Don't you know the difference between A and B? <laughs> B is for belect and A is for act out. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I assume there's no way Space Station Silicon Valley will work on this, but we need to check. Pray plus. So do you think they didn't do uh, Gex 2 or 3 when they go to remake a game? Man, this ran a lot better on the PS1. It says 20 frames per second, but I'm not feeling 20 frames no. per second. I guess that's because it's 20 frames per second with like frame delay, like just pushing back each frame instead of skipping any. Oh yeah. So it's just playing in slow-mo anytime it hits 20. Maximum stress test Banjo Tooie. Well, here's the thing, Chris. Allegedly, Banjo Tooie does work on the Mister. You just have to use the ROM hack that removes the uh, DRM. Oh. Yeah. Mr. Gex and Agent Extra had worked together for a jolly long time, solving international mysteries, putting away some very bad chaps. But it all came to an untimely end. This is so Agent sad Extra compared to the PS1 version. Was mysteriously yeah. Kidnapped. Now, Mr. Gex has dedicated himself to finding and rescuing his lost partner. Without oh her, my God. I fear he will be lost. Oh my God. Sweet fucking God. Gex. Gex. Ha! <laughs> extra. You poor kidnapped minx. Hey, Tiger. Guess where I am? Trapped in the media dimension. Rez is back, and he's kidnapped me to get to you. He's attacking your secret island cave. Hey, speaking of secrets, you want to see my... Gex, quit clowning around and get me out of here. This place is giving me the creeps. I'm on my way. Yeah, the, the PS1 did have, like, full uh -huh. open and cut scenes sort yeah, of anime CGs thing, and, right? Yeah, it had an intro that was there. <laughs> Not just you looking at pictures as the narrator goes, so game happened. That looks like an internet skit trying to put a video on a monitor. Yeah, the only thing it was missing is the camera moving slightly and the, the video just edging out of it. Right? At least this port doesn't cut out any levels like X64. Oh, wow, they cut levels, huh? I, I have some levels in mind that they could have cut from that game, but I, somehow I doubt those will be the ones that were cut. Yeah, I, I uh, distinctly remember the, the outer space level still being in the game, that version. Oh, great. 
Yeah. Pay your dust. I don't know what it is cut, but that wasn't. Uh, the ice level you've run past. Uh, that's that's the first level. People are like, damn, Dan must be a huge Gex fan. No, I just remember our stream. Because <laughs> Jesus, a huge Gex fan. <laughs> that's slandered. I'll see you in court. Reach. <laughs> Oh, by the way, yeah, this this core supports Rumble. For some reason, I'm not getting it on this controller, even though it too should support Rumble. So I'm guessing if we used an ends like a dual shock, right. we could get the Rumble working just fine. I don't know why that is. This this is this is this is choppy, dude. Yeah, it is. It's technically working though. It's working at cinematic frame rates like 24. We gotta get one collectible, so that way we can see that it you know works the whole way, right? Right. I like the billboards for the sky. You can like the clouds. If you look at them in the reflection, you can see the boxes around them clearly. You can. Is this authentic? Who knows. Probably some sort of Gex 64 enthusiast. Man, it's so weird. I don't. They took out the jump kick move, I guess. I'm trying to remember the jump kick move. I was doing it in the last game. I, okay. he, he like kicked with his tail, and it's almost like a long jump. Mm. Oh my God! Someone peed in the snow. So Santa, I guess Santa peed in the snow. This yeah. is environmental joke telling. <sighs> so Bob, what's your favorite Gex game? Um. Probably two. <laughs> it's definitely not this version of three. No. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Now you just need to figure out how to get up to wherever that was. Oh. Oh, they just moved it around. So now Z does, does or eats flies and R does the duck. Okay. So Z okay. does what? Uh, eats flies. Oh, okay. So yeah, we can still do the jump kick. I just need to use R to do the crouch. Okay. Interesting. Okay. You can climb on some walls. <laughs> Not these. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. So relevant. So wise. Dancing candy cane. How fruity. Yeah, I don't know. Start it. When when I was growing up, right? Uh huh. I thought the Flintstones was it all new. You know, you don't realize how old the Flintstones is when you're a kid. No. And same for the Looney Tunes. So I didn't realize how much of jokes then were based around referencing absolutely ancient things. Right. Because the Looney Tunes also reference some of these things. Mm hmm. Yeah, the internet did kind of. Wow, it ran so bad there. I couldn't couldn't make the jump uh it really changed how we perceive a lot of this stuff and puts things in context like easily you can easily look up oh when was looney tunes oh yeah yeah well okay I slide off of it rip monoculture yeah for real it's a real shame we aren't stuck in 1964 forever <laughs> There we go. I need to get up to here and was more complicated platform, but now it's just just walk. <laughs> no. yes, ah. we have a winner. All right, seems like it, we've got you at least one level, one one uh, remote. Cool. Well, we succeeded at that. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say yes. Gex, Gex three worked. Yeah, no error codes even. Um. Hexen.
Oh, there's Hybrid Heaven. You know, we're right here in the H section. Why not? Okay. There's no way this thing's working. <laughs> it's too advanced. Yes. See, anyone with the link can view. Oh man, look at how advanced it looks. It's 480i. Yes. Oh, it can use the expansion pack. Good lord. Wow, don't you feel fancy? What's Mario like put in 3D? God, that is loud. Yeah. Really, it's that Gex was quiet. True. Yes. That font's a choice. <laughs> now this time I'm going to type an actual sentence and then pin that. Hey, Bob, go to resolution. Oh, thank God. Should we try? Fucking sure. Do high letterbox, in fact. We're doing widescreen, baby. It's so good. And it's running great. Yeah, I mean, it says it's running 60. I believe it. <laughs> I don't doubt that that uh, text is being put there 60 times a second. Oh, right, this is one of those games where it's like it supports the controller pack in the rumble pack to swap them. That's so stupid. Yeah. Spiff, can you pin that message? For some reason, Twitch doesn't give me that option on my own screen. Like, I have to go access a different. I'm really glad we're watching a guy watch TV in high resolution. You ever sit in your living room shirtless watching cartoon sound effects? to be a giant leap towards world peace in New York City on the 24th. President Weller is slated to arrive in New York City tomorrow and attend the ratification after some last minute discussions with the Russian president who's scheduled to fly in on the same day. In a press conference yesterday, a confident President Weller stated to the media that on the coming 24th, I think this is that Chris? United States and Russia should this be is their Legend of Lagaya? I think it actually in involves videos? guns in a turn based way. Oh, yeah? Yeah, if I remember right. Yeah, I'm sorry. You were watching car or cartoon sound effects in the nude. Nude? <laughs> yeah, of course. I know. Twitch is going to censor Too us. Too hot for Twitch. I love that you could see his torso segment entirely from his lower body. Yes. We shouldn't be seen talking, so I'll be brief. Let's go over this one last time. The I think if you don't have letterbox on, it does so the just like the top tomorrow, of his cheeks. New York City, you are not to leave the president's side no matter what. Everything I can't depends do on that naked, moment. Especially in this no temperature. <laughs> That's around. true. This guy seems chance, unconcerned if it was anything he has to do naked. We can't afford any mistake. One more thing. Don't forget to make contact with Mr. Diaz in New York. He'll bring the tools and the weapons you need. That'll be all. Let's make this work. But man, put some clothes on, will you? <laughs> don't forget to act like a human once you're overground. again today maybe you're busy but are you doing okay well it's christmas soon the year's almost yeah, he over looks like he's doing good Johnny, yeah you haven't forgotten our pact have you that we'll meet again this year under the christmas tree in dc on christmas eve i don't care how late you show up just meet me there okay i'll be waiting anyway yeah, exactly this is like that hard too Something tells me we still have a lot of the features in the N64 turned off. Yeah, we could, uh... <laughs> yeah, turn it like, off, It literally maybe. looks nothing like an N64 game right now. 
Is she still your mom, chat? Now that you've seen her in true N64 fidelity. Someone. Is it a is it a Final Fantasy character? Oh, she looks like uh Dominique. A little bit. Yeah, she she looks rather similar to Dominique. This this whole Dominique. thing is giving me bouncer vibes right with the train station. Yeah. What? What? All we know is you've been betrayed. Chat probably hears you fine because I didn't turn it down since Gex. <laughs> but our pact. Yes, this is the N64's Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. You ever think about how we didn't really... <laughs> I've never seen this, by the way. Yeah, I guess I haven't seen it since I rented it back in the day. I was like, when do I get to play the game? <laughs> So much has changed. <laughs> Man, this guy's really cool. He teleports people out. <laughs> this is so cool in their head. Right? I wish I got to see what that looked like up there. <laughs> Isolation 119 be like, Why did you take him from me? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say this elevator is an obvious OSHA violation. Pretty cool. <laughs> so I don't have rails, so you know that will happen if someone does fall. I think that only happens for him. I think that was his psychic energies, not the room. But maybe I'm wrong. We should try Mega Man 64. We should. Should I even uh, let this keep going at all? Oh my god, we got Wait, to we play as him? I guess. I thought we were the other guy. Well, that other guy did vanish. I thought that was a duplicate of him, but maybe no, that's just, just him. Yeah, I love okay. that it's the letterbox mode, but they put our fucking HUD over the letterbox. Right? What were they thinking? Okay, I didn't remember using, uh, using a gun in a weird way, so that, I thought this was like a turn-based thing. This is, this is just a shooter. My God, this is their Metal Gear. What the fuck? Yeah, right? Man, these are some weird camera modes I have. That's how, if I hold uh, right C, I can do this. If I hold left C, it does the same thing. But no, no, that, that does pan in a different way. Down C lets me go first person. Up C does, changes the camera angle in general, okay. The Ford Focus SE comes with a standard rear It is really camera. funny how the frames per second is 60 in this game, even though it's clearly not. I guess it's interlaced, so that's why it would sync that. Oh, yeah. Because it's technically updating 60 times a second. Where are your code key? What?
You here, you look like you should be here. Have a code key. You could update it. God, this game is so weird. You don't say. If, if it seems so else. normal so far. If nothing else, I think this has told me, yeah, we should play through this game all the way at some point. <laughs> I agree, which is why I'm a little frustrated someone already typed a spoiler into chat, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Tech man, list. Man, so we menu, do have... That menu does not match any of the aesthetics of the game. So wait, if I run into this guy instead of shooting him, do I go into a turn-based battle? No. Oh my god. Ha! This game is so weird. Alright, yeah, that's enough though. Hey Phenomenon, how's it going? Or Phenomenon. Hey Bob, where are you? What are you know. doing? Why are you in the course? I don't know. Bob, what are you doing? Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Did you have another one in mind you want to boot up? Mega Man 64? Mega Man 64, yes. Well, a hybrid haven't worked fine. I'll add that to the list. Kind of surprised it worked fine I, even in the 4DI mode. Right, we're in a weird mode. This game's clearly got a lot happening. <laughs> and yet, not as intense as Gauntlet Legends, evidently. I guess. Yeah, it's still in beta. Um, I'm a patron, so I got access to it. In a world it. covered by endless, endless water. water, people are forced to eke out a living on the I'm small just gonna whisper about it a little bit. The, the people of this world rely oh, this on audio energy, quality. Driven by Each quantum time. refractors, a powerful energy. Refractors. <laughs> These refractors lie in ancient ruins underground and in the sea and are sought out by explorers called diggers. These the, brave explorers... The N64 the has so much space on the yes. cartridge. One might say too much. Yes, obviously. They didn't need to do any compression here. Sounds identical, I promise. Yeah, this is really blurry. Yeah, it is. The N64 special. Yeah. Here we go! Oh, that seems appropriately loud. I wonder if I turn off these features how much it'll look like. <laughs> We're a big bit nice. 12 to 83 or 63. I don't know. Me. We're still waiting. Man, that really does look like the PS1 game when I turn off every single feature. It really does. Got that weird line on the side of his head, though. He did. It might be authentic to the original, but I don't know. It's still active. The reactor's still running. Great. What about the refractor? It's here. It's a big one, too. Oh, right. Now maybe we can find it. Turning them all back on. <laughs> careful. Ding. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know that I would, uh... How do I put this? Like, even back then, have liked it looking this blurry? Because you totally could tell on a CRT. Oh, yeah. I think... It, like, it came so late. I had already bought a PS1 to play this game. Yeah. Like, that... Like, if this was out anywhere near when it came out on PS1, I would have just been super happy to be able to play it. Instead of being like, it was three years later or something. Wasn't Legends 2 out by then? Uh, not quite. Legends 2, I think it's either literally 2000 or 2001. It's really late. Has a mister treating you? It's been surprisingly good. Oh man, look at that frame rate. Yeah. That's like good. That's a good ass frame rate. Yeah, we are giving it the best chance it's got in this tiny hallway. Don't worry, Bob, if there's one thing I've learned, one moment. There's a second part of that. Okay, I need to push the two strafe buttons together <laughs> to lock on. Man, that's that's a little rough that I have to 
I mean, I'm not going to be moving if I'm walking on anyway, but... Right. It's... It's rough here because you have tank controls. Like, mm -hmm. the stick's doing that, and I have to use ZNR to do that. And a large part of Mega Man really Legends it. movement is, you know, strafing. Yes. So it'd be great if I could D-pad does stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah, hmm. Not sure how much I would have appreciated this when it came out. No. Yeah, I also don't... I also have to use that same combination in order to quick turn, don't I? Wait, let's see. Yeah, down C works. Great. Okay, All right. That's good. But yeah, I think what we'll do here is I'll beat the uh, the first area just so we can get a cutscene. Yeah. And see that yeah. that works. Like another one. The first one seemed to seem to look out work out okay. Yeah, obviously that big Capcom game uh, for Core Story next year is The Legend of Three, right? It's, it's not the Monster Hunter everyone knows it is. It's Legend of Three. <laughs> That'd be so good. Whoops. I was hitting the A button to select things. I don't know How why I would do you? such a foolish thing. Oh, we were crying. Wow, yeah, there. it there uses the whole animal here. It's so powerful. Weird. It looks like the PS1 game, but it sounds so much worse. <laughs> it... <laughs> that room back there goes swall, 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 swall. I know Evil Lucar. I'm pretty sure when we were playing the PS1 core, there were ways for us to make it play at higher uh, frame rates than it did in the original. What's up? Uh, Lucario is talking about how th this core seems to run games better than the original hardware, and then the, the PS1 one didn't. Uh, the PS1 one does actually have features for that. Yeah, yeah like, it already does. It's like CPU turbo and stuff. I'm pretty sure there's a thing for that where you can just reduce. First off, there's there's a um, there's a custom build of that core that will literally overclock it. Right. Um. So you can use that. But also, additionally, uh, there's like a turbo mode. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Chris, keep that hope going. There's we have our legends collection because they're doing remakes. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be so great. Uh, that would be one of the most deserved remakes ever. Yeah. Because these games, conceptually, structurally, have aged like fucking wine. You know? Mm -hmm. Did you know most modern games are about you taking small missions in a hub city in order to further your adventure with RPG mechanics? <laughs> right? Hey, it's just that happened with Star Ocean 2. I mean, true. <laughs> Yeah, that Star Ocean 2 remake is really good. I was actually watching Phenomenon play it. It was pretty cool when uh, the city started breaking up. Yeah, I couldn't believe that. That was ludicrous. But yeah, I need to I need to finish this guy before I can let myself even boot Star Ocean 2 now. I'm just like, no. It's getting close. I'm not sure what exactly my play order is right now. All I know is I have we have some videos we need to do. Yes. And then after that, um, I really want to get through all of the seventh guest VR. Mm. And uh, I also need to play Starkfield at all. Starkfield? Starkfield. <laughs> I had to stop myself halfway to make sure I didn't say citizen. Mm. Um, I don't like two. We still haven't played I don't like one. Yeah. I really want to play it. I yeah. hear there's a place called the dark place in it. And I think that's going to kill me. <laughs> Blood. <laughs> blood. Her blood. Uh, I was in a Discord last night talking to some people, and they started detailing why the re why the Silent Hills, the later ones, are so repugnant. Uh-huh. We need a Silent Hill month after what I fucking read. <laughs> I knew every one of those America ones had to be incredibly bad. So but did it start before that? Apparently. Shattered Memories. Is just a remake of the first one that people may describe as being wrong about Silent Hill. And these games are written by the writer of her story and Immortal. So. Or Immortality. Yeah, so that's um, fucking insane. 
And now I need to see that play out. I need to know. Now I'm way too curious. That feels like a stream that should be the Metal Gear Solid 1 to Twin Snakes death stream where it's here's us playing Silent Hill 1 and then we jump to Shattered Memories. Right? Man, this is like working. Yeah, this is good. I'm appreciating it. Silent Hate Thrill. <laughs> Mega Man Legends. Sure is a great game. It is. What a what a what a what a good game. Oh, let me N64 fortify that one moment. <laughs> there we oh, go. Oh, never mind. It's not gonna blur well, it blurred it, but not in a way that would be pleasant to the eye. <laughs> Final of April just bounce like they're playing Final Hope all month. I mean, I, that's kind of what I thought too, Spiff. Like the it's okay, guys. Most people won't have this problem. They don't know what the fuck Final Hope is. Right? Phew. Nice timing, Roll. Anytime, Mega Man. Anytime. Mega Man. Wow, this audio is even lower quality than the dungeon audio. Right? What? It's okay, Roll. But I'm glad you showed up when you did. Someone out there is like, this is actually oh, right diagetic because right? they're all robots. And I'm like, that's not really... Well, they're, they're like advanced robots. Why would they sound like this? <laughs> advanced to the point that it doesn't matter anymore that the robots robots. <laughs> they sound like what? Yak bags? Right? It's like they, we perfected everything about the human anatomy except for... Voice. Voices. <laughs> Voices? Those were... They really tripped us up. Oh, don't worry. We noticed. Okay, I'm gonna say this works. Yeah. Check out Wave Race yet? We have not. Hey, Bob, I'm going to hand this to you. Oh, Super Smash Brothers. This That's a video game people care about. Yeah, absolutely. And it runs at 60 frames per second on this title screen. That's really fucking weird. That is weird. I feel like that's smoother than it did originally. That's a little louder than Mega Man Legends. A little bit. Not as loud as Gex, though. Or, sorry, no, it's quiet. You're right, Gex is quiet. We had to make her loud. <laughs> He's so tiny. That always bugged me. <laughs> or. Or gigantic huge, man. and then that guy in the background's huge. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Here's a picture. <laughs> Just showing the picture of Star Fox because rendering inside's too hard. <laughs> Who are these guys? <laughs> yeah, that interest is really cool. I do find it funny that back in the day, people were like, uh... Oh man, who's this Ness person? What's he from? That's crazy. Meanwhile, I was like, man, Captain Falcon is such a mysterious figure. <laughs> Don't worry, there were plenty of people that also thought that. Okay. Because <laughs> even if I... Even if you knew there was a racing game called F-Zero, you don't... Yeah, like, why would there be some like, dude once? But I guess I was like, I don't know. But like, why is this dude fighting with martial arts? What's happening here? <laughs> nice. What if I gloat? <laughs> this is our genocide run. Yeah. It would be cool to turn off all the N64 features just so we could get a really crisp super zoom of uh, the HUD there. Because, you know, we have these tiny pictures of our heads mm -hmm. for all the one-ups and stuff. 
It's all the way at the bottom. Yeah. Um. Man, yeah. Yeah. There that, we go. That screen. Those options are literally the soul of the N64, and turning them off is really cool. Yeah. Man, you can see his sword do all sorts of weird stuff. Yeah, because it should be using the dithering to look a little bit better. Right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what's doing it. And now we get these crisp images of uh. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, it's like 10 pixels. This feels like overkill, but all right, I'll use it. No, you need the home run back. Come back here. And did taunting exist yet in this one? Okay, it's on out, but I... It's like, it's out of the way. They make you really earn it. <laughs> Yoshi killed himself. He, he doesn't miss. Man, this looks so interesting in PS1 like. That's crazy for 60 for Smash 64. Yeah, it I'm just so curious if like if Nintendo didn't have those features built into the N64, would it have would they have been able to make a more powerful machine, right? Could huh. we have had something that looked like this but was stronger? How much of that silicon is used to put in these features? Now, admittedly, I think those features are an integral part of what the N64 looks like, and it's debatable whether or not it's a good thing, you know? I guess, yeah. Like, Mario 64 looks like the small textures smoothed out over a fucking entire field. Exactly. So when you make it look like this, or Super Mario 64, it doesn't look right. Is that good or bad? I don't know. I think Melee is when they started having Luigi's taunt do damage. Will Bob be able to solve the riddle of the hit the target within two minutes? I don't know, man. It's tough. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh my god. That did not work. I, I'm tempted. I should have made a prediction. What's the name of the second minigame? I, I can at least make a prediction in time for that. Bobbert solved my maze, and it's dead trapping him and hit the targets. <laughs> I uh, really miss Hit the Target. Yeah, I know. That was uh, sad when Freedom Planet 1 didn't more custom tailor. It's uh, stuff like that for who you were playing as. Ah. You didn't know you could control the, the Ark of the Throne. Wow. Can he do it? There are two different ways you can yeah, try to like, do it. Oh, That's he probably did the easiest it. He way. did it. But yeah, I was really surprised how clear that uh, countdown timer was. Mm -hmm. And all the numbers, honestly. like, Yeah, it helps weird. when you turn off all this fucking blurring. Because in my opinion, the reason why I like turning it off is all of these features just shirt serve to blur the image. Yeah. There are very few that don't. So Ooh, She looks so smug. <laughs> I'm going to end your life. And then he's just holding you up by the neck. <laughs> predictions up now get your uh get your predictions in will bob be able to board all the targets or board all the platforms oh okay i was like yeah. i couldn't remember exactly how they phrased it yeah this core rules yeah i'm really really glad to be a backer of this dude this is this is legit what i think important work looks like <laughs> like within the retro scene 
Mm -hmm. Oh, no ledge grab. Oh. Not this time. Get out of here, Luigi. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, he left. The bo bomb is gone. He's b, -b, -b gone. He's b, -b bomb is b gone. <laughs> This core is absolutely tech sorcery. It was just thought to be impossible. Yeah, we had years of people saying it was impossible and look at it now. Good job, Yoshi. <laughs> oh, Bob doesn't get the no good miss, friend. but he does get the good friend. Bob, good friend. Big Pikachu. Big a chew. I mean, he's just regular size, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's just regular size. He looked big in that picture. He did, yeah. Want to get a mister, but the price point of 600 to 800 is putting me off. Uh, I think it's less than that now. Yeah, I was like, I could have Like, nowadays, I think it went back to a little bit more sane of territory, but, you know. Yeah, I thought it was like 400 or something when I picked it up, but I guess... I mean, yeah, you picked it up before the price went insane. Jeez. Yeah, they had only just been bought by Intel at that point, the pandemic hadn't happened. What can you do? Market's gonna market. And I was like, the pandemic had happened, but I guess it didn't affect the price enough yet. Man. Are you also, I'm, I'm curious, are you looking at buying one that's pre-built and stuff? Because I, I bought a piecemeal and didn't get a, like, shell or anything. Mister, if you assemble, it's 490 without the IO board case, slash case. Okay. Yeah, okay. That, that sounds way more like what I expect. Now we're fighting Big Donkey Kong. Thank you for the follow. I was like, where'd he go? Oh, he's eating. Oh, I could hurt my friends with that. Whoops. Yeah. Oh, darn it, you know that I use it. I was hoping that he'd just shoot into the the, the it, it bottom of the earth using it on accident. Hey, I smarter than that though. Once again, victory entirely because of me. Tried getting the one that you need to put together part by part, but the parts are super confusing for me. It's it's super easy. Like, there's no soldering or anything. It's all just look up a, a video on how they go together and put it together. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like kind of like Lego. Right, like the. Mm hmm. You don't even need thermal right? No. Yeah. Yeah, just have to make sure you line up the different um, things properly. The hardest part, definitely just. Uh... Oh, no. Oh, no! Failure. Did not That's get the target. That's Wings ass musical ditty they played at the end there. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try the. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I should the try Halo. one too. Yeah, let's, let's, let's try it out. Uh, we got. We get the Halo Mountain Dew. Oh no. Did you guys know? Did you know about the Halo Mountain Dew? It's back. They put Mr. Chief in the soda. <laughs> there he is. There's the chief. I have no idea if it's good. I couldn't find it because it was so red. <laughs> That's not right. I couldn't find it because it was so red. It's all with Game Fuel's color. It's not called Game... No, it says it. Mountain Dew Game Fuel Citrus Cherry. It's... Now, this is... This is actually... This is literally the exact flavor the Halo 3 Game Fuel I drank back in 2017 or 18 because I had had the can for about 10 years. God, they put the new woman on there and said... The new woman? Yeah, the new lady. The, the oh replacement God, Cortana. You, the oh, my Cortana. God. Of all people. And uh, it's the wrong color. How, how did they mess it up this bad? Look, all I care about at the end of the day. No, even back then. Even then, it said uh, citrus cherry because it's trying to give you an idea of what the flavor was. I just want this to taste like that. And I know what that tastes like. I had it recently. In the grand scheme of things. Right, yeah, you had it like five years after launch. No, I had it 10 years after launch. That Jesus. was 2017 or so. Jesus. Like I was just saying, yeah. So I know what it should taste like. 
because I had it, and then I had a uh, Game Fuel that came out that year or after, and I was pissed because it tasted wrong. Mm -hmm. But at least that one doesn't literally have Master Chief on the can. Okay. Uh, Code Red is red flavored. <laughs> it smells right. It does. One moment. Man, it's been a long time since I smelled that. The one that they did for Warcraft was actually pretty good too, but I don't think it was the same. Uh, no, they did two flavors for one Warcraft. One of them was blue, and yeah. the other one was a different one. I think that different one was really close, if not identical, to this. It was only past that that they really started fucking it up. Okay, ready? Yeah. It's wrong? It is wrong. Oh, no. But is it good? It still tastes like, like quest, crushed sweet tarts, so it's close. I spilled it on myself in, in the first sip. <laughs> good job. <laughs> yeah, I'm at. This really is the quandary of it's different, but is it good? I need to go through a whole can before I could say 100% if it's something, if it's still good, but I, I'm liking it. Yeah, it's not bad. It's okay. I know that much. Like if it, if at the end of the day I dislike this because it's di it would be because it's different. Right. It's not identical. It wouldn't be because yes. it's not good. Sounds good to me, baby. Yes. The more I drink, the closer I feel it gets. Maybe I'm yeah. crazy. Yeah. If anything, it tastes like a a slight a dialed back version. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe it's like just not it's, as intense. It, it feels like it's the same tangent, but it just should taste more intense. But, you know, I've been having a lot of intense flavors as of late. <laughs> you know, like that donut. Yes. Toast tried the blueberry donut and was just sad she didn't get the peanut butter chocolate donut. So clearly I should have bought her that and then brought that home to her. Clearly. There's no way that was made at home, though. No, because I already bought one of those and it didn't make its ass home. I do need to go out there and try the the peanut butter one because that it's, did look incredible. I mean, that that flavor profile paired with the flaky crust and stuff literally is why it works so well. Mm -hmm. You know, there's certain things that are like... There are certain flavor pairings with dishes that are so clearly a part of that thing's identity that when you make, oh, it's different version of recipe, it really does lesson in it and i think this is a case of that yeah where, like I, that french toast one i got i feel like was probably too sweet like too much of that going on mm -hmm. and yeah if the peanut butter was like reese's peanut butter then it also would be too sweet but it's more like normal ass peanut butter which i think makes it work i'm hmm i'm torn on this i like it it's i like it but i don't know what to give it like out of 10 mm. Yeah, that's fair. I'm so upset about the outside design. It's like, what are you doing? I know. It's even worse because if you're holding it in your left hand, you're likely looking you, right at her. Right. Corktana. Yeah. And if you hold it in your right hand, you might be looking at Master Chief. Depends on like how you're holding it. I feel like you would have to hold it at a very... Like, hmm. I think I'm much more likely to end up looking at Quirky Tana than... The chief. I would simply pour it in a glass to add lemon juice. You know what? You know what? I can do that. And, and we could just compare directly to cheer wine. <laughs> to be clear, this is no cheer wine, don't. No. It's definitely no cheer wine on tap. Cheer wine on tap, on tap of course, being the peak soda. Mm-hmm. I add lemon to the voodoo flavor when they get when it, I get it during October. Huh. I need to do that. That sounds pretty good. That actually would, I think, complete that flavor in a certain way. Uh, worth noting, I don't have real lemons on me. I have real lemon on me. I 
I feel like the color is also slightly off. I don't know. It's pretty close though, so I'm, I'm not going to complain. Yeah, in fact, now that it's settling and less less carbonating-y. Oh like, yeah, that it looks, wasn't that orange. Right, I kind of forgot. You know, it needs to look it needs to look unique from uh, the code red. That's why. That's why it's not just red. Mm -hmm. Okay, that should that should do us. Swirl it around a bit. They did this. Do you think they're going to do the do the Warcraft promotion again? Well, of course they have twenty years to do it, right? They're doing the twenty years of Warcraft. Mountain Dew and Warcraft, the only two companies with a twenty-year plan. The lemon did not fix it. I would say it was better pre-lemon. Unfortunate. How does it compare to Cheerwine Holiday Punch? Also not as good as that, but normal Cheerwine's better. So it's definitely a Cheerwine, Cheerwine Holiday Punch, <laughs> this. But keep in mind, all three of these drinks are easily like 10 through eight is the score on these, right? Yeah, I think this is, this is probably an eight. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's it a high seven. A, yeah, it's a high seven or a flat eight. But either way, that's pretty good in the ski, grand scheme of sodas. Okay, let's follow it up with masala. No. No. So, <laughs> Chris says, I'm so tempted to get back in. I keep looking at their website. I'm so sorry. Right. Yeah, the more... Net, uh, the more I drink it, the more, like, it's not right. It's setting in. Uh-huh. Which is unfortunate. I was yeah. hoping that it might turn the other way. Yeah, but that, that is... It's good, though. Yeah. And no. I've tried Game Fuels in the past that were not, and upset me greatly, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah, because it still has that taste of crushed down sweet tarts that, that you know, you crave. <laughs> Who doesn't crave that? Yeah, it's too bad. Maybe, maybe in a 20-ounce bottle... The intensity. Oh, shit. Man, this fridge. Oh my god, was it the same shelf broke? No, it is a new one. Another shelf? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was not a great one to have broken. No. Oh, no. I'll deal with that. I'll turn off the music. You play Smash. Sure. Dan getting violent. Yeah, I, I'm so violent. It's yeah, not that his uh, fridge is breaking apart. Yeah, Curry tea. yeah, that's that's. I feel my blood ah. rushing through my body. Yeah, this is the feeling coming back. To yeah, that, that's how it feels. The sensation of killing, the doom and darkness. Um, the dark They're calling me. Yeah, you know all the the, the door thing. shelves on a fridge. Imagine all those just fell off, you know? Imagine they're getting brittle and literally breaking apart. Yep, they're, they're literally, just they get their cheap plastic and they're just falling to pieces. It sucks. And I thought it was just like one or two of them giving out, but it seems like it's uh, all of them. Oh, oh, God. Okay, good. I got that. Hey, Buck, how uh, hot do you like your miso? Very hot. Oh, that's good. Because it's now covered in Texas beef. <laughs> oh, good. Great, even. Sounds like a job for cock. Yeah, that's... I, I put various sealants on them before, but more of them keep breaking and they d it doesn't hold forever because, you know, the whole thing's become brittle. So, yeah. Yes. Good. She died before I did. <laughs> it was worth it. Ladies and gentlemen, 
But yeah, I've tried Gorilla Glue. Uh, I've even, like, Gorilla Glued them and Gorilla Taped them. Um, but it, it always just comes back to it. Yeah, that was absolutely the plan. This is probably the best looking 64 footage I've seen. I mean, it's because we're cheating and turn off the 64 powers. I would, I would simply turn off N64's features. Yes. Which it really does make things like that look weird. It does. Let me, like, that is so if crazy turn looking. On dithering and de -dither, it should fix that. Let's see what it looks like. Again. Bob, you need to collect them? <laughs> yes, D Dither. It still looks pretty weird even with those two on. Okay, try the uh, texture filter that should be top both up. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, yeah that's definitely what, way more what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. The 64 stank, yeah. Uh-oh. I was like, he's gonna get the bouncer. Then he's like, oh, I don't want this. <laughs> hey guys, will I be able to get this one? I can't run a prediction or anything, but uh... Platform. Yeah, yeah, it is. Board the platform is pretty advanced strats. So how many bottles broke, Dan? Uh, the top of the Texas Peak and the entirety of some salsa thing. Good. Sub, thank you for the sub. Um, yokai or die. But, but legit, why hasn't a fighting polygon team come back? I don't know. Sakurai, get back to the team. I want to play his fighting polygon team. All of them. It's like Shang Tsung, but you play his three guys at once. Man, they look weird. Let me let me turn some of those features back off. need to know. Detector filtering? Oops, 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 oops. Gotta elect. Oh, they look really weird without that. Yeah. Oh, he's Ness. Okay. I was like, what the heck is up with this guy? He's a, like a bird. Oh, whoops, I had a bomb in it. But yeah, Chad, I don't know if he'll come back, but did he not look like a bird? Whew. It's also weird seeing this background like that. Yes, you can see, like, the flames kind of clearly. In Yeah, something about it just look, really lets you see the other. This is just a picture. Like a sock photo, they turned blue. They would never do that, though, right? No. 
Oh, oh geez, I was too close to that. God, I'm gonna die to the fighting polygon team. What a chomp. Then Link goes limp. It's so good that they, they're like, yeah, just can't keep popping in. Smash downfall timeline created. Oh my god, what have, what have people done? Man, that, uh, this Pikachu looks more like a Sand Shrew. Oh, God, it just disappeared immediately. At least I can get that and heal. You should play a Smash Remix with Conquer in it. Hmm. That doesn't... Like, I, I assume there's cool stuff in there, not just Conquer. But you've advertised it in the worst way possible. You can only play as Conquer, sorry. <laughs> and the only enemies now are women. <laughs> God. They're all based on real life people. <laughs> the, he dated. <laughs> <laughs> not even celebrities. No, not even celebrities. <laughs> Just women that Chris Seviev or whatever dated. <laughs> oh no. I need that tomato. Come on. I can always count on you, Bob. Hope that Phil Spencer wears a Conquer shirt at the Game Awards. Me too. If there's one fan base I want pissed off at him, it's Conquer. <laughs> <laughs> they will say it after all, it's all they know. <laughs> Have to jump. Darn you. Oh, yeah, no, I'm saying I yeah, have to jump. It screwed me there because I hit it when I was trying to just do something else. Yep. Mass Train's got a pretty good theme. Right. It does look pretty weird. Oh, I just blocked that. I didn't even need to dodge it. All right. Man, a lot of these can just be blocked. Woof! I should have blocked that too. Uh, oh no. Sorry, I have more lives. Was Crazy Hand in the first game or is it just Master Hand? That's melee. Okay. I was like, I don't remember him being this easy, but I guess I'm just more used to him by now. Or, you know, he gets insanely hard on hard difficulties. It was all fake. Okay, Sakurai. Good to know. 
for a second I thought video games were real. That was kind of scary. This doesn't seem right. Isn't there supposed to be a background? It has been so long since I've beaten Smash 1. Yeah, don't I feel like this out? is basically right, but... Uh, you can push B to make it go faster. That's why you remember that, Chad. B is just to make or maybe it freeze. It's, maybe it's start. Oh, yeah, start. Okay. Time for Killer Instinct Gold. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> Look at this incredible picture of Lake. Got real Vegeta t-shirt energy. <laughs> okay, good. Everything's off. You have to fight Putin. 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 Bomb. Bomb. So, Bob, are you sad you won't be bringing that fridge to new Gigaboots HQ City? I'm so sad. I forgot that it just abruptly cuts to this instead of having a victory ending. Right. You can now use the p balloon Pokemon, Jigglypuff. I was like, oh, did I unlock the Pokemon balloons? Oh, no, you, the balloon Pokemon. Yeah, that's what it's, it's, <laughs> when you look at the Pokedex entry, it says the balloon Pokemon. Right. And that's when someone from the Mario Bros. development team's like, hey, I have an idea. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's test out Killer Instinct Gold. Sure, yeah. We're on a fighting game kick. And you know, we're feeling high and mighty after how that just went. Right? See, Killer Instant Gold. There we go. Yeah, I wonder if Kirby works. It's a weird coincidence. You guys are moving to a city called New Gigaboots HQ City. It is a really big coincidence. Right? I agree. And they sure designed that rare logo to have Dexter filtering and shit turned on. Yeah, they did. Oh, this looks so weird with all that stuff off. Let's turn it on. Oh just God, yeah. Oh, of course you would switch what you're doing immediately. It's going to be even weirder when we go to that city and still no one knows who we are. <laughs> it's just a little different when you have all the features on. It's yeah, like it's mildly different. something a designer would make. All right, this guy's like exclusive to this game. Who? Um, a Conan. Oh. Yeah. And I think she's new too. Yeah, she's in the later ones as well. So this whole game, sixty or 480i, huh? Maybe it's only these menus. Yeah, it's only these menus. Interesting that we have an error. Uh, it already oh. loaded the wrong character. Oh, oh no. It just froze. Oh no. That's Orchid, right? Oh man, we get to listen to music oh. though. One might say the game's better now. Maybe, yeah. Maybe it just that it doesn't work with him, Woo. We're gonna reboot it. Well, real quick, let me screen cap this. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, what's that? Okay. I assume there's a reset. Yeah, there it is. Only on the Ultra 64. Good job, Bob. <laughs> How did you sound exactly like him? Yeah, I guess Cinder isn't here. What the heck? They couldn't get fire working? <laughs> That's bullshit. I see it in the background right now. You can't trick me. 
sure this is sealed proper. Oh, poor kid. Okay. Yeah, no. It can't load two characters. Unfortunately. That's really funny. All right. Let's see. Oh, Jet Force Gemini. My brain, for some reason, hears that and goes, no, we already did Hybrid Heaven. Fair. Um, but yeah, no, try Jet Force, sure. We're going to just hit up all these rare games and watch as none of them work for some reason. Because they're all intense. Man, it's crazy how different the music and is in, in Killer Instinct from every other rare game. Like, it just has a wholly different tone. So hopefully that fixed it, so that way the rare DRM doesn't kick our teeth in. Right. We've already got a air code. That's weird. This just sounds like Starship Troopers. Or the Superman theme. Right. You fight giant bugs. I know, right? Whoa. I feel like that's it for Jet Force Gemini. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Oh, well, we tried. Yes. Well, Kirby 64 is right here. We got to know. Right. Of course. Score. There's so much game on this. Wow. <laughs> Just think about how many megs per second that is. And since the game's only an hour long, that's, <laughs> wow, that's crazy. It is pretty crazy. Damn, I, damn, come on. What are you talking about? This game's only 40 minutes long. Sorry, I, I like to exaggerate sometimes. Right. I apologize. It's a bad habit of mine. Side profile, yeah, DDD. Well, there's supposed to be music here. Yeah, right? Right? Maybe okay, not. now there's music. Yes, yeah, we know how to use the copy ability. Oh man, look at all these frames. Don't look too close though, they're going away fast. Okay, people are saying the tile screen is silent. They couldn't afford the space for even one more song. Cool. What a cute game. Oh, he was nothing. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Huh. Just don't die. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I didn't think he'd show it up naturally. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Kirby with his head craned up trying to suck things in is a... Uh, it's a lot. Didn't stop showing those up. He did it. He became a bow and arrow. Yes, finally. My true power. How is he this strong? Oh, thank God you finally stopped him. Oh wow, it's just so powerful. Yeah, it it's too him. powerful. It's too strong. Okay, Bob, turn off all the visual features so we get to see what it would be like if Kirby 64 was on the PS1. There.
So beautiful. Look at how sharp it is. It is very sharp. Very neat. What if you stood in a house with a dude and he just kept spotting smaller versions of himself that you ate and then spat back at him? Would that be a boss fight? We will never know. Just spike alone. Oh god. What? What's oh. wrong? Is there something wrong? That's no, fine. This thing looks good to me. Ooh. It's Christmas color. Yes. Oh, oh, the last one's fucked up, but this, this is great. This is great. This is ideal. It's fucking crazy when Kirby was like, we're gonna heal the world. Yeah. <laughs> hey, very best plot. Thank you for the sub. Boop, doop. They should have put Kirby 64 on the DS. I imagine they would have made it look even better, frankly. Technology had come so far by then. But who knows, maybe Kirby 64 is too advanced. Maybe. It's not too advanced for the Mr. Core here, though. The best ability will always be refrigerator. I I'm sorry, that's clearly not true because Bob's is falling apart. It would be so unreal if you were bringing that thing up there. <laughs> God, yeah, that'd be insane. <laughs> this fridge is falling apart and not that great to begin with. I need to bring it across state, state lines. Right? True horror. Hey, I hope nobody's been possessed by the devil over here. I like that they have an origin story for why he has the single eye. They, they needed to explain. I mean, I get it. So having a single eye is spooky. At least when it's your entire torso. <laughs> so yeah, this seems to work fine. Crazy cool. Did you have any other games you were? Yeah, Star Fox 64. Oh yeah. That fox is always fun. It's not in this menu. No, it's not. See, you need to hit the ACK button to go up a menu. And then belect the game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's Shadowgate yes. 64. <laughs> Star Wars Rogue Squadron and such. I bet that shit won't work. Yeah, probably not. I just gotta put it in C. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we got here at least. Ooh. Oh, right. If we go in here, it's gonna have a Star Wars music. Man, this is sure some 480i-ness. Excited for that analog video out. Or for, I don't know if the HDMI direct video works. Do they seriously DMCA this? It's Star Wars. <laughs> right? I don't think that song would have gotten it. No, but any song any second now, probably. Yeah. We'll so find out when we upload it. Uh, I feel like there might have been a, a logo. Yeah, I think or they a title where it's anywhere. glitching inside, in front of Luke Skywalker's face. That's where our title should be. Possibly. <laughs> yeah. Instead of just the set photo fucking Luke just going, huh? What? This ain't working at all. So yeah, this is the most broken thing today. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I can't even show those.
Maybe once we get in the real game. Okay, it seems to be doing better. But keep your eyes open for any suspicious activity. Wait, why is Nabu Sapphire just unlocked? Hmm. Weird. For people who don't remember, this game came out before episode one, and then after episode one came out, they put out a code that unlocked it. I so you copy the entire directory of our EverDrive 64 to this Mr. Card, so there's a chance that that save was on there. Right. From us putting that code in at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Claimed, of course. Can you skip it? No, I can't. Man. Wow. No button does anything. Because, you know, as a, as a human being, my favorite play, part of Star Wars is the text crawl at the beginning. Uh-huh. And I wish I had to see that once a level? Yeah. The Ford Focus SE comes with a standard rear view camera. <laughs> the Force is talking to me. One moment. I'm picking up on something. Why are they making all these sounds? They're just so excited. They're like, we're going to cover up the Star Wars theme. <laughs> we'll do it. I'm like, no, no, you won't. Actually, I'm illiterate. Yippee! Man, imagine if they could Have render that planet. Cool right? That'd be area. crazy. We could take an early morning run through Beggar's Canyon. Yes, it's definitely running 60. <laughs> there are 60 fields going up in each second. Yeah. That is like running at 60 Luke, frames per second. Is that my imagination, or are those? Oh my God. Imperial brute droid, dead ahead. They're attacking those. We've already turned all the features off, right? Oh. Oh, it kind of looks like they're on, but I could just be totally fucking wrong on that. Okay, yeah, they're on. The Destroy Protect the probe them. droids. <laughs> I'm surprised after the title screen and menu had such obvious problems. Right, and this seems like mostly fine. Oh, you okay, Wedge? Ah! He pulled a hot pocket out of the microwave, and some of the some of the cheese goo on the on the sleeve got on his hand, and it's fucking uh, hot. Yeah, that's that that sucks. If anything, he took it well. I like that the visuals of this are such a mess at 480i because it's not deinterlacing at all. No. That it makes me go, man, I have to look at that radar to even figure out what you need to shoot. Mm-hmm. We work backwards from the red dot. Are we dive bombing? I got <laughs> yeah, it. I guess I so. Got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, good job. Well, I can do that. Pretty cool. I don't know, Silverman. That depends. Like, what was the intro of Gauntlet Legends? Maybe that was also a video? I have no idea. Yeah, maybe. Your Uncle Kevin says, it's like if Ace Combat were bad. Bob, do you have any thoughts on that? Does uh -huh. that give, make, give you any feelings? I mean, this was 
just as respectful as Ace Combat was back then, I, I feel like. When I tried Ace Combat, it was no better than this. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what the Sony made one was that came on that demo disc. We still haven't booted the Bomberman games. I do definitely want to check those out. Because I love those games. <laughs> and the GameCube game that was like this too. Uh, yeah, I had Rogue Squadron 2 at one point. That game was absolutely stunning when it came out. Right. That thing was mind-blowing. You literally were like, the GameCube might be the most powerful console this gen. A feeling I never finished shaking. <laughs> Why did Nintendo put things into the N64, GameCube, and Wii to blur the fucking image? What is wrong with them? I don't know. Why are I've... they the enemy of good image quality? I can almost understand it back on the 64, but after that it just seems deranged. <laughs> it's like, yeah, things are so low res, maybe something that smooths it over it makes sense. I mean, I don't agree with it, but I at least can see where it, what they are thinking about. But it seems insane that by the time the PS2 and GameCube were coming out, like we didn't know about about 3D graphics enough yet back in the 64 times to make a good call on it. Like maybe they were onto something. They weren't. They, weren't. they were. <laughs> they weren't cooking literally nothing, as it turned out. Now people complain about them never using triple or anti-aliasing in their games, and they're like, what do you people want? It's okay. They'll just use a bunch of DLSS at ultra performance settings on the Switch 2, and everyone will learn their lesson. <laughs> cool. Let's, yeah. uh... Yeah. Let's check out Bomberman or Star Fox, which sure. is what we were originally going to yes. check out here. I'm surprised. Oh, that looks way better with those features turned on. Yeah, Holy it does. shit, it does not look right with all that turned off. Jesus. I was like, but Spider Man's right there. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Star Fox reminds me of. Mmm, says Evil Lucario. Is it <laughs> Star Wars? Because we just did that. Yeah. We just did Star Wars. I don't know. Space. Space that is not texture filtered at all to oh look correct. God. It's so good. <laughs> they certainly did design that around that filter. Priority one. We need your help, Star Fox. Andros has declared war. He's invaded the Lilat system and is trying to take over. Are you feeling okay, General? Yeah, he's shaking real bad. <laughs> No, he's just talking that fast. He makes like a chattering teeth sound. What a good game. Yeah, stellar fucking game. I like that they have the light spinning around them as though there is a light on the ceiling, ceiling that's spinning. Uh-huh. Yeah, it definitely was enough to fool my kid brain being like, yeah, they're running under lights. Yeah, right. <laughs> no sin punishment November. <laughs> <laughs> Evil look is like, I'd rather die. <laughs> Did you want to play it or you? Well, of course. All right, of course. No, I just, I had too much fun getting glass in my feet. Yeah. Which, as far as I know, I didn't, but <laughs> we'll find out. I'm sure at some point I'll step and then just be like, ah. Oh. It's about time you showed up, Fox. You're the only hope for our world. I'll You're late. <laughs> Andros won't have his way with me. I need to go watch the second episode of Fox in Space. Still only seen the first one. Do 
you think we should filter these textures? No. They're beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Let me belect my way through here. Yeah, it's a little bit of a difference. Yeah. Yeah, it's like something someone would design instead of... Oof. Instead of oof. Oof McCloud. Yeah. Here, we'll just leave on texture filtering, dithering, and de-dithering. And... Oh, yeah, an original gamma, because that's how it should look. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely should be a lot brighter here. It looks weird not being that bright. This is Peppy. All systems go. Yeah, I guess that gamma feature, so that way different planets, you know, can have different brightnesses. Uh-huh. That makes sense. It's showtime! Did you know Star Fox 64 is pretty cool? One might say it's such a good game, it ruined the franchise forever. Because they couldn't figure out what the fuck to make after. It's like, why don't you just make a game like that, but with new levels? Make what? that again? Got it. Impossible. <laughs> Assignment misunderstood. <laughs> Fox, how did you know he was gonna? Don't, don't worry about it. Well, canonically, Fox is a new type. He should be. That'd be so great. <laughs> yeah, I know. I shot you a lot there. That, that was pretty awful of me. Everybody stay alert! Everybody stay alert! What a good game. Yeah. I weirdly have never owned this growing up. Oh wow. I always played it at friends' houses. I, I believe that when I rented the 64, I had this with it. You know, this basically is what convinced me, no, I need to own this. It's a console. Uh, fair. Look at it. Yeah. And then the multiplayer mode was a ton of fun, too. Use the brake! Or just summer, somersault's good, too, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the, the multiplayer is really great. Ah oh, man, remember when single player of the game just had the weird <laughs> multiplayer modes? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I sure do! I sure remember that you buy it for the single player and then you got this great multiplayer thing to do with your friends. Wrong with the it's that's just infeasible now, you just can't do it. It's literally impossible. No game could ever ship with a multiplayer mode. It's weird how we ship to no one actually has friends. Unless they have enough friends to make a cult around our game. Right. <laughs> nah, fuck them. <laughs> well, you ever play the unlockable pilot mode in the in multiplayer? Yeah, of course. So you run around blue oh, dudes. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, it is. Should have done it the fucking summer show. Pretty cool flying, Fox. Man, what an incredible fucking game. Yeah. Like, it just... The reflections, the kicking up water, everything. Oh, wow, someone chat actually liked Star Fox Zero. I think Star Fox Zero had a lot of good ideas, uh, like, game, like, level structure and stuff-wise, but oh my god, it was too focused on the tablet. I love that Bob's tone it. with that was, like, fucking... Was like Someone in chat has posted fucking racist screed. One moment, let's delete it. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. just, I never see it. You're like, oh my god. Falco, I you are really cocky for a guy who's almost dead. <laughs> but yeah, no, that, that game... If they just didn't have so much focus on being quirky and like if the Wii U didn't have a tablet, that game would probably be fucking incredible. Right. It feels like a game held back by Miyamoto making it a game that needs to focus or show off all the features of the Wii U, which is so unfortunate. I wish that that got a Switch release where they just made a good game. Like Man. all that. <laughs> that just looks so fucking wrong. Yeah. Look at this man. His ship looks like fucking garbage now. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, that, 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 yeah, on oh, the sky too. I really can't deal with the sky looking that bad. It's just wrong. Hey, Dan, can you add every single line from the game as a sound for the stream? I need them. Okay. It's fair, crap. That's a very reasonable request. Deploy all units. Charge! Charge. Aim for the open spot. 
You mean the ones that are already broken off? <laughs> you, the, the, you mean the holes I'm making at the side of it? Because that's not an open spot. You guys? <laughs> that was like five seconds! We're Star Fox. We're Star Fox. You'll never defeat Andros. My name isn't Star Fox. <laughs> the Star Fox 64 mod that makes it go, oh. Every time the boss explodes. <laughs> you are heading out. All aircraft report. Boo, boo, do, 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 do. You're becoming more like your father. I'm fine. You okay over there, Fox? <laughs> I'm fine. He <laughs> says with one, one line HP. of help. <laughs> wow. Man, that man is so funny. Funniest guy in gaming. God, what a game. <laughs> okay, let's put the noise filter back on. Just for anyone who didn't know, the N64 literally has a noise filter, so that way you can make things look filmic. Which is why I thought it was funny when the um, developer this did the Patreon post. Let me... Yeah, you know what? That's good enough. We'll turn it on and you guys can see. Yeah, look at all that noise. Got like a crisp noise going on. Let me turn it off and... The way. But yeah, he was explaining that feature, and I'm like, what, did people not play Star Fox 64? Because <laughs> that shit's everywhere. <laughs> like, it was in the text crawl, at the, or the title screen thing at the beginning. It's mm -hmm. here on this map. It's in the game. It's in the game. I hate did it. I'm so glad I can turn that shit off. Thank you so fucking much. <laughs> I hate divot probably more than I hate the bilinear filtering. Which does say a lot. Um... I'm trying to remember how do you how do you change courses? Because I think there's a way of you got the best course, but what if you hit a button and then change? Oh, after you, I thought it was only what when you. Okay, yeah. Because yeah, if you if you do good, you could just you could just be like, but I don't like that level. Which to be fair, we should see if that effect works. Actually, no, it's the one after this that has the one after this is Aquos or whatever. Yeah. Man, what a good game. What a good game. I should probably stop playing this good game. Probably. We saw a level. It, it seems to work pretty well. I'm going to do one more. <laughs> Fox, we're under attack. Help us out here. I'm on my way. May, th may the hand of the free market guide us. What? You'll get the bill. Because, yeah, the end of the game is you charging them, right? They, the, the, what's his name gets the bill and he's just like, oh, I think that is right. You know. Yeah, this, this Gu Gundam's pretty cool. This Gundam is really great. Gundam's pretty cool. What if, what if Gundam's were monkeys? <laughs> Did you guys know about Gundam? Y'all ever hear about Gundam? Also, this level has good vibes. Let's back up the squadron. It'd be cool if someone found a way to make the lighting look good at the appropriate brightness. Because when you do that gamma shift shit, uh -huh. like it makes the dithering so much more apparent. Yeah, and like, I noticed that back on a fucking CRT. Like, I didn't have the words for it. But you can see how enhanced it is. So uh, what you're saying is we need a decompilation so people can do all sorts of crazy stuff with this and maybe even yeah, ray I tracing. Think, I think someone is doing a decompilation. I can't remember. It would make sense. This is easily one of the most popular games in the system. Mm -hmm. No, it's not as popular as Pilot. <laughs> Could you imagine? What a different time we would be in. What a different world we would live in. You know, I think they could have achieved that if they put furries in pilot wings. Someone's pitched it that, didn't it? For armchair devs. That's <laughs> where someone was like, but what if? Maybe. I think I actually wasn't involved in that episode. Really? Huh. Is that right? Hmm. Yeah, I know Aggro pitched the dog that pilots the the mech or whatever. Right. And I remember Chris's had the hilarious name for the island. Islands, rather. I love them just getting shot once and going, oh fuck, we didn't build these well at all. 
Isn't Pilot Wings OST the Armchair Devs music anyway? Asked Frog. Uh, yes, the Super Nintendo one. Which I have way less nostalgia for. I did not grow up with that game. And it is hard. <laughs> it's not that I dislike that game. I actually like it a lot. But I don't like it 10 out of 10 like it. Hmm. You know? Yeah. Sometimes it really be like that. You know, kind of like Bob grew up with the Game Boy Goemon game. Would you say that game's a 10 out of 10, Bob? No, I don't think I would ever say I even liked it slightly. I was just upset the entire time. Because that's the first game I bought off eBay. The first thing I ever bought off eBay. <laughs> you learned so much on that day. I did! It's like, did they sell me the wrong thing? Inspired by the very same greatness of a good Goemon game. Right? Yes, yeah, so I'm even after I played the 64. Yeah. Is that the best you can do? Is that the yes. best you can do? Don't be rude. I don't know. You guys don't seem to be killing anyone. I don't know. What's up with that? Location confirmed. Sending, Sending picks. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, we gotta we gotta replace Rob. <laughs> so much for seeing if Aquas works, right? Sorry, guys, not pro enough. Oh, wow! Uh, that came at me fast. You know what? quit moving around. You ever just vibrate and explode in space? What's new? Right. Can this dude stop following me so closely? Okay, we're good now. Now he's going after Falco. This game would be better if it had a girl fox who was blue, says Uncle Kevin. What? No way. Chat would say that. I'm like, wait, it's the gray doesn't, goblin. Don't they? <laughs> the gray goblin? I was like, wait, don't they have that chick later? But not the same chick, but a chick who's very similar? I think in, in Zero they just literally put in Crystal. Yeah, they did. Yeah, no, that's true. I'm not talking about Crystal. Oh, okay. I'm talking about there's literally a girl character later on in this game. Yeah, yeah I can't remember what her design looks like because in yeah, my I head it just either. looks like fucking Crystal, basically. Little freak. What's wrong? Is that it? Is that it? Okay, people are saying they're cat. Cat, thank you. I can't remember if she looks like Izer. I just vaguely remember something like that. She's blue. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Blue's a good color. She's pink. <laughs> <laughs> he even has the gun of dying <laughs> He does, yeah, no. It's very direct. We need cocky little freak to be a sound too. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Imagine being a priestess from a dinosaur planet and this guy people recruit you to pilot their death machine in a war. That's the plot of a Star Ocean game, right? I was gonna say that almost became like the direction a Gundam series went in. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they'll actually, you know, make full use of that in Gundam Eterna. <laughs> Need to get to that and find out. Yeah, we do. Well, well, let's let's let, let it show me how disappointing I am. Just hit change wow, course. It'll wow. let you go. <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> you get to retry course. You lose an R-Wing. I, I never hit this button, so I'm going to hit it here because I want to see it. Yeah. That's cool. That's this, a cool feature. It I is. Like that. What a good video game. This and Panzer Dragoon were really great, and that's a shame the N64 really didn't have its parallel to that. Mm-hmm. So Star Fox worked fine. You mean PlayStation? Sorry, what did I say? N64. Sorry, yes, PlayStation. Yes, one. Yeah, no Independence Day level. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Space Station Silicon Valley, eh? I'm yep. surprised it boots. Me too. Hey, take two. How's it going?
Hello there, iconic noise feature. Stop eating it. I like how that is indecipherable to anyone who hasn't played the game. Like, it makes zero sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, we're in the bitrate dimension. Okay, we're good. Ugh. I mean, the cutscene's working. But it just means you have to look at this. <laughs> Robotnik, are you okay? Someone squished his brain into the top part of his head. Frank Bloke, huh? That, uh... Made by British people? Can't even tell. Reminder. This is the people who went on to make Grand Theft Auto 3. Right? It's the reason that this game is important. <laughs> The Mr. Menu trained me to hit B to Belect. <laughs> you fool. Well, we gotta turn Orb. all those features back on, you know. We want it to look as authentic as possible. People coming in might be confused when it's not blurry as hell. God, I'm still back on how cool a decomp of Star Fox would be. But just the brand new textures and make it look incredible. Yeah, it'd be great. Hey, what music? Play it on its own. <laughs> He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> you killed a human and immediately crashed. <laughs> right, that feeling when you violate the first law of robotics and then kill yourself on accident. <laughs> Oh, Flossie. <laughs> I am really surprised this is working. Yeah. Oh, Roger. Oh, he keeps the dog. Ooh, yeah. Dog's a little dead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Which part? I feel like a lot of not how this was supposed to go happened. <laughs> Aw, oh, the sheep's crying over its dead dog lover. Oh, and then I scared the hell out of it by hijacking the dog. <laughs> wow. The game works. Crazy. I, I wonder if Dan's dead. What do you think? No, I think he's alive, unfortunately. Fucking Hannah brought bear a twinkle toe sound. Yeah. Oi, said the video game made by the British. What the fuck was... <laughs> what a fucking perspective! Hold the Z button to do that shit. Uh-huh. Wait, why? You can eat her? Europe. What? What's the environment? Europe. <laughs> the 
What a bizarre game. You got that cooldown on your ba. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. That's just... Oh, you you do. Okay, that green thing is your ba button. Yes. Because it's B. And it's green. Oh, and yeah. It's blue and it's A. What? Why did it make a bonk sound? Did he hit his hand? I guess. What, what happened? I'm floored that this runs right. That is so unexpected. I don't like how the dog hyperventilates. There's, that's not a natural speed for a dog to breathe. How does this stack up to the Game Boy Color version? I, did not I actually have never played that version. I know it exists. Uh, this game I only played after Tosh was like, that was one of my favorite games. Fifth says this game rocks. I remember always being rented out at Blockbuster. I don't think our Blockbuster had this. I think they did. I just saw the art in the cover and I'm like, I'm good. Yeah, maybe I'd recognize the art, but... <laughs> looks British. My kid brain didn't realize that's what that meant, but I was like, it looks like other bad games I have played. Right, it's like, it probably <laughs> it looks incredibly Amiga core. Yeah, yeah, it did. <laughs> what is this even called? This is Space Station Silicon Valley. And yeah, that's... That's enough for your kid brain even to pick up on it. Right, it's just like, uh, I have bad memories. <laughs> no, it's gonna be like, Plock. <laughs> Some Plock fans very upset right now. If only they had a sound to express. Are all no. the animals in the game actually robots? I don't think so, I'm pretty yes, sure Yes, that's why it's called Space Station Silicon Valley. Oh yeah? Uh -huh. I guess that explains why the, the, the chip can take them over. Get in there. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, chat, for answering the question. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Plot fans diddled again? I don't think that's the word you should mm. use. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's me going to the rental store. That sheep turned on the... What, you're trying to turn on your fellow man? Motherfucker turned on the electric fence. Like, oh, well, if I, if I oppress my fellow man, you won't put me in the cage, right? <laughs> Fucking sheep. Okay, so look at the right side of the screen. See those black dots that yeah. crawl up and down? What? Okay, yeah, that's the shitty anti-aliasing. There we go. Yeah, I fucking hate that. God, that really does just make the whole image worse. Like, it does. Look at that tree. <laughs> Which one of these two would you like to play? It's like the whole fucking console's like, what if I made it look like I printed the game image on a crinkled wrapper of a chocolate? <laughs> uh, then that would be bad. Sure would. I am actually really, really surprised this works. Yeah. Because uh, I feel like I had to do stuff to get to work on the EverDrive even. Either that or the Everdrive was just like, you're not allowed to play Space Station Silicon Valley. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I need you to take back over the limp dog. <laughs> dog, environment, Europe. I'm curious how Tosh came across this game and stuff. Right. Like, there's got to be a whole story there. Or it was, I went to Blockbuster and it had a dog on the thing and a sheep. Right. I bet there was a cow. I bet there was a cow on the cover and she was mm. like, I have to. My favorite game, Tootsie Pop Rapper. Spiff read about an EGM. Much hyped game for Spiff. I'm trying to remember what, what um, gaming magazines I would have had at that time. Uh, for me, I had Expert Gamer. Um, cause they had really cool strategies and stuff for like fighting games. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. that was the main one I subscribed to or bought repeatedly. I don't think I ever actually had a magazine subscription cause that takes consistent money. Right. And there's one thing I didn't grow up with. <laughs> it's consistent monetary flow. Um, yeah, expert gamer. Um, they the the one game my number one game for was hyped by a magazine and i was so insanely excited for it was smash 64. 
Yeah, that checks out. Um, I didn't realize it was a two and a half D fighting game even because no. of how they took those pictures. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was, it was uh, just part of me was a little disappointed. <laughs> but I played enough of it to just be like, oh my god, this is an incredible video game. Like fuck yeah. Still, still completely floored. I didn't realize this was from a site profile because of the photos they took. <laughs> So, Bob, on a scale of one to British, what do you think of this game so far? Ten. <laughs> it's a British... It's a British ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I, <laughs> the I, dog's voiced by Michael Caine. <laughs> I, my GameStop subscription ran out. Fuck you. I don't like how this story even sounds already, given how many stories we've had to tell about our local GameStop. They now it is twenty five dollars for a year. Okay. Instead of fifteen, okay. you only get five percent off used games. Instead of ten. Ten, yeah. Instead of ten. Uh huh. And yeah, then also uh, the app will now tell you you have a five dollar coupon waiting, but then it's like you can't use that coupon unless you're in the description. Uh, so yeah. And also, they fully switched to, like, digital magazine, too, because before you could... There was in-between phase of, like, oh, yeah, the physical magazine now costs more, so it's the one where you have to pay, like, $20 instead of $15. Mm. And now it's just $25 for everything. It's, like... It's, it's crazy. And, like, Curse is saying that it's over. It's that washed. <laughs> I was like, I... I could justify the $15 before... Just we're using those coupons once in a while. Sheep secure. But 25 is too much. Well, there we go. I've oppressed my fellow animal neighbor. <laughs> I'm surprised pausing is that smooth. Yeah, wow. and all, all these menus would even work. Like, we don't have any weird crashes or anything. Find the mouse with wheels? Okay, we got to do that before <laughs> I leave this game. I need to find out. Because I saw some ramps and stuff. Mm -hmm. And those clearly would have involved sick mouse tomfoolery. I think Tosh will be pretty jazzed that this works. Because, you know, that makes it easier to just boot up and play. Right? I was telling Bob, this is this is a bad impulse. It's a really bad impulse, but uh, yeah, I should have used one of the sheep to jump over there. But uh, after I use this even a little, I'm like, I should buy three more. <laughs> right? <laughs> You know, I really should reconstruct my, uh, my mister, but I, I know all I would do is immediately start playing Symphony of the Night. <laughs> it's a mouse! Holy shit, that mouse is cracked out. Racing mouse! Racing mouse. Let's go. <laughs> no! no! Racing mouse, mouse is no! dead! Teleporter activated for what? Killing the mouse? The mouse is dead, so they kind of just went... Oh my god. Oh my god. I guess I needed to use the mouse at all. That was a goal. Okay. Oh, and I can ramp over there now. Successfully. Where's Crazy Taxi where I place this mouse? <laughs> Man, video games used to be a whole different breed, huh? Yeah. I would like to note uh, the the developer behind this. I think it was not for this, but for Body Harvest. Mm -hmm. Was really bummed out when uh, Nintendo's marketing stuff kind of screwed them a little bit. I think their game got massively delayed after they used their Nintendo allotted marketing and Nintendo power. Oh. So then it came out and no one even fucking noticed. Honeymoon Lagoon. I feel like had Nintendo powers intermittently for when I had 64. Because I remember Earthworm Jim 3D being advertised. Yeah, I was gonna say my most hyped game was uh, what I just said it was uh, Smash. Smash, but uh, the, the problem is that it actually was Earthbound 64. Yeah, Earthbound 64. I also got pretty hyped for that, <laughs> even though I didn't even like play the yeah, older one. Yeah, you didn't one. even play Earthbound. Whereas like, I played Earthbound, and I was just like, this looks cool, and then it never came out. <laughs> I can't jump as the microchip. Also, I'm dying. I guess you're just too 
open to the environment and the environment is bad for you. Yeah, the elements are too severe. I'm burning! <laughs> He's returned to games where you drive a mouse. <laughs> uh, uh, legit. You know, a lot of people struggle with, I don't know how I'm going to make a game as good as Undertale. And it's like, nah, don't cry. Just go make a cool game where you, like, collect cats. <laughs> go make a cool game where you dr play as a driving mouse. I have to believe Mother 3 is better than Earth Earthbound 64 would have been. What the fuck is going on here? It's just the factory. What's the, what's the big oh deal? Oh my god. Okay, I now can process. So, so those are... Those are little pillars with chains. Mm -hmm. I thought they were people holding hands. Oh. And I thought this was a horrible ritual. Okay, now I get it. Uh, I haven't played Buzzer 3, so I wouldn't know. Because I'm a good boy. I don't want to upset Richie. <laughs> right, he uh, clearly doesn't want anyone to play that. He knows. Cool, I deactivated an electric fence somewhere. Uh... <laughs> Sheep. But yeah, it would have been really cool to see a 3D Earthbound. And it feels like that just will never happen. Oh well, yeah, now we're fucked. Let's just not happen now. I'm sorry, guys. Reggie, Reggie's a great friend of mine. I would never play a video game if he didn't want me to. I trust him. It's so funny that even, even that character uh, being put in Smash couldn't get us Martha 3. Ah, yes, Lucas. Lucas. Lucas! Lucas Pugas! Oh, no, 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 no! This is, uh, bad. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Maybe that's for the best. <laughs> okay, Goku. <laughs> At least I'm collecting this health. Isn't that great? That's pretty great. What the hell are you? What? It's a pogo sheep? Springy thingy. What? The what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Anyways, I don't know. I'm sure Tosh would enjoy a space station Silicon Valley stream. I'll have to let her loose sometime with this game. Oh, hey. Oops. Ooh, no. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, you move. I okay. Cause, cause I'm on land now. Right. <laughs> Fucking. Why does this sheep have a dive kick? <laughs> I hold A. Okay, I can just hold A. I read this game as a very young child and spent most of this uh, weekend squinting at a TV. <laughs> Sounds like yeah. the, the response yeah. you'd have at a young age, yeah? Yeah, I feel like that's a pretty natural response to have to this game. Yo, what the fuck are those? Oh my god, they're foxes! These foxes can boxes! <laughs> the game too British for even other Europeans to understand it. <laughs> No, the foxes beat me the fuck up. It's okay. It wasn't though. I'm dead, Grandpa. <laughs> I like that he didn't like. At no point are they getting back together. No, he's now just menu man. I look forward to Tosh unleashed. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think people have been waiting since the beginning of this stream for us to play a game. Oh yeah, you're right. Bomberman. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, that's the second attack. I can't do that one yeah, first. No, that's what? the second game. <laughs> Mario Party. Yeah, I just got this controller. I literally unboxed it. Unboxed it for this. Uh oh. It's not a good sign. No, that's a bad sign. That's that's really unfortunate. Here, I'm gonna hand this to you to boot the next game, yeah. which should be the first Bomberman. At least this is Bomberman Two. Maybe one's fine. Yeah, maybe one's fine.
You remember to blacked it. Oh, that's the same error code. Yeah, it is. Let me write it down real quick. Ah, oh, very sad. Fire Man 64 is really cool. Yes. Literally one of my favorite games. What about Fire Man Hero? Oh, no. Oh. 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 We're getting somewhere. I guess it being a completely different game in development saved it, right? The soundtrack's going hard. This is the one I have the least experience with. We played on a retro for like years ago. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing of like, man, I completely missed this one. Kind of like I did for Barman 2 on the 64, but even more so. I can't remember when that, uh, Retro Roulette was, I think it was uh, 2020, maybe 2019, and I was talking about doing a Final Fucking Friday so all the way back then, which was a Final Fantasy playthrough series. Yeah. You you look a little different, Bomberman. Have you oh, been working, working out? <laughs> yeah, if robots do enough squats, they turn into uh, submarines. And this is what happens when he works out at the library? Yes. I guess. Okay. Man, what if Konami never stopped making games? <laughs> that would have been wild. Well, you know that new Bomberman just came out. I haven't given it a shot yet, but sometime soon, we will have a video where we gave it a shot. Or a chance, some might say. People who don't know, that's Super Bomberman uh, R2. Oh no! They're destroying the universe! Eh, it looks fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You need to tell Bomberman and his friends right away. Oh, I thought it was a robot talking. I didn't notice her mouth flapping. <laughs> you know what would make it easier to see her mouth flapping? Turning off all these fucking anti-alias things. <laughs> Let's do it! Yeah. Something about the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Right. Whoop, whoop. Take the cisk and go hide in the engine room. Hide the million. thing. This this whole thing is like. What are you going to do? Don't worry about me, just her. What's up, Bob? Like, we're the smallest spaceship ever. She's not gonna hide. She can't. Planet 1 Bomber. Is Planet 2 Man? No. Planet 2's Pogger. Uh, no, Decahex. I have no idea what you're talking about. Unless it involved the disk drive. The 64DD. Man, this game is weird. There's a bomb on the switch and floating board will move. Whoa. Whoa. Now, Bob, A jumps, right? Yes. Good. Tap R or C down twice to do a bomb kick. Press R twice. In my head, it was like, well, you can either hit R once or C down twice to do this. Mm. Too close. I got it. Remember that Wireless? banger soundtrack? Yeah. I miss it. Oh, yeah. If you don't know what it is, uh, Billy So, I think. Um, basically, the mister is a tiny little thing. Like, the size of two decks of cards put on top of each other, so, like, this tall and the exact dimensions of a deck of, deck of cards aside from that. He uses a special type of processor that makes it really good at running emulation consoles. Um, so people program cores to play these old systems. It literally is one of the best investments you can make if you like retro gaming. Because all the cores except for the Sega Saturn are in a pretty good state, which means you have every generation of consoles covered up to and including fifth gen, so PS1 and 64. And they're working on that Saturn core, but I wouldn't put money on it. Oh, 
That was some chug. Yeah, it was. That was weird. Honestly, looking at this, I'd say Saturn is on par with this. I don't know. I checked out videos of people doing the Saturn stuff and... Like, our batting average has been 50-50, I think. Let me go look. So we've done... What is that? 20... Yeah, we've done 23 of them, let's say. Yeah. My average so far is about 50-50, but there are a couple of things, like we had to ROM hack Mario 64 to get it to work, Blast 4 had destroyations in the planet. I don't think Saturn's quite at 50-50 yet. It'd be pretty cool if it was, though. Oh, that's good. It's probably a d dumb question, but are you able to use an S64 for the Mister, at least via a converter? Uh, not yet. Nobody's made a snack adapter yet, which I'm really waiting for because while well, that thing's great, it doesn't feel exactly right for an N64 controller. That's not to say it doesn't feel good. The problem is, in fact, it doesn't. It feels too good. <laughs> the N64 controller, the way it was designed with the analog stick is very specific. Look at that ledge graph technology. Do 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 do. Does dinosaur planet work on this? I don't know. No idea. I couldn't even get that to work right on my N60. Right, I was like, that already basically doesn't work. Yeah, you just to jump around and stuff. Right. Yeah, this game's pretty cool. I would definitely have liked if, if I found this as a kid. The fortunate it was like, nah, we've, we've hidden it. <laughs> oh God, I, I, what? you can't just spawn him after I already hit it. It's too dangerous. There's a bomb on the switch, and it'll fucking climb or move. Oh, okay. Would you want... That, that's such a basic sound effect. It's in everything. I did it! I did it. I think people are still... Yippee! Tinkering with the Penis for Planet Ron, see what they can get working. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, but. It's bomb on the switch to stop the Vader Belt. Wait, the bomb doesn't move along with the Vader Belt. I'm dead now. Whoa. I, I, I thought I'd get healed between levels. I did not. I mean, Bomberman 64 is like the GOAT party game on the N64. So, like, I understand liking it more than this. But yeah, that's what would have been cool as a single player thing, whereas I didn't feel like it. Like, I never remember that as a part of 64 I like. Oh, I love that part of 64. It's got a cool story, and it, it did a good job of turning Bomberman into a thing that was closer to what games were doing at the time. Mm. Um, with the larger levels that were more explorable. Yeah. Um, it did. It, it, as someone who had played Bomberman occasionally, like I played the uh, Super Nintendo ones a lot. Or one, I suppose. Um, it was important. Uh, Hudson sold a turbo controller that would let you press start 30 times fast on the menu to get bonus missions, but if you could just press start fast enough, you didn't need the controller. Jesus. That's I guess, range. Yeah, I was like, I guess I could unlock it, but I don't know about most people. <laughs> but you have to frame perfect push it every other frame. Hmm. Yeah. You can't just max it out. It, I mean, if you went too fast, then it would read multiple frames adjacent to each other as having... Hmm. It's possible, I guess. Yoshi P directed the story for Bomberman 64. Huh. That's hilarious. Whoa. Yeah, this game seems to work. Uh, can we move on? Yeah, sure. Whoa, 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 whoa.
<laughs> yeah, Daikatana is what everyone wants to know about. <laughs> you say that as though it's not true. Well, let's do Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah, sure. Diddy Kong Racing. That's, that's I'm important. A, I'm a big fan of Diddy Kong Racing. Oh, yeah, there's also Vigilante 8. Oh, yeah. Emulators have problems with that, but... Yippee! Let's see if we can trick Rare's game into playing. <laughs> I had a bunch of emulators on the NVIDIA Shield, and then enough they killed almost all the emulation I did in it. Was that their intention, or just did they changed something and it broke shit? Boys. Sup. I couldn't even get the menu up in time to turn all the features and see the difference. Yeah, we gotta go for authentic look. Yeah, what if it looked blur? That's what people love. Diddy Kong Racing! You gotta select Banjo. No, oh, why? Why not Diddy says, Kong? Because he says the funny line. I'm Banjo! Okay, you could go play it someone else, but you gotta hear that one. Sure, I've never played his mouse. Banjo looks weird in this. Yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's so normal. Outside of Diddy Kong, none of these characters will ever return. What are you talking about? Conker's right over there. And he was in the highly popular Conker game on the Game Boy Color that everyone loved and owned. Right, Bob? Yes. It's okay, guys. Now that... Now that... Microsoft also has the Activision. Now Banjo will come back. That was what was holding them back. Oh, okay. They didn't own Micro Activision yet. <laughs> I think it's really weird that people pretend like, oh yeah, the PS5 and the Xbox Series X are basically the same value proposition. I'm like, I have like the greatest VR experience you can get outside of modding games and VR chat. Right. And that actually does make a huge difference to me. It's really weird when people just act like that doesn't exist. Right. All right. I gotta see this this thing I'm, I'm sitting on top of. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. I'm not sure if that makes it more or less intelligible. <laughs> oops, oops, oops. Oh, you didn't belect it? I didn't belect it. Yeah, I'm going to say less. <laughs> I'm yeah, going to say the yeah, original N64 filtering. Uh, Linka says they always pick the mouse. I do like the mouse. She's cute. I, I don't know what to do with this. Oh, you drive up that bridge that uh, you right. were staring at to begin with. Look at that one. They even go. put a rainbow over it. They did. And a balloon at the top. I like the softness of blurred graphics over sharpness. I don't know. There's a very specific level I like, like, going on with this. I mean, yeah, no, I basically, I think, is a sweeping statement. I much prefer sharp graphics to blurred graphics. <laughs> like, I like when we get the dithering in because it makes the banding less obvious and the banding's pretty rough. So, like, if you look at that, you know what? I'll even punch in for the internet and help them, help them see exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, I don't know that Chris never beat this. You oh. never fucking... That's, that's crazy. I always got filtered by the first boss. Oh, wow. I mean, that, like, not to sit here and be like, this game's baby easy, how have you not beaten it? Because, yeah, that boss, the, the bosses are hard. But yeah, you put the dithering in, so then it does that, and then you put the D dither in, so that way it does that, and bam. Now you got crisp pixels and proper gradients. 
Because I don't I don't need this texture to become this. I don't right. I don't want that. I just want that that little bit, you know? And then and then nothing else. None of this none of this fucking I'll leave noise on just to be authentic if it does use it and gamma on in case it uses that, but like I don't wanna blur it with the fucking bilinear. <laughs> Fuck that. I don't want the fucking texture filtering. Let's cut to the white and do that again. Cause yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's right. I like these pixels on the ground. I get why someone wouldn't, but I I like them. Also, it's changing our wheels very, like a lot. It is it's actually like yeah. making them expand. So if I had a choice, that's what I would do. And mm -hmm. now I do. You do. Yeah, I didn't play much of any of this until um, that that uh, stream we did. Aga Hust. Yeah, where we going all the way through it? Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Boop, ba -doop, boop, boop, boop. Because you know this is a banjo game. <laughs> yeah, banjo's in it. Banjo's in it. It's the best banjo game then. So is Aga Hust. Bum, 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 ba -dum. Chat, is the game quiet or is it good? Do do do. I love the sharp turn you can do in this game. It's so deranged. <laughs> you should just pick up on the two wheels immediately. Mm -hmm. I played a decent amount of this growing up, which is why it surprises me how correct this uh, analog stick feels. <laughs> That's when I made the decision to pick this up is when the uh, developer of this core uh, was like, the stick maps one-to-one -one on this controller to the original N64 controller. And I'm like, that is really important. <laughs> you know, part of my problem playing Mario 64 on PC is that normal analog sticks don't map correctly to Mario 64's expectations. It's true. Which, you know, I haven't used this yet on the PCD compilation. I don't know how that'll work out. I don't know if anyone's made an optimal mode. Ooh. Didn't know this game ran at 30. Yeah, it's a 64 game. Almost none of them ran above 30. Running at 30 is aspirational in the world of N64 games. Right. As you can see right now. <laughs> oh no, it's Vector. Yeah, that's Vector. Absolutely. This was the first game he showed up in, Bob. Now he's just like, this is around the same time as Sonic R. What do you, what do you, what do you, what this is like a real what kart you, racing game. Uh, what are you saying about Sonic R? Are you, uh... It's hard to even call it a racing game. <laughs> Sonic R is a great game. It's a game. racing adventure. <laughs> that game's fantastic. I don't... This is also a racing adventure. There's like collectibles in the environment that you need to protect and progress. <laughs> You know, we just saw, uh, I believe it was Matto say that the Saturn core is good if it's so good. Can it play Sonic R? <laughs> yeah, only, as like, Chris is saying, Game Sack did a video on 65 for saying 64 games. It was like four. Yeah, no, yeah. it's not that many. <laughs> Admittedly, that South Park game's on that list. Uh, so that's why I was thinking about that again recently. Uh, so maybe that's also why Chris was thinking about it again recently. <laughs> Boom, boom, chaka laka like a boom. Hey, at least it's not a gum song. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit better than the competition. What's yeah, up? Could you imagine that they had like an actual developer who could make a racing game at Sega? Make well, a Sonic game? Why would they need that? They already had Traveler's Tales. Yeah, they could make a game, they swear. I actually don't know how many PS2 games supported 720p. A lot more supported 1080i, I feel like. And even then, they weren't really 1080i. They were just upscaling. <laughs> but it was a cool big number to say they had. Yeah. Yeah, I need to let him say this is for you once. So I'll do that after this race. I'm. This works crazy, right? 
We're we're living the dream of yesteryear. <laughs> the fucking N64 can play the Mister can play Diddy Kong Racing correctly. Mm hmm. A thing everyone said was a fool's dream. And yet here we are. But yeah, I think the number one reason I'd want um, the snack adapter is to remove some latency because there's just a little bit added to this that isn't authentic. The wireless controller. Yeah. yeah. This song has PTSD. Because this is the song that plays when you fight that fucking rhino. Ah. And he's like running and going. <laughs> You're like, it is a rare game. He probably did fart. Right? Probably. I only lapped most of them. <laughs> do pre-built misters ever go on sale? By on sale, do you mean for cheaper? Because no. Rakuga kids, I don't know if I have that installed. God damn it, I did it again. Skip Tim saying this is for you yet again. <laughs> You're gonna say, hey, you didn't beat all the courses, right? But yeah, making it out of the parts really isn't that hard. You just need a, a, like a clear table to do it on <laughs> and a yeah. screwdriver, I think, yeah. is uh, like the only requirements. Yeah, it's really not that hard, guys. I would definitely recommend that over the sizable margins you're giving somebody to pre-build it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that person's overcharging. I'm just saying, you know. Can you race me to, to give me a blue and we've been using the one without, like, a, a big case or anything. It, right. It's not had any issues, with, like, with that, like, the dust getting in it and ruining it or anything. Yeah, I mean, there's ba barely anything to this thing. Right. I actually can't remember how you get the one extra blue. I need the key for that. Does anyone remember where the one spare balloon comes from? You can buy a case on AliExpress for fairly cheap. That's cool. Is it about the same difficulty as building a PC? It's way easier. Yeah, way easier. Yeah, no, it's like, imagine having to plug in five things instead of 50. <laughs> I don't think time trials get you balloons. I think that gives you the TikToks. And us. Somebody's saying that they, they are actually running a sale on, on the pre-built ones on Mr. Add-ons right now, but it's still oh, okay. 550 bucks. It's still what? Like 550 bucks? Yeah, and that's way cheaper than what people are saying, which is 800 Right. Uh, Juice Frost, his name is Apu. Thank you. <laughs> And I'm sure it's an Indian fellow. Why wouldn't the British have access to an Indian guy? I actually wonder what the population demographic of England is. Yeah, I know where um, Curry is, is popular because of the influx. <laughs> because of the imperialism? Yeah, the imperialism. <laughs> um, I, I, don't I don't know, know what the actual living population looks like, right. though. Yeah. It's going to be like Niceville. <laughs> the whitest fucking country on earth. And it rains here a lot. Hmm, one moment. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. Are we in England too? <laughs> this song is so good. Chris being like, I would not own one if it hadn't been like 400 when I got it. <laughs> I don't know. At the same time, it really is just the, the device that keeps paying dividends. Right. It does so much. Yeah. And even if I didn't stream, like, this thing would be the way I would want to play all these old games. Because mm -hmm. you get the customizability of, like, either using modern controllers with it via USB or Bluetooth or, you know, using adapters and using the original controllers. Hell, my, uh, our local friend Ryan Secrets also just got one and he doesn't stream that he's let us know. Maybe he's a YouTuber out there. <laughs> yeah. We just don't know. We just don't know. We just don't know. Meh. Let him say it. Yeah, and clearly you just move on because you're never going to let him say it. No, I'm sorry. I have to let him say it. Chat's going to be really upset if he doesn't say it. 
Look, guys, we're all trying to fight my programming of over 25 years with this game, okay? It's an uphill battle. I did buy one, but I bought a Retro Tank 5X. Oof. Eh, Retro Tank 5X is only like 300. In the realm of upscalers, that's not a bad price. Yeah, right? It's, it's just hard to spend that much on retro hardware two times in a year. Oh, they're saying they just did it? It's, it's, that's what the tone of it was, but maybe it's just... I think that will never a, recover from this. Which, you know... I think Sometimes you have that feeling. I think that's more of a clarification of the type of person they are, right? Like, not everyone has bought a Retro Tink 5X for $300. That's an investment. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is... You know, and no shade on uh, that product or the person who makes it, but obviously this pays out way better because it has an HDMI out, so you don't even need to scale it. And it plays all these things. Right. Whereas with the retro tink, you need original gaming hardware that works still. Which, you know, sometimes they work and then they just stop working. So, like our N64 power supply died at some point. We don't even know when. Just one day. <laughs> so we had to use the uh, power supply from the other N64. And thank God, because if it was something other than that power supply, that means our RGB modded N64 would just no longer be usable. Be like, oh, cool. I'm glad I spent a lot of money to get this uh, RGB modded and shit just so it could croak. So anyways, yeah, I think the Mister is a pretty good investment when you uh, contextualize. Don't yeah. worry, I'm not going to hit it this time. Okay. Should I? It doesn't matter. It's not the fucking... <laughs> well done, kid. <laughs> Bob, you okay? You seem upset. It's okay, Bob. I I get to I get to go 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 do these levels again, and this time he'll say it. I've got something special for you. Is something wrong, Bob? <laughs> Thank you. For Technically, you let him say it once at the very beginning. No, I don't think I did that, chat. Chad, I don't think I let him do that. I think Bob's just trying to talk me out of redoing this race with the silver coins. And there's a key over here now. Boop it up. That might have been there the whole time, actually. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. You motherfucker. I'll kill you. Whoa. Oh my god. We need the Osaka. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. How polite of him to let you know exactly when you should go for it. <laughs> you just wouldn't know otherwise. I can't look at the left and see that it is full at all. I'm blind. I wish I were a bird. I wish I were a bird. <laughs> but yeah, it is staggering how good this core is. Like, countless of the games we played today have run correctly entirely. <laughs> they didn't even have problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy. We finally heard it. <laughs> oh, wow. look at this key. It's doing a thing. Oh. Wait, does that key turn the wrong way? Uh, Guys, how many doors do you unlock by turning a counter? You could have built it wrong, yeah. Like, uh, you could have <laughs> fucking floored a homeowner. Yeah, I've, I've examined rooms like this before. I even, I've seen it solved upside down door knobs. <laughs> God, that's dumb. Let's move on. Uh, <laughs> hey, Bob, what sh what game should I bullet next? Uh, uh, next should be... Jeez, Dr. Just... Mario? Got it. Sure. I know how much people love Dr. Mario 64, so of course they want to see it. Hello, Rebel Winter. You were streaming today? Cool. What were you playing? For people who don't know, Rebel Winter is a cool streamer who's also a longtime viewer of the Gigaboots. Oh, the shout-out already happened. I 
I'm we're playing uh N64 games on the Mister. Mick kids! <sighs> What's wrong, Bob? Good for you. <laughs> I'm sure. I wish I was it. there for that stream. I wish I was watching that. You have to. I'm gonna shut this stream down. You gotta start yours again. <laughs> How far did you get? What'd you do? Look at this cryptid on the right. But yeah, for people who don't know, the Mister is like an FPGA core console for playing uh old. It's an FPGA core processor based system for playing old consoles. Meaning we have a tiny little thing over here. It's barely. God, I don't even know. There's no console small enough to compare it to. It's smaller than a Game Boy Pocket on two dimensions, and then it's just thick, right? Like tall. Right. That's yeah. probably the closest to analog. Y'all yeah. remember the Game Boy Micro? Somewhere right. between that and a Game Boy Pocket. Yeah, I was like, what if you had three Game Boy Micros? So you put two on top of each other and one, one next to them. And I think that's about the size. <laughs> The height is the complication. I guess if you, yeah, you put them two like normally and then the one on its side, mm -hmm. literally next to them. Yes. There you go. It's the size of a Raspberry Pi. I mean, those can have different sizes too. And honestly, the PCB size, I don't know. It might be smaller, depending. It was going okay and then I got to the special world and I lost my shit after dying 30 times in one stage. <sighs> my playthrough did not include the special world. People were like, you have to go back in order to get the real ending. And I'm like, fun fact. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I can't oh. use the I can't use the Raspberry Pi thing because I was like, I don't think I've actually seen one in person. Like, that's not something I have a reference for. <laughs> right. Then Mario ran around killing everyone. Dr. Mario, why'd you do that? I've never played this game. Didn't someone give you this as a birthday present yes, one that year? was weird. That was, that was very weird. Well, it threw up an error code. I guess I should write that down while the story's doing its thing. Do you have wet tricks? Uh, yes, we have every N64 game that released in the States set up. Also, I personally own the game wet tricks. <laughs> Digi said something way earlier now that I found very confusing. Huh. They're like, I need to upgrade my PC because my PC is bad. It's like, okay, that makes sense. Um, and then they were like, I, I'm thinking about you getting a Steam Deck to upgrade my PC with. And I was like, what does this mean? What did they mean by that? <laughs> so I'm going to stick the Steam Deck on my CPU socket, okay? <laughs> oh, you... Need to upgrade PC itself because it's Windows 7, but also getting a Steam Deck for actually playing games. Weird. All right. It's really fucked up that I know this song from fucking Lumalin films. Oh my god! Because I've never played this version. One moment. There we go. Oh man, Dr. Mario Pro over here. How does he do it? It's really weird. I. I am weirded out that the error code popped up and it's like, what did it mean? Nothing. It seems fine. It does seem completely fine. You know, look up what these error codes mean. Boop -a -doo -doo -dip. Yeah, if you didn't have a deep fascination with the portability of a Steam Deck, um, then I wouldn't know why to get that for like if you're just looking to do retro gaming but they were digi was making it sound like they were doing that to replace their pc for pc gaming right right mm, i would it's, it's a lot of the strengths of pc gaming is the compatibility that's been built up over years so throwing the wrench in that of it's running on linux seems like a mistake Because, like, one of the major shortcomings of the Steam Deck is, as you can see in our stream of it, like, a codec. It'll want to use a certain video codec, and it'll just be like, nope. Right, you never know when you're going to run into something like that. Yeah. Yeah, sure, we'll leave that there. Fuck it. Fuck everything. So, uh, fun fact. I owned uh, Dr. Mario on the, on the Nintendo. Did you own that, Bob? Yeah. Uh, did you like it? I liked the music, which was enough as a kid to convince me the game was good, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I own this on the NES. 
I like the music is just a code for I have I have a pulse because every human on Earth likes the music of Dr. Mario. I've yet to meet one human who was like, it, it's bad, actually. That would be the ultimate contrarian YouTuber. <laughs> the music of Dr. Mario is actually bad. I'm like, you should talk to the Beatles awfully loud, motherfucker. <laughs> sure. My victorious <laughs> moment. I didn't even clear a fucking virus, but sure. Man, Nintendo really saw how successful Tetris was and was like, we really need to figure out what our Tetris is. And, you know, playing Dr. Mario, I could say this ain't it, Chief. <laughs> I'm... I'm sure someone's watching this and they're like, you just say that because you're bad at it. And I'm like, no, I say that because I've never had fun at, with it, even when I was better at this game. Which one's better, Wario's Woods or Dr. Mario? I'm going to say Wario's Woods. Controversial take, I know. I actually have no idea. I don't know. If, I've, if I played Wario Woods it was for a stream or something once, I never actually sat down. So you're it. saying we got to go back. <laughs> Bob needs to have a take on this. Don't like these sprites. I don't know. These sprites are kind of charming. They're kind of funny, which admittedly, you're looking at them too crisply. Maybe you'll like them after we get the authentic N64 blur back. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Isn't that delightful? I hate seeing the pixels clearly. <laughs> right? Oh, God. Mario looks so bad. No, Mario. You're treating it with medicine. Don't call an ambulance. Why do, why do I hear the ambulance sound occasionally? <laughs> Stop. Whatever, kill me. Yeah, I was like, you you made mistakes so far long ago and just have never recovered. <laughs> yeah. So that's enough of that. What about Star Fox or StarCraft 64? We can go back to Star Fox 64. I'm okay with that. Oh, Xena. There's a Xena. Oh, God, that Xena game. Star... Wait a minute. Space alphabet oh, for... The... Okay, <laughs> they put space before. Okay. I think I booted Tetrisphere off the stream. I can't remember if it worked right. I had something else that was coming up at the moment that I'm like, wait, what the hell's going on here? That's surprisingly clean looking. Yeah. We haven't even turned off the blur and stuff. That's crazy. Like, they just manually did that. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. This looks just a little bit worse than it did on PC, let me tell you. Maybe if we turn off the features. Maybe they don't be able to see it. And then the question becomes, will you want to see it crisply? <laughs> Thanks for the sub, man. Man, that is so clean looking. That's bizarre. Yeah, that's fucked up. Turn those features back on. It's still really clean. What the fuck? Yeah, right? How'd they do it? I guess if your game was almost... Was like entirely 2D assets, you really would look into, you know... How to make it not blur them, right? Right. Man, yeah, this this looks really good. It helps that it's 480i, so it's higher resolution. Find Rainer. Miller Barracks. Command 10 Marines. I should have done two players, so we all jump into a match. Okay, this is still just basically showing me on a map. Give me something to shoot. Fuck and roll. Let's move. Let's roll. This works. As well as StarCraft 64 ever did, right? Okay, so what's it look like without the features on in in game? Oops, oops, oops! I, I you didn't belect. Okay, that looks way better. That is at instantly crisper. Right. Go, go, go. They tried their best. Go, go, go.
apparently be attacked. Eric's like, hey, what the fuck? When he finds out we're playing StarCraft 64 without him. Oh yeah. This should be good. Get him. I wonder if it's possible to like turn up the music. Like on a pause screen. Maybe. Sorry, Max. That's unfortunate. This should be good. Anytime you're ready. That's Jim Rayner. Look at his face. What? That's not how he looks later. No, that's totally how he looks Anytime later. You're ready. He just stopped at Barn Hills on the way. Oh, it doesn't have the double click in order to select no. them all? No, it doesn't. I wonder if there's like a button you could hold. Not in there's the building. Did they have any means to do a network game like PS1 or Saturn did? Not On the N64? Games. No. No, Wait, Nintendo sir. didn't really build anything Affirmative. to do that. Affirmative. So imagine this is how you played. What do you... Sir. This is how you played this game. Just fucking imagine. Yeah. This is StarCraft to you. God. Console RTS is really the most cursed thing in existence. It is. Yeah, Diablo and this did not really work well. I think that's enough. <laughs> you they would be correct. <laughs> You know, we've been talking about Vigilante 8, and it's been a while. Second offense? No. Regular. Regular. Of course. StarCraft 64 versus Brutal Legend. I was uh, able to pop in and out of... Oh, man. We got an arrow wow. already. <laughs> Others may be... What? This dev has a really cocky fucking... I feel like something should be shown here. That's Maybe where you're wrong. Clearly the game just goes whoop whoop. Maybe if I turn on all those features. <laughs> it'll it'll dither up a logo? <laughs> yes. Well, the demo mode works. So just the title screen doesn't work, maybe? Like it all? Arcade. Man, there should totally be things here. I wonder if these... There should be a map somewhere. Nah, probably not. The Hoover Dam. Whoop, whoop. I could have sworn there was a limo I could drive in this. I don't, I don't see it here. Let's get on with the mission, huh? It's nighttime, so you can't see it. Yeah, the map is too dark. Okay. So you have those uh, features turned off still, huh? You know, they're actually on. Really? I'm pretty sure. Let me double check. Yeah. Wow. I'm surprised I can see all that dithering then. That's right? really weird. Yeah, the D-dither's just literally not working here. Hit that again on the D-dither. Yeah, it basically isn't. Let me turn on dithering and... D Dizzer. Yeah, it's nothing. just literally doing nothing. Weird. Okay. You think Jackie's ever played Vigilante 8? Oh. Well, that was neat, right? Uh, I don't know. We should interview him and ask. Because I don't feel like he'd be the sort of guy who's offended that it happened, but I also don't know if he'd, also, or if he'd seek out or try the competition. Lance Boyle says in most emulators, the textures are all fucked up. So, hey, we're doing better than that. Okay. Even the menu's not working right. It seems like in the level here, like that feels like we're not missing anything.
Weird thing is the frame rate's better than Twisted Metal. Right. Especially when you look at the sky. This core is so weird. It has trouble with stuff like menus and FMVs, but the 3D is all good. What would even cause that? I imagine people are doing some weird tricks to put higher quality images on the screen. Beep, beep, beep. The funny thing is up until this core update, which came out yesterday, uh -huh. um, the all the games ran technically at the wrong speed. Oh. Because it, it wasn't doing 59.85 hertz. It was doing 60.1. Weird. Uh, because the video core, the video part processor of the N64 is slightly asynchronous from the rest of it. Uh, but they fixed that. I feel that there's car damage so you see parts falling off of them. Okay, the menus are... F no way the menus are 40 feet. They're probably 40, guy. Yeah. Are all the features turned back on? Uh, no, I believe they're all off. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, the ground doesn't look right. It's got some color banding you wouldn't expect. Yeah, now that looks a lot more like an N64. God, it looks fucking terrible. Yeah, it looks N64 hideous when you turn on all the N64 stuff. Man, the N64 sure is the softest console that's ever shipped. Right? There really is an argument for it. If you're not turning this shit off at an EverDrive level or a GameShark level on your N64, just get S-Video. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Okay, I guess, I guess that's enough. Yeah, this is good. 98, it worked. It worked somewhat. Somewhat, yeah. Select. Well, really, there you could have hit, just hit the ACK button. I could have hit the ACK button. You're right. Ooh, War Gods. Everyone wants to know about the War Gods. You know, Wave Race right here. That's being insane not to. Mm -hmm. Wave Race looks really weird when you turn off all the N64 oh, features. It just, it's bizarre. Boys, 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 yeah, when it comes to N64 for me, top games are Wave Race, Mario 64, Blast Core, Pilot Wing 64, Star Fox 64, Bomberman 64, and obviously Ocarina of Time, but that's like less personal for me. I'm trying to think if there are any others that are like. If I have an N64 on hand, those are the ones. Oh yeah, Mr. Thinker. Oh yeah, we haven't even booted up the Zelda yet. Welcome to Sunny Beach. Sunny Beach. Do 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 do. Get ready for the first race. Three, you may two, want to pause. One. You're right. Um, we'll boot Tetrisphere here as well. Um. It booted. It played. I remember it being weird. Kind of like seeing Wave Race with all those features turned off. Like, the there's pixelization and banding in the water that just absolutely ruins the look. Yeah, no, this is bizarre. Like, it just looks rough. Wow, yeah, the waves just look bizarre like this and bad. This is possibly the, the number one game for me being like, maybe leave the features on. Some of them, anyway. Like, that, the dithering and the de-dithering. Because, yeah, now it has a nice, smooth, transparent look. Flag ho! Man. Yeah, Wave Race sure looks cool. It's a great fucking video game. Always bummed me out that uh, the, the GameCube one isn't quite, you know. Right. Isn't quite as amazing. Probably would have been if they got it running at 60. Because I'm pretty sure that game runs at 30, and that always disappointed me. Like, it's no F-Zero. No. Man. Like, the GameCube is all about games running at 60. Like, just looking at Smash Melee and other things, it's just really incredible how powerful the GameCube is. Yeah, even F-Zero X runs at 60. And it might even run on this Mr. Core, too. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How are you turning that tight? Are you like holding R? I'm just R? using the stick. I'm not oh, even okay. hitting anything. Oh, okay. 
I guess this guy just turned sight? I don't know. Get the fuck out! Then you hear a bullet cut out cock and start shooting you. <laughs> Why is this racing game rated M? Pretty good! We can check one more level, see if it doesn't break, because it might have a visual effect with the sun or something. I can't remember Move when they start pulling that. Fucking two points. Welcome, Welcome to, to Sunset, Sunset Bay. Bay. Sunset Bay. Oh yeah, if they made Wave Race in a pilot wings for the Switch 2, I would never win more. Like, if there's, that's them being like, we need to push the fidelity, and so they lean back on those, I would be... Oh, that'd be pretty crazy. That basically is the best thing they could do outside of what they did with the Switch 1, which was, here's our brand new Mario and brand new Zelda. Right? Stupid orange bacon! What? <laughs> I got it. Don't worry, guys. You finished with a mild concussion. I'm very good at this game. It shows. It shows. Did he just say, what were you thinking? Yeah, but I'm talking about launcher stuff, Lionheart. Like, launching a system it is so important that you have a strong lineup, which the Switch 1 did. Oh, yeah. It had it had ma ma huge sellers like ARMS. <laughs> and also, they shipped that Mario Kart on a platform people wanted to own. Right. And also, Mario Odyssey is one of the best video games ever fucking made. Didn't they even get Splatoon 2 out in that first year? Yes. Yeah, they knocked it out of the park for year one on the Switch in a way that it's like, oh man, that's a hard act to follow, right? Yeah, this is Hydro Thunder. You got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if they went back to this, I wonder if they would... Uh, if they'd meow. like... Oh yeah, make it Mario themed or something, or... Ugh. Play it just... Ugh. Be like, realistic. Like, I'm, I'm okay with them changing the theme or taking it in a direction. I just don't want... Another Mario. Another Mario racing game. Yeah, that, that's true. Because that limits what they can do in certain ways. Mm -hmm. Something We need a racing game in the Splatoon universe, obviously. That'd be fine by me. <laughs> it, it would also work, too, because if the Splatoon characters fall in the water, they fucking die. They do, which makes it very strange. Welcome to Papa, Great can you Oh, man, look at the ducks. I was looking at the cool fog, but... The ducks are cool too, yeah. That's true. <laughs> Watch the signal. But yeah, these all these are, these levels are working. Yeah, I'm surprised the fog's working correctly. That's really hard to nail. Yeah. Mediocre. Also, the song's good. Yeah, that's that's how Bob really races on a sea dew as well. If anyone's curious, <laughs> it's very safe. She's dead. <laughs> Competition removed. <laughs> Why is Sean Shovel voicing the narrator now? <laughs> I need to know what the fog looks like if we turn the effects off. Oh yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Sorry, looking bad. Yeah, it sure yeah. is how it would look on the fucking PS1. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it was good that they didn't look like the PS1. You know, it's important to not look identical to your competition. That's true. A thing Xbox really wishes they could do right now. What are you talking about? They don't look nothing alike. They after all have the most consistently powerful console, so of course it looks very different. And everyone likes that and can notice that, and it's real and everything. <laughs> oh. Beep, beep, beep. Oh. 
is okay. It just sounds every time like, all right, you think that's a good idea? You say so. Good luck with that plan. They're failing because they can't ship games, but they have been leaning into the PC angle. We have immersive sims, empathizers, and age of vampires, and flight sims. Yeah, if uh, Microsoft had a strong catalog of games like Sony did, that strat would probably work out. You finished first? That Welcome doesn't to to seem right. <laughs> right after those first two races. Are you ready? What a game. Look at these water physics. Somebody in the Discord linked a... Uh, a video that was like, you don't need to know how to program really well to make a video game Undertale's coded like shit. <laughs> there are individual rooms with hundreds of if statements. My god. And I'm like, yeah, well, it worked, didn't it? You got it done. <laughs> yeah, if your video game is not ambitious, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. But you know, if there's anything we maybe have too much of in the gaming space, it's ambitious video games. Right? All I know about programming is if then statements. Can I get by? Yeah, sure. Maybe. I guess. Probably. <laughs> I don't know. Enjoy making your Sokoban game. Yeah. Those it, are those hope, are blowing up now, so. Hope no one sees your spaghetti code. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. That thing's facing the wrong direction. Yeah, it is. That thing being your jet ski? Uh-huh. <laughs> Nailed it. Nice. Nailed you it. didn't even fall off this time. Nailed it. You all saw it. Master fucking wave racing. It's so funny. I, I didn't even know about the Game Boy game when I first checked this out. Did you know? No. Yeah. That, that, I, I heard about it, the GameCube game. It's pretty late. Game Game Boy. Oh, Game Boy game. Game Boy, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's 2D I had no and idea. stuff, and it's fucking... Wait, weird. is that before this? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, I, I had no idea. No one had ever owned that. No one. No. No one on planet Earth It was like owns. Steel Diver. <laughs> it only shipped straight to the you know used what? section yes. of GameStop. Yes, it is. It is like Steel Diver. <laughs> shipped directly to the used game section of GameStop to pretend. <laughs> Your friends owned this, we swear. <laughs> Someone owned this at some point in time, we promise. Welcome to Port Blue. I think this is remade in the GameCube one. I need to play the GameCube one again. I got that GameCube right there with the SD card thing. Because my disc doesn't work. Owning physical copies of games is a little glorified. Yeah. Which is why it's kind of funny, because it's like, it's kind of glorified, so hopefully you get the box with it, which means you're spending more. Because <laughs> at least then you have something you can look at, and it'll never not be visible. You're right. Okay. 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 <laughs> you sound like Sorrow on the stream last night. That's so hard. Um, hour 74, yeah. Oh my god. Give it yeah. up. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Everyone's like, we're not coming out to watch Plan 54. What do you think? No, actually, we're doing fine. Okay. Uh, part of me, when I stepped away for a second, I'm like, wait, is this stream doing better than fucking Galaxy? Woof. <laughs> or Mario Galaxy 2. Um, uh oh. People need to know if the future is here with this N64 core. It's true. Which, so far, not really, but it's hopeful. I, dude, I have no doubts that this will just get completely solid at some point. Oh, yeah. It's shocking it that feels it's like, this But far. we're not there yet, but it feels like it's very much on the way. I don't know. I can play Mario's yeah. before we're good. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. We can't play Castlevania 64. It's not ready. Oh, okay. That's true. It's not ready for showtime. We can't play Castlevania 64 on it. Which is also true of the PlayStation 5. So chop, chop, Sony. Right? Man. Make the deals. 
This really makes me want to try that Saturn core. <laughs> what would you want to play on the Saturn? Because for me, the list is Mega Man 8, Panzer Dragoon, uh, Daytona, uh, uh, Cotton, Cynthia Knight. I always have, like, just... I know that there are other things I want to play it on there, like Great Silver Gun, but that's getting a, that's at least on PC now. Yeah, the Grandia port, but if anyone's translated it, I think you mean the Grandia original. Yes, because it's clearly designed for that system. You finished second and got four points. Move on to the next. Meow. I forgot Welcome there was yet another race. I thought that was it. <laughs> This is the last one, though, so it'd be absurd to jump out now. They <laughs> want to see the victory animation. Puyo Puyun. Okay, yeah, people are saying that it does have an English patch using the PS1 script. Cool. Mm -hmm. Just gonna... And then... Those are the bad options. Those are the ones I never want on. <laughs> I think this N64 console... I think the N64 is the greatest console ever made. Okay! <laughs> oh, so you're totally right. This guy's turning is too strong. Yeah, though, no, it's kind of absurd. I, I like using default man, making sure all these things are neutral, because I think this is higher. Maybe I'm just wrong and other elements of it are off, or I'm not used to this controller, but I feel like this absolutely just has over-tightened turning, which luckily you can actually customize that if you care to. Ah! 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 <laughs> Frankenstein co-host! <laughs> yeah, you want to talk about... Ah! <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I assume someone's on the translation of the Soccer Wars games on the Saturn. At least if one. If only of them. someone in chat knew the state of Soccer War games! <laughs> Alas, no one in our fandom likes Sin and Punishment or Soccer Wars. So you guys need to test the more, most important this is for game, Yoshi's Story. Jesus. <laughs> wow. You know, honestly, wow. that might break wow. it. I might break the core. It's a lot of 2D stuff. It is a ton of 2D stuff. <laughs> That'll be elsewhere sneezing. What the fuck? You finished first and got seven points. Great race. Great race. You lose though. Wait, that's weird. Why is he standing there? I didn't choose the fat guy. <laughs> oh, right. We didn't win. <laughs> As they say, number two is not a winner. And three, no one <laughs> remembers. What? Something weird? No, it's fine. Just looking like my thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow, Yuzu 4K. Big Yuzu enthusiast. They should make uh, an emulator for the Switch 2 and call it Tuzu. <laughs> but, uh, da, da, da. Oh man, look at that. New high score. So fast. Why are their cheeks so detailed? It's a wetsuit! What do you expect? <laughs> next time, take it off. Did you tell me to take it off next time? Yeah. Oh, you, need to, you, you can talk to someone about that in HR. Okay, great. Clearly harassment. Man, look at these really good water effects. Time to go to a different game that has really good water effects. I'm going to go ahead and turn these back on just to get the fully authentic experience. Let's go. <laughs> oh. You know, I played Wetrix last night. I feel like Bob's due to play some Wetrix. Sure. It's not Tetris for you, so I'm excited. God damn it. <laughs> Warning. You're playing Wetrix. Wetris. You should uh you should totally turn off those features at some point to see how absolutely broken this menu looks. Yeah. Because they really did design it around this. 
Like, so the ring already looks fucking terrible. And when he drops the, look oh at that. Oh my god, yeah. That's... Look at how fucking wrong that looks. It's so bad looking. Okay, back on for now. Yeah, that sure looks a lot better now, huh? Mm-hmm. Game on. I was smoother than I thought. Ah, threw an arrow, but... Oh, it did. Oh, no. This is moving way faster than I thought it would. Can I not turn these? Okay, I got it. Oof. That's the B button. Yeah. He's doing it. Blood. Blood like? <laughs> yes. Like, what, you, what did you expect for a game called Wet Tricks? This is Tetris with water, right? Let me uh, turn those features off. I need to see what this looks like. What's up? So this guy immediately got fucked up yeah, by you turning did. off texture filter. It really did. Let's just. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's not. It's oh, because not... this guy's actually two different layers running over each other, right. so both of them are getting the texture filter turned off, and it looks fucking terrible. Yeah, nuke it. Oh, oh wait. Like the That's... water goes down the hole. <laughs> this is like, wait, that, this is bad, actually. <laughs> Why did I do this? This is the, another game I read about an EGM and tried once. I read about this in Expert Gamer or whatever, and I was like, oh, another puzzle game. Delightful. We should get it. Hey, you should put that on the hole. Oh. <laughs> no, you should. It's helping your speed run. Do it. Sure. <laughs> Game over. Wow. Wow, why did that kill him? Yeah, that's what happened, Chad. It killed him. Rating beginner. All right. Classic. Oh, it's just the two options. What mode you playing now? This is still classic. Oh, okay. Because it's only that in challenge, and I clearly am not ready for challenge. How could you say that? Oh my god, I already messed this up. I, oh, I can use the D-pad. That might be better. Maybe. See, this game was when I figured out my uh, setup was slightly wrong because I tried to use the D-pad and it didn't, it didn't work right now. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, oh, I never saw this game before. It's definitely peculiar. What? It's just normal puzzle game design. And Bob's playing it optimally. Obviously. <laughs> this is a big we're a fucking scene group energy. Whatever gave you that idea. The background is just an Amiga tech demo. How about no legs? I don't know, it sounds to me like three legs. This is by the same dudes as Plock, amusingly. I'm not surprised. So Bob, Chris asks, are you making the biggest lake possible? Um, Which either could be a question aimed at you or the question of what the goal of the game is. Yeah, I think the goal of the game is to make sure that you have the fewest leaks and it doesn't matter how many lakes you have. Maybe having more lakes is better. I don't know. It I, helps with the scoring mechanic.
So where are you putting that bomb? Yeah. Oh god, there's already a hole there. <laughs> I didn't even have time to land. <laughs> yeah, let me... yeah, at least uh, unlike unlike Tetris here, I actually got somewhat decent at this as a kid. Now I can't, just can't remember because you know it's it's complicated. It's a little complex. Five legs, yeah. Get to it next time. Now, just to be clear, I also used to be much better at this as a kid. <laughs> but oh, look, I got the rubber ducky. That's the fucking right? important thing. It go quack, quack good. If if rubber ducky isn't on screen, people wonder where what rubber ducky is. It's true. I do that all the time. I go, where the fuck's the rubber ducky? Does this have any connection to Phil Harrison? It feels like it should, right? It really does, but it doesn't. Four lights. Did Dylan Cuspert have anything to do with with the duckies being involved? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he made the original Rubber Ducky demo. Okay. I was like, I was like, not sure if he made the original or made like the the sequel to the, the the demo. I think someone else made the sequel. Okay. He made the original and it was made using NURBS for the PS2. Oh, look at this high score. So good. For people who don't know, NURBS stands for Non-Uniform Rap... Rap... Bleh. Rational Beast Blinds. Beast they, Blinds? Yeah, they thought it might have been the future of 3D technology. Ah, and yeah. They, you know, Dylan was like, I can make a whole PS2 thing doing that, and he did. Um, and then it wasn't. <laughs> Story time over. Foiled again. <laughs> Once again. Yet again, they tr they tried again on the fucking PSP. Yeah. God bless them. Uh, the PSP can use beat uh, nerves. Uh, who, who fucking knows if any game ever shipped like that? But yeah, we're gonna seal that back up. Things are pretty bad out here. Okay. So, how do I how do I explain this game? So you you build structures to build really tall and big lakes, so that way you have much water. But the more water that leaks out of the side, the more that thing on the right fills. <laughs> and also, bombs are a problem. Oh, nice. Ten commandment. Yeah, let's go back to Yeah, now we got a lake going. Now we that's a real ass lake. Look at that manly lake with that rainbow. No shooting, not Sam Lake. Totally different. <laughs> yeah! Evaporate all that water. Man, two weeks in a row? That's that's like a good score right there. Right? Repair bonus. Master Chief, you mind telling me what you're doing? Sir, repair bonus. <laughs> A couple plays. Oh, no. It's fine. I keep rebuilding that corner and making it full of rocks and bullshit. Right. We got the rainbow again. There we go. We got rainbow for 10. So score times 10 times ducky. Good lord. Ducky power. Oh, man. We're, we're doing it. It's happening. Listen to that sound. That's how you know it's happening. And by it's happening, I mean we almost made it to level two. Oh my god. There we go, level two. Uh, if you build shit too high, that earthquake thing will explode. 
You oh, will no. get an earthquake and everything will blow up. Oh, and that is bad. That does sound bad. You, you don't want that. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, don't don't try to get clever and throw a bomb down a hole it already blew open. Uh, if you do that, they'll kill you. Yeah, I was like, that'll probably end the game. Ice Cube? I don't remember those. Wesley wants to know if you like this or Tetrisphere more. Tetrisphere. Come on now, look at this. Wow. I like this a lot more because I think it's a really cool, like, water physics tech demo. I mean, it is that. That much is certain. Yeah. I, uh, aesthetically, I don't know. Because Tetrisphere has the amazing music. <laughs> like, this music's good, but that music's fucking unbelievable. There, after Banger. This game yeah. feels fake. This I made is how the things heist. were back in the day. Yeah, the N64, you really could just make an unbelievably fake-ass video game, right? The British were very happy. <laughs> Elated. High on power, almost. <laughs> by their ability to just ship anything and call it a video game. <laughs> I mean, we did just come from Space Station Silicon Valley, so... Yeah. Ice cube warning. It's gonna fall on nothing. And then that gets you a bonus. Nice. Dry ice bonus. There we go. Because you can't freeze shit. This is actually probably the best run of this game I've had in a very long time. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. We gotta, we gotta bring these down, though. Yeah, you don't want Earthquake. Yeah, it's it's getting real pissed. It is. We're still on, on level two. Yeah, this game's hard. Yeah, I know. I know. Calm, calm your tits. <laughs> I know. Calm down. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna explode any second. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's shaking everywhere. Oh, look at that. How are we still on fucking level two? I don't know. We were two plus for a while, but now back to just regular two. Angry God appeased. Yeah, it does. It really doesn't like you building things up, right? Oh, we're level three finally. All right, earthquake is even more imminent now. It's okay. I blew up the giant spire. God will no longer be angry about us learning each other's languages. I'm, I'm surprised like this is working well because like we we're saying this is a tech demo. Oh yeah, yeah. This is some absolute demo scene, scene bullshit. You expect some part of it would just not work. Right. But no, apparently it's not as demo scene as Mario's fucking face in Mario 64. <laughs> Which, you know, kind of makes sense. Oh yeah, if you try to throw um, the bomb on the ice, once again, if you try to get clever, uh -huh. it'll fucking kill you. Because <laughs> uh, the, the bomb will just sit there and go, oh wait. What? That's messed up, man. Just like I messed up that fucking duck's life. I'm so sorry, ducky. Ducky betrayed. Another duck rejected. Yes. Just got here. What is this game? This is Wet Tricks. This is Wet Tricks. You love it. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I didn't know Wet Tricks was such an unknown game. Oh, yeah. No, this is just some bullshit I own, Bob. <laughs> I mean, no I ran, one played this. I rented this frequently, too. Like, it was sitting there at the Blockbuster. Until one time it disappeared, and I'm like, yeah, I have no idea where that ended up. <laughs> quack, quack. Yeah, no one no one knows about Wetrix. Very few people have ever spoken about Wetrix, even. It's crazy, because it's... Look at this tech demo. Yeah, it's cool as shit. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need that to get sealed. That was that was a lot. That was a lot. Let's get that duck back. Uh oh, uh oh. That was close. The sequel is more unknown. Yeah, I don't know about the sequel at all. Yeah, I played that way later. It's on the uh, PS2, uh, I believe, on the PS2 in America. At least it's called Aqua Aqua. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, um, it's come up before, but I don't think I've ever played it. There is a Dreamcast version of this. I can't remember why it just... I don't dig it as much as this version, but I don't think it as much as this version. Repair Fungus? Yeah. I, guys, when I set out to take a turn on this, the intention wasn't to do this well. Uh -huh. I expected to be dead long before now. This is the best, once again, this is the best one run of wet tricks I've had in forever. But what if there were two ducks? Huh? Eh? And then I named the ducks Sam. Oh, God help me. How are we doing? We're gonna we get a little bit of that. Oh, shit. I can't remember what that purple thing means. <laughs> oh, it's... No, it's still there. It's this is the opposite around. of the streamer curse? Yeah, it really. It really is. I don't know why, either. <laughs> no. Kind of still a curse, though, because it was intended to move on. That's fine. This problem will solve itself in like 10 seconds. Here. Yeah, the Earthquake is going to kill you. There it goes. Yeah. Yeah, that's a... Outside of like somebody who professionally plays this to speedrunner or whatever, that might be the best run of wave of uh, wet tricks you can find online. <laughs> right? It's good. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. game. Yeah. It was just good. See, Dan, people like obscure jank games when they're not Tetrisphere. Have you even fucking played Tetrisphere? I think you just watched Bob and Eric go, what the fuck is this shit? We, we need to go, we need to take a car across America and see how much people love Tetrisphere. <laughs> we finally didn't know what. <laughs> <laughs> U.S. cities have been building barriers to keep us out. <laughs> The apocalypse happens. That's not important, though. What's really important is they didn't like Tetris here. They're like, dude, it's a pandemic. What the fuck are you doing? I'm like, but do you like Tetris? <laughs> win back. <laughs> you don't need to do more win back. <laughs> oh my god. It's happening. It's happening. Maybe it's happening. <laughs> It's trying to happen. This is a big ass game. Yeah, it is. Yes. <laughs> well, we got we got the Nintendo logo at least. Achi. Yes. Achi. Hurry. Leave us, Achi. Yes. Yes. Are these the rebels? The features already off? Yippee! It looks it. It does. There's no time now. Join the troops intercepting the rebels. Okay. Yeah, that's right. This game is dithering central. Right. I feel my blood <laughs> rushing through my body. Yes. yes. This is it. The feeling. It's coming back to me. The sensation of killing. The doom and darkness. The dark streets. They're calling me. Calling me to the Don't ultimate the ring. Sink. A ruffian storm is approaching your position. I also confirmed the dawn's location. Didn't I tell you? Make me the bait, and Radon will come to feast. Radon is jealous. Yes, one sun punishment. I took you for myself. I have chosen you. Why don't we do that anymore? The crazy glowing eyes, that transparency over a person who's hearing a voice. Like, I feel like we did that back in Columbo days, but <laughs> you know, with the inspired directors would do that. Mm -hmm. but, but we don't do that anymore. It does feel pretty rare. Group. They've all been killed. Achi? Did you see them? Cold-blooded killers. Even if we steal the damn transport, it won't mean anything if there's no one to ride in it. In that 
back, Siren. The weak Saki. They've put their faith in us. We must try to help the others. That's only if the soldiers hit the ruffians like we expected. I remember people being like, they should add Sid and Punishment characters to Smash. And I'm like, you make all the Geno fans seem pragmatic. <laughs> Look, they showed up as an assist trophy, so of course people want them as a real character. Move. 3D stick. Move. This is a 3D stick. Anyone's I, I think Nintendo called it that. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like think something officially. It's called the 3D stick. Oh, I bet that sky looks way different with the features. Oh on. yeah, it is unbelievably different normally. All you have to do is turn on the yeah. Yeah. Wow. Talk. Talk. Man, wouldn't it be cool if they made a second one of these ever? That'd be neat. <laughs> Too bad they never did that. Yeah, it feels like a, something that's like as strong as the GameCube or a little bit stronger. You could you could do some really cool things. Like you can tell how it's being held back by the N64 hardware. Yeah, maybe something with a, some sort of easily aimable reticle, like a VR game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you need um, Point. the gem for point. Maybe if it ran at 60. I feel like that's possible, but it would be really hard. Like, that seems so unlikely, though. Sit and punishment for Switch 2 would go hard. It really would. That would be hilarious. Treasure came back from the grave for this. <laughs> fucking fist up through the grass. <laughs> right? Promise? Yes, that's promise, of course. Everyone's favorite. You promise, I get promise. Oh, thought I was far enough away from that tree to not run into it, but I was wrong. So that, yeah, okay, that one just stays locked on. I can um, and do my own thing. But it does less damage. You know, we got indie games making um, space hairier now, and we're getting the indie game that's just like, I'm, I'm Sin Punishment. <laughs> it seems like such an obvious thing of just, yeah, you just have a cursor and run along the ground. Very cool. Oh, wow. We're soft. There is some way to swing my sword. I just cannot remember what it is. I think it's when enemies are near me, I mash the button. Like double click it or something. But I cannot remember. Get bonus. Treasure claims to still be alive. They claim they were making a new game last year. I don't trust zombies. Yeah, not until they release something. But at least they are, like, licensing ports and stuff and getting that done. Like, apparently, uh, Radiant Saki. Silver Gun just hit oh, Steam. Saki. Oh, cool. Good morning, Saki. Bad. Good morning, Iron. Good morning, Iron. Uh, <laughs> stabs him in the chest. <laughs> Come on, we've got work to do. Something about the voice ads here makes me think Kingdom Hearts 1. Fair. Like how that opening level was just a dream, right? Now we kill people. Mm hmm.
But it seems to work. Yeah, weirdly well. Yeah. That, works. that fucking sound. Quack, 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 quack. Is this 2-1 Evil Lucario? What level is this? Evil Lucario say there's a graphical glitch in 2-1, but they don't know whether or not they patched it. This, this is 1-1, one, one. then what the fuck was that last thing? People are saying zero zero. Ruffians here already. This game's pretty cool. Yeah. They're like, hey guys, if we walk right in front of him, he won't shoot us. Turns out he's too interested in the dudes in the sky. <laughs> oh god, the dudes in the sky left. <laughs> no! We didn't account for this. Oh, yes. Okay, if my sword gets reflected. Okay. I appreciate an arcade-style arcade game that throws out hundreds of enemies because you're supposed to kill them to keep getting credits every 100. <laughs> Get bonus. Death promise. They <laughs> I don't know what else it could be. What a mystery. No, I'm being legit right now. What the fuck is she saying? Get bonus. Get bonus? Yeah. Well, is this, was this his plan? <laughs> it was you're hitting around out of control like that is bad. Yeah. Wait, it says death promise. Just like Mario and Mario 64 says, let's pickle. Ugh. The NSO version is actually very good, so it tricked me into getting NSO. Hmm. I guess that was a pretty good plan on their part. Right. He says nut nickel. Nut nickel. Come on, quick. Into Shinjuku. <laughs> says Les Pickle. Right, it's French. <laughs> there, Something tells me that ground's not supposed to look anything like that. Maybe. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll check it out. Just keep going. Ow. <clears throat> cool. Yeah, very cool. I like it when I choose something in the environment and it affects stuff. Let me tell you about the game Killzone. <laughs> Two. Specific. Okay, I was like, I think kills on one did happen, maybe. Maybe, who knows? I feel like I just took off my glasses. The game is too drunk. <laughs> yeah, though, going to full N64 mode is a lot. I wonder if Sin and Punishment 2 is one of those games you could disable the shitty blurring that the uh, Wii does. Maybe. You know, if they made one of the Wii, if that was real. <laughs> it's 
there also a widescreen hack for this core? Uh, no. So PS1 core heads keep winning. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy also made the PS1 core. So, you know, clearly the most important core developer on the Mr. Front. So. Yeah, clearly. Good lord. Oh, those turn into missiles if I hit, hit them with the sword. Okay. As much of okay i thought you were quitting the game and i was like what's what <laughs> yeah this is a game where we will have we'll just stop eventually because is because of that yeah because <laughs> the liger jumps on your ass <laughs> how to tell if japan made a game ligers <laughs> uh, i was gonna say those things okay terror bites Terabyte slash like weird horseshoe crab eels. <laughs> hard to hard to say exactly. <laughs> it just reminds me of the Zelda enemy. Mm. You can tell the fucking uh, Europeans made a game when water dropping from a ceiling hurts you. Right. Ah! Yeah, they look like five shoes as well. Take the control. <laughs> oh, Jesus, it's... This is a weird plane. Yeah, I feel like there would be a distinct advantage to your character not standing right in front directly on the same plane as the mouth of the Liger, but right. they disagree. I assume I can knock his glass back when he shoots it. God. Oh, no. I can walk off the ledge. I didn't think that'd be possible. Well, this is a Smash Bros. like now. Hit him with the sword while he's got the. Okay. I can't hit those back with the sword. They're just not typing right. I'm trying to think of what games we do after this. We haven't booted Tetrisphere. We should boot that because <laughs> I remember it just being like it runs fine. I think it threw an, an error code. Turning the N64 features off really made it look fucked up. Just <laughs> really banged up like Wave Race. <laughs> and we still need to oh. boot up the uh, um, Zelda games. Hmm. I'm gonna run out of time here. Yeah, I'm, I'm clearly missing something about this boss fight. Oh, yeah. Funny thing is, that's how it went last time, too, but I think you figured it out before you died. Right. Like, barely. Please continue. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too, Spiff, because he does get knocked back. Oh, yeah, that's the, obviously the idea, but the, the how to do it is the question. Um, I'm getting pretty hungry. Are you hungry? I am hungry, yeah. Okay, I gotta hit the sword while he wasn't the sword. While he doesn't have a shield up. I thought the sword would go through the shield. Blues Brothers 64. You know, Bob, you're the one who uh, likes Blues Brothers more than me. Maybe you should play that while I'm getting his Taco Bell. Oh, my God. Yeah, I've never... I've never played the game. My research materials. How could you? So you're the leader of these killers. 
<laughs> what a good read. He's one of the rebels. Let me take him. He's only human. Now's our chance to test the power of the blood you gave me. <laughs> oh my god. It is really impressive they did that on the N64. Yeah, no, this is crazy. Yeah, that, that's the power of men. <laughs> yes, this is man's power. Him. It'd be pretty funny, I guess. I don't know why you do it, though. Oh, my God. Bob, did you try the Chipotle Ranch Grilled Chicken Burrito? Yeah, bonus. I think so. Is it good? Well, if you think so. You that actually, is that in the value menu? Yes. Okay, yeah, I, I had that last time. It was okay. It was surprisingly filling because it's actually this chicken. Um, so, yeah, I think it was all right. Do you think they like Akira? I'm just not sure. Probably not. Okay, yeah, you probably... Okay. Show me what you've got. Chat, you were saying this gets weird. When does that happen? <laughs> yeah, they just might also like Ava. It's unclear. Nah. What a cool game. We should probably stop playing it, though. Because, you know, we have to play the Blues Brothers game. <laughs> yeah, it would really suck if we were playing this instead of the Blues Brothers game. That would be unfortunate. Oh, yeah, and we could do, like, the zero shift dash. That's so good. Oh, God. Oh, God. So I cannot, like, sword hit that. Saki. Saki. Hey, ball. Hey. There you go. All right. Yeah, that's the same thing, Spiff, because, my God, look at it. It's fucking Blues Brothers 64, who in their right fucking mind would be like, oh, yes, finally. Oh, thank God this blockbuster stocked this game. <laughs> you know, I already have to edit this stream probably because of the Star Wars. Uh-huh. <laughs> of course. Ubisoft looking a little desaturated there, which is funny because Argonaut looked fine. The British made this game. No way. I didn't know. Nintendo's really sad that they didn't keep working with Argonaut after Buck Bumble came out. <laughs> they really missed out. Yeah, that's when they realized they fucked up this time. What? Eight frames a second? I can't believe Microsoft stole Buck Bumble from them. <laughs> that happened, right? <laughs> I'm like, where did Argonaut end up? I'm pretty sure they just went out of business. Yeah. 
You get time to take in each frame. Hey, Mo Measy, I'm going to implore you to Google that. This is really what all 3D platformers on the N64 wish they were. Uh huh. We're gonna. <laughs> oh my god, that gamma use is insane. Okay, it seems fine now. Oh my god. Were you guys trying to make Star Fox? Like, you put the 180 maneuver on a face button, I was like. Now, the funny thing is, last time when I was getting food, Eric and Bob had to play Buck Bumble. Right. Which, is, which means I got the ideal Buck Bumble experience, listening to the title screen and listening to the music in the car, but not actually playing it. Mm-hmm. That's when it all starts to fall apart. <laughs> Tell me about it. I'm living it. <laughs> <laughs> Trust your instincts. Oh, it was a teleporter. Of course. Yeah, of course. Does the it. bee have a... Uh, no, it doesn't have a rear wheel drive. It doesn't have a reverse mode. <laughs> okay, Bob. Uh, what I ordered was $3. That's your limit. Oh, okay. I was like, I already put a $2 burrito on there. What? I, I, I think I'm stuck. <laughs> I don't think you can order a one dollar thing. On. I, That's actually what I did order, but I'm not. I'm not going to imply that everyone should get a cheese and rice bur bean burrito. <laughs> Even though I didn't have time to do uh, meal prep for today, or you know whatever, I was like, I'm not going to spend that much today. So all I got on the way over was a couple of bagels. It's <laughs> a lot cheaper than a quinoa bowl. Yeah couple bagels came out to like three dollars <laughs> yeah their bowls are insane they're really good though but yes they're, they're like you get the one with cheese. cheese yeah you get the chicken one and it's 12 fucking dollars but yeah buck bumble shoots lasers what's the problem yeah he's a robot bee is there is there anything weird you are you out accepting of that you know what? I will only spend three dollars. I got the spicy potato soft taco and oh, okay. the beefy mouth burrito. I gotta be real here though. There's something weird about British game development because they constantly are like the number one threat insects. <laughs> like at least here, the conceit is it's the animal kingdom. But I feel like they fucking every game was like e even fucking Shadow of the Beast. I'm pretty sure is like fucking giant bees. <laughs> All right, I got my order ready. I, think, you, I right. think someone was just like, they need they need a reason to... Can you, like, hold an end of it and proffer the other? Thank you. Um, there needs to be a reason for the Americans for these bees to be this big. What if our character was small, possibly also a bee? <laughs> there we go, that's the forward button. No, that's not close enough, Momizi, because the other person who worked on Star Fox originally from Argonaut Software made Steel Diver. They didn't work on Star Fox Caban. That's why I knew you were instantly wrong. I was like, no, Dylan Cuthbert and Q Games made Star Fox Caban. <laughs> Seriously, though, I wonder what exactly happened to Argonaut, because I don't know. They made Croc, they made this, and then question mark. At their point where they're robots, do they need to be small? Hmm. I don't know that the bees are robots. I know that you're a robot. I, they, they are clearly robots. I'm getting near them. Oh, yeah? They're very robotic. It's an N64 game. <laughs> Everything looks robotic. 
Jasper's society is just predisposed to make it games about insects or weird mascot characters. The Amiga is them at a DNA level. <laughs> Jesus. All right, I can go like close cam. I went under in 2004. Ninja Theory and Rocksteady were both founded by former Argonaut devs. Wow. Rocksteady had a pretty good run. Yeah, they did. Unfortunately, they're now basically dead. Thanks, Games as a Service. You could have made a normal fucking video game, but no, no. Yeah, I do wonder if that was like leadership at Rocksteady that wanted to do that or if it was purely the publisher. Like, I'm, I want to know whose fault. <laughs> God, this, this guy's huge. Yeah, they just changed it so every time I order something, they're like, are you sure you want to use Apple Play? Yeah. Yes, I'm sure. I feel like I might need a bigger gun for this dude. Was it three canceled games after Arkham Knight? I only knew about the Superman one. Bob, do you know of any others? Yeah, I didn't know of any others. Yeah, obviously the, the co-founders are gone now, but right. they could have just been steering the ship wrong up until, you know. Yeah. But I'm way more willing to blame WB, obviously. Right. You always want to believe no is higher. He, but then, I, then, then their story is like, Bungie upper management seems like they're the ones guiding it towards making all these stupid decisions. <laughs> Two potential Batman games and had planned a they had planned and also a different Suicide Squad game. Yeah. Um maybe I'm a loon. Chat, feel free to let me know. Maybe I'm totally off mark here. died. <laughs> Is it not fucking crazy to build your 3D platformer in a way where it's like, oh, there's a timer going down and you won't get the bonus if you don't move through the level quickly. And it controls like this? Yeah. Man, he sure exploded into piss. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure if you turn on the... Uh the the dithering and the texture filter it doesn't look like pit yeah let's just see and that came out yet again no it still looks like this <laughs> oh crazy fuck bumble unfortunately worked worked surprisingly great mm. it worked like buck bumble so i don't know if i'm willing to sign up for surprisingly great <laughs> I keep forgetting if Bust Move 99 was on here. I mm -hmm. thought it was only on PlayStation. Uh, chat was saying they want to see things like Quest 64. What's Bob, what's wrong? Of course you want to see Quest 64, chat. Bob, what's wrong? You, you're crying. <laughs> chat, why do you make Bob cry like that? Maybe you could distract them with Perfect Dark. It's the high performance one if you are gonna do sure. it. Sure. Yeah. Oof. Good. That was Distract close. We them. almost played perf we almost played Quest 64. I will beat Quest 64 when it works well on this course, says Chris. <laughs> I guess we need to see how well it works then. Why are those so uneven? I don't know. Huh. Some of the data was bigger than others the data. <laughs> By one notch, yes. Oh, paper boy's right there too. You can do that. And I will be leaving. <laughs> Joy of joys. That's weird. Okay. All right, there it is. I was like, did it crash immediately? Yeah. Are 
are you looking for? Um, I kind of want to do the combat simulator, but choose your reality. Here we go. Oops. You you unfortunately tried to belect it. I did try oh, to belect it. All right, how's this? Oh, we got an air code. Try a stress test. Go into multiplayer and hit each other with Trank Dogs. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> oh, this music is terrible for a multiplayer match. You uh, you set up bots, right? Okay. Yeah, this is just a challenge, so it has stuff automatically. Oh, it's a challenge. Okay. I don't Man, think it's. Look at that frame rate. Yeah, no, this is so running smooth. really well in a way that's like this is wrong. Yeah, this is absolutely wrong. I picked up some ammo for the gun I have. No. But what if you disarm him? I don't remember how to switch to that. Uh, you hold B once you're on the fist. There we go. There we go. Now I have the dragon. Man, he, he seems a little confused. Are we sure we should be killing this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Man, this is so weird to see. Yeah, it's wrong. Yeah, when you booted up and played the campaign, did you hit an air code immediately? I think so, okay. but I'm not positive. Is this the PC version? No. I mean, to be fair, it is also running at 60, so. Did you uh, turn off the N64? No, I think all that stuff is still on. Yeah, I was gonna say, these, these look rather smooth, these filtered textures. Ooh, there we go, make them crunchy. Now we're looking like Quake on PS1. Yeah. Look at this Quake 2 ass looking video game. Man, this is weird. Yeah, it's even weirder seeing it run smooth and look like this. Uh huh. This is a game where if you showed me a picture for this, I wouldn't recognize it as perfect dark anymore. Be like, yeah, but that doesn't look right at all. Like the meters on the right look right, and the zoom at the bottom looks right, but. But that's not how the game looked, <laughs> right? This is wrong. What are you doing? Stop lying to me, damn it. Uh, what's your alt fire on the dragon? Is it throwing down the gun and it explodes when people get near it or what? I think that's right. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, that's what's up. Okay. <laughs> he stood a chance, totally. Yeah, totally. See, here's the thing. We can't really, uh, we can't do multiplayer because I didn't set up any other controller to work with. Uh... Right, but I can't at least. Oh my god, that looks terrible yeah, without it the does. filtering. This image has been saved in 32p. I can tell. Well, <laughs> that's what YouTube does when, you know, the video is still processing. Yeah. Uh, that looks terrible too. <laughs> It sure looks terrible. Yeah, the menus look a lot better with all that stuff. Crazy. All right, guys, we're gonna do a little bit of story mode. I will remember the breathe, but then we'll move on to something else, like maybe Blues Brothers. I know how much you want to see Blues Brothers, a game anyone has played, right? No, seriously, has anyone played Blues Brothers? Why the big hurry? Doctor Carroll is not extracted tonight. Okay, John Swanto played Blues Brothers. Did you like it? I've never, I've never even seen it. Please, it will be good in Blues Brothers, right? Sure. Well, oh my God, any even pausing this just looks hideous. Let me just get that direct comparison here. That's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. This is so strange. Even this gun looks wrong with these filtering options. There we go. Still reload. What the hell? Oh no. I think this was supposed to be a sneaking mission. What have I done? Oh, 
playing Blues Brothers on on 64 is one of my oldest memories. Wow. It, this does feel really fast. It running at like 60 is unnatural. I need an ECM mine to disable that. Okay. Can I hold this to do it? Yeah, you get the weapon real. I certainly do not play enough Perfect Dark to know the controls by heart. Uh, God, I keep hitting B or A button to open doors when it's B button. There we go. Does this have an ultimate fire? Pistol whip. But yeah, this is a, um, like, hack version of the ROM to make it run, run better. So this is not just what the core does to it. Um, but yeah, let's, let's play Blues Brothers on the... And well, you know what? I want to have the original experience when we first booted it up. Ogre battle. I wonder how that if that runs. But yeah, we use like Blues Brothers 2000. The game. The, even the person who did play it in chat says it was really bad. <laughs> and he was out saving. Okay, that's fine. Titus Entertainment. I know them from something. Blues Brothers Dragmart, yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, no, Titus. That's worrying. Superman 64. And then Player One, that's actually the name of a, a dev or a publisher? Oh, it's got the Blues Brothers song, kind of. The licensed music was during the Rhythm game sections. Oh. I'm surprised they have those, that into here. Oh, you need to jump out the world too and go to Chicago? Yeah, will it let me do that? There's no way, right? Okay, no. I have to start level one, but I can look at all the levels that are in the game? That's weird. How's this supposed to get claimed? It sounds horrible. Yeah, no, there's no way this song is claimed. Each level has one member of the Blues Brothers you need to find. Okay. I, is this collect? Maybe, Chris. I don't know what this is. I don't think I actually watched the Blues Brothers film until after, like, the 64. I was basically done with it while like, we were on PS2 or something. So I didn't even know this was existed. The collect song was bad jumping. Oh, great. The battle advances in less than two days. Gotta get out of here. Hey, Elwood, you're supposed to be released today, but the evil warden plans on keeping you here. Not all of us is the warden, though. Good luck. This is also Blues Brothers 2000, the bad sequel. I forgot they did that, but you're totally right. That was after, like, one of the main guys died, right? And they just did a sequel anyway? So, uh, Titus is British, right? Or whoever made this game. Yeah, it has John Goodman in it. I never saw that sequel. Even though I like the original, I never saw it out the, the sequel at all. Here we go. At least make it cleaner. I mean, no error codes, even. I mean, John Goodman's good. He would probably make a good Blues Brother. That It's not... I'm sure that went fine, right? Titus is French, okay. Sorry, spells for flight. Can you collect them to increase your heart meter by one? Okay. Oh my God. Why was he just in the foreground there? 
I've got a a combo. Oh jeez, I'm dead. Oh, I just respawned. He stays where he was. Okay. Player one, the development studio was American. I see. The jump sound effect makes me think it's from a cursed European developer, though. <laughs> but I believe you. But the, the slowed down spring effect, what is the deal? Why is the cop huge? It's kind of a big deal. Maybe the Blues Brothers are just really small. I have a duck button. I can spin the camera. Right now I have twenty dollars. Can get different V modes. Z does a splits thing. Okay. What? Okay, and we got a ground pound. This could control worse. Oh my god, why can't they get back out? I'm going I'm going to go out on a limb and assume the structure of this game is a real problem. Oh man, and maybe there'll be combat demands. I gotta sneak up on Wow. We'll spread a lot with Mario Brothers most video games. Yeah, that's that's right. That's all you need. So, okay, that does hurt, guys, but this... The ground pound does not. And, of course, the punches are so short. Wait, did it knock them down? They aren't just out? Okay. These doors don't seem to open anymore. Clearly, I'm missing something here. But you know what? Blues Brothers 2000 seems to work. Um, I'm gonna boot up anything else. <laughs> oh, right, right. Before that, we need to make sure to turn on all of these features so we get the authentic experience when we see the next game. <laughs> Flabbergast the Nintendo Power Covers game? Yeah, Dan, seriously. The ground pound is to activate buttons and, and they shoot you, to, you up. Oh, oh, good. Great. We already tried Goemon. It didn't work. None of them worked at all. It was sad. Um, got menu. You know, I want to see if Bust Move 99 works. Sonic Con 64? Yeah, we could boot that. Chameleon Twist. Hey, this is a game I only played in the PS1. Let's see how blurry it looks on here. Yeah, this is the same exact game. No air codes yet. Looking good. Yeah, it's fine. You can't save, but I, I'm un I understand. Yeah, why won't Square Enix re-release this game? like the old bubble bobble map Ready, maybe i'm crazy i don't remember the ps1 version having just pictures in the background um yeah maybe i just don't remember right let's see what the, <laughs> full screen whoops Ooh, there we go get those just pixels 
Oh, wow. The stick makes that move really fast. And we only have a level one with the, the aimer on. They're just like, nah, you better learn now. Yeah, it's still my favorite boss in the game. I think just because the characters are cool and have a lot of animation. Like, why make a... No, that's not right. The PC version did? All the versions had those backgrounds? We got... Yeah, these backgrounds are definitely different. Dan, Dan's right. Like, that's not... Look at that. Whoops. This is not going well. Get this time, guys. Oh, wait. I can land this. Oh, no! Okay, we can turn around. There we go. Now she's doomed. Yeah, she's gonna die any second now. There we go. Some backgrounds on this version are unique, but some were also on other versions. Okay. Yeah, look at that. What the heck is going on? Whoa. Ready, go. So I guess she was a stuffed animal. Good to know. And let's just yell vomit. I don't know why she did that. Yeah, I don't know how I missed this. Maybe Blockbuster just didn't have it. Because this is a, we only have the US games on here, so this isn't like a Japan and only game or anything. <laughs> Portrayed trapped in Gachapon, yeah. She'll never recover. And that, that. But yeah, bust move 99 seems to work fine. Um, you know what? I'm feeling like, wait, wait, again, I, I, I keep hitting the select button, the A button, the ACK button, when I shouldn't. I keep forgetting I need to turn all that stuff back on. And now we can go to Ogre Battle 64. What was that Tamagotchi game you guys played last time? That was, uh, I assume we we're talking about Project J, where you raise the girl, the robot girl. Or I could go to Power, or, uh, Powerpuff Girls. Power Rangers? I don't remember Power Rangers having a game on here. Is that another thing where you watch a video? Oh, the Tamagotchi party game that's actually Tamagotchi licensed. I can't remember what that was. Rayman 2, begin the shovel. Jesus. Quest 64, here we come. Unless Dan, maybe Dan feels like he needs to be here for Quest 64. He doesn't want to miss it. My Speed Rescue was on the AVGN video. Oh my God. We already did Pokemon Puzzle League. Sorry, we're not going back. Um, we will find Ogre Battle. I'll find O. There it is. <laughs> did, just boot it up and listen to the overworld. See until he gets back. Mm. 
Oh yeah, F Zero. I should boot that. Play that sixty frame per second racing game on the Nintendo sixty four. Maybe some of the Zelda games. Okay, look, that worked, and that was a ton of two D stuff. Okay. This is interlaced, it looks like. We won't know for sure until we get to the game. Oh, that's cool. We got like their silhouettes in the background. I wonder how that looks without all the 64 stuff. I want to see them clearly. That art is not clear. Okay. <laughs> now I know. Thought Ogre Battle was made by Square and not Atlas. Atlas did the US version. Yeah, because it's. It's weird, yeah. Yeah, what? It's weird, because I do associate Tactics Ogre and stuff with, with Atlas, but I guess that's just because they did the US versions, yeah. I'm gonna have to get used to how Ogre Battle 64 works, because, you know, I have to get ready for that new game from, uh, Vanillaware. Yeah, yeah, we don't have to. Oh, we got an error code already. Skip the cutscene. Get an error code. Nice anchor arms. Yeah, he looks really strange. still working. Oh, I assume there's a background here that they would be in, not just being in, in the dark void. It's crazy how similar the style stayed between all the different games. Like, even to when they made Final Fantasy Tactics, it was still like, yeah, this is, this is how the menus look. Chat, write down the R code. Yes, please, chat. A Magnus. That sounds good. Unicorn Overlord. Yeah, that's the game I couldn't remember the name of. From Vanillaware. <laughs> what does that hold within thy sword? Hatred. <laughs> you know, if someone tells you that, Archbishop, you should probably not give them the sword. <laughs> His name is not important. <laughs> Did you try Rakuga, or Rakuga Kids yet? No, I'm not. Silence. Oh my god. We have a lot of things to set ourselves up with. Embrace. <laughs> Fertility. <laughs> All right. Man, we're still going. Okay. I just wanted to see how broken the game was. I didn't want 50 questions. Yeah, so the lion will be breedable. <laughs> Serene water. Welcome back. I'm still trying to get through the intro of Ogre Battle. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Did you did you say there was an embrace? Pop up or something? What the fuck? Uh, uh, they asked why we should offer the gods, and I could offer embrace. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, hugs? <laughs> yes. I, of course, have no idea w what burrito's what. Right? Because it's just, I assume... It's four fucking burritos. Yeah. Well, one of them should be a, a soft taco. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because there should be this, this the potato soft taco in there. It's only three burritos to sort. Right. Okay, all those cutscenes seem to be working. So, okay, what was your burrito? Uh, the cheesy, beefy melt burrito. Bob? Yeah? Would you believe me if I said I pulled yours first? Yeah, that sounds right. That's it. You see the guys from Ogre Battle in this. I was like, yeah, this is Ogre Battle. <laughs> that, that seems about right. This is that game. So the background's loading in this area. Well, was it not loading in other areas? Yeah, the first background I had was just some objects loaded, but not others. So just dudes standing on blackness. Huh. Which may have been the style of that opening thing, but I kind of doubt it. Right? Especially that person who's like, the character from this game to this game. Mm-hmm. Do they battle Ogre? I don't think so. I don't- I think that that's a lie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there are no Ogres in Ogre Battle. It's Might just- have been Ogres in one Ogre Battle? The battle is just Ogre-like. The sequence in- <laughs> It's so ogre, and we're so back. <laughs> we're so battle. <laughs> you know, Chris and Spiff have just been sitting here in tense anticipation, waiting for the moment they can find out whether or not Quest 64 runs on this. Right, you're, you're totally right. And I should just stop right now and boot up Quest 64. I don't, I don't know, man. I want to eat. Yeah. Oh, my God. The main character's face does not match stylistically anyone else, and it cracks me up so bad. What are you talking about? He looks just like the other guy, but one has gray hair and one has blue. That's it. <laughs> He's younger. That's how it looks when you're younger. Maybe, Anime. Maybe if we blur it, we just, it, you can't tell. You can't even tell. <laughs> Thank you, Dai. If you're wondering if the name was different in Japanese or a translation, it's literally Oga Bataru. Ogre, shorthand for organization, question mark, as he, sir? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe it's that. You know, we don't know. Yeah, turning on all those N64 features make the game look ugly. It sure Sick. looks like an N64 game, though. Right. That's the thing I keep going back to. You turn it back on, it's like, oh, yeah, that looks like an N64 game. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I wonder in in what world it made sense for the N64 to use its weird three-point texture filter. Yeah, I don't know. That still just is so weird and, you know, you see people talking about, like, Doom 64 gets ported to something and they're like, it needs the three-point texture filtering to be authentic. <laughs> Shit like that, because it really does just look different. Right. Weird. Oh, yeah, Doom 64 is something else we should boot up for sure. Oh. Man, when sprites walk across the screen, they they enlarge and shrink in a very bad-looking way. <laughs> Whoa. That's a thing. So I hear Blues Brothers worked? Yeah. In as much as it ever did. Right? It was fine, actually. You say that, but you kind of ran out of that house screaming. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> After I realized I couldn't actually kill enemies and they kept standing back up, I was just like, it's over. <laughs> According to Daihime, both Ogre Battle and March of the Black Queen, the subtitle of the SNES game, are Queen songs. 
Really? Would Japan really do that? That's pretty great. Man of extreme taste. <laughs> Yeah, Ogre Battle is my favorite Queen song, too. <laughs> I'm curious for anyone who who gets into, like, has played all the Ogre Battle series in Final Fantasy Tactics. Is anyone's favorite the, the style? The where it's a weird real time thing? Need to get out to the field. I want to help you load it. <laughs> Bob's really not ready for a unicorn or overlord to come out and just be this intro. He's like, no, it's supposed to be different this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know when they're gonna make Ogre Battle Fat Bottom Girls. <laughs> it's unclear. <laughs> See, that fucks me up, because every time I think about the song Fat Bottom Girls, I think about the part where he says, get on your bikes and ride. And I'm like, but it's not the bicycle song. No, it's two different songs. Fight me. No, I'll pass. I am filled with hatred after all. Of course I'll fight you. God, get a new song. What are you get thinking? The only way we battle each other in this universe is cards. No, what happened? <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Can load up the whole the map out here. Was this mix of 2D and 3D? That water's looking looking mighty unfiltered. It is. Let's let's filter that water real yeah, quick. Yeah, filter that water. We're spoiled. We filter water around these parts. Surprisingly, it's so what? weird. How yeah. did that not affect it? Right? It like affected everything but the water. <laughs> Alright. Now that's what I call N64 games, said the guy playing on a broken TV. <laughs> yeah. How? Oh, it's that character from Pokemon no one likes. Oh. This town's named after him. Oh. Poor guy from Pokemon nobody likes. I don't know, he's not Hob. <laughs> <laughs> Nash? Is Nash a dragon? Does he have an ogre? <laughs> yes, he has one ogre. <laughs> so yeah, you can actually use the D-pad or the, the analog stick in this. Interesting. Wow. Right? But yeah, other than that air code and that weird thing at the beginning where it was talking in our uh, darkness area, it seems to be working. This is Final Fantasy VII's con Port Condor as a game. <laughs> did they stop the timer when you scroll? Yeah, I guess so. Let's see. Yeah, it picked up right where it left off when I stopped so scrolling. So weird. Yeah, that is pretty weird. Mm -hmm. Annette, are you an ogre? <laughs> so can you dispatch yourself? I don't know. Let me see. Oh, I thought you would use the roads. Oh, you are. Okay. Dispatch. No, I'm not on this list. Huh. Weird. Huh. Organized scream. 
Oh, okay. These are all the different troops I have. This is me. I have a little team. I guess that my team just guards the main base. It is dragon. Oh my god. We have dragons but no ogres? Come on. Tom and Evan says, pretty sure this game was made after Matsuno left Quest, but before Square bought them? Huh. I don't even know what end of the gen this came out on. Right? Gruza. How do I? The Pedra of Water. The Pedra of Water. The Hand of Pyro. <laughs> There's another ogre battle on the Neo Geo Pocket Color in 2001. So what am I supposed to do now? That's what Bob's been wondering. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right. Let's see how. I can look at the population. And that is it. Okay. Nash? Um, Nash, ow. Enter Stronghold? There are rebels in the South protesting the aristocracy. Go kill the rioting workers. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> Witch Jen? Oh, she seems to be a friendly wish. We aren't going here to kill her. Oh my god, she is so old. Jesus. Right, where are you? Show years of research. I finally came up with a way to perform miracles without relying on a god, I think. But my experiment is going slow. Due to the lack of willing subjects. Oh, it was our research for a small fee, though. You, gotta, you heard the lady, you gotta move south, or the old man, you gotta move south and kill these protesters. Give me soft fingers! <laughs> oh, that dude is trying to walk through the forest. It's gonna take him forever. But there's a bad guy over there. He's coming. Is there a way to make the game move faster? Oh. Oh, that's how I select. I can't see and select myself here. And I can move myself. I just already dispatched, so I didn't have to. Go to Jad. You're not gonna back up your friend in case he gets his ass whipped? No, anna has got this. Wait, there's something here. Old clothes found. <laughs> Dress like fucking homeless people when they show up to fight this wizard. <laughs> Hey, it's something to look at this. Power fruit. I love power fruit. We're ready to attack. Okay. You just need to know if a battle. Oh, okay. This is the kind of screen that doesn't work, I guess. Interesting. Calm down. It's not that big of a problem. Your plan's already initiated. I like the guy with the screaming profile picture, is the one who's like, calm down. Be reasonable, wizard. <laughs> no, it's nighttime, Bob. Yeah, that's why it's solid black. <laughs> I'm sure this is working as intended. No, it turns out the only thing in the environment, Bob, is that rock. Yeah, just the rock. <clears throat> well, I can delete the question mark from this description where I say possibly missing background. Right. Clearly missing. Ah. Weakest. There we go. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Red Rosana, for the raid. How are you doing? What were you playing tonight? 
We're sitting here checking out the brand new N64 Mr. Core to see what games we're working on. And our current average is a little bit over half. Yeah, I would say it's about 70%. Let's say 70. Let's be optimistic and say 70. A All bit right. of Shovel Knight, a bit of Spider-Man 2. Now that's variety. Oh, hey, Sapphire. Rigor's uh, co-host, howdy, I asked him the radio. Well, that's awfully nice of you. Uh, what Shovel Knight were you doing? Just like the basic campaign or one of the DLCs that I haven't beaten, unfortunately? <laughs> Which I really should have by now. Oh, what are you doing, Bob? I was going to boot up Doom 64 unless, you know. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. I figured you would want to eat your food. That's true. So I can, I can, yeah, you can play you can Quest 64. I'm giving the people what they want. People demand Quest 64. Or Quake 2. <laughs> Same difference, right? Yeah. You haven't played Shovel Knight, Spiff? You should play it. It's really good. Basic? Oh, yeah. Spectre Knight gave me the sh So we put it down and went back to Web Ha <laughs> No controller pack. Okay, well, we're going to set up a controller pack. One moment, chat. N no. No. Turn off the system. <laughs> I wish more N64 games would advise me as such. Put down the game. It's not good. <laughs> it's so quiet. Now there's nothing. What if Quest 64 looked like a PS1 game? Is the question we're about to solve. Yeah, I'm very curious. Will it make the game good? I doubt it. <laughs> Let's see. Bob, you can't make something good that is already good. <laughs> Brian, even though I beg you not to leave, you still say you must go after your father. No matter what wonderful powers of this devil child, your father, Lord, both all. Goodbye. Oh, the door's over here. Right, I knew that. <laughs> yeah, this kid needs to hurry. He has 64 quests to go on. It's a lot of questing he's got to do. It is. Man, it is really cool seeing this game look like this. <laughs> I kind of think it might be an upgrade. Because the pixel art is clearly designed to be sharp. Right? What's up? Mm-hmm. Mm. Hmm. joke, Simon. Almost there. Almost there. Well, actually, isn't there stuff in these rooms? Okay, that doesn't... None of these snap the camera behind me. Regrettable. That sounds like a feature you might want in a 3D game, so of course it's not here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, this is just... Do you know what a Mr. FPGA console is? Because it's just a, a software core running on that. That thing's like, you could compare it to a Raspberry Pi, but it's a much more specific and much fancier thing. More designed towards retro emulation. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, if you look up Mr. FPGA, uh, pictures may come up of the device. It's basically a really good all-rounder device for playing retro consoles. And uh, the latency of the games and a lot of the emulation is more accurate. The N64 is like a really cutting edge, really high-end thing. Because before now, the newest system it could do was PlayStation 1. Um, and the N64 is a much more complicated system than the PS1, so... We were never sure they were going to get it figured out. Yeah, these rooms are all the same room. <laughs> it's deranged. Um, but yeah, so your, your games are a lot more responsive. It's got some cool analog video out, so like if you want to play on a CRT, if you have that situation. Well, that's true, Game Boy Advance, but I was talking about technological you know, ambition of the system, not necessarily release date. Damn, towns in the game are, mo are empty rooms. 
How realistic. <laughs> Just like real life, except for parking lots. Anyways. That's... <laughs> yeah, it's its own standalone thing. It's not something you plug into your PC. No, no, it's it's got an HDMI out on it. We've got a, a little Bluetooth adapter on it so I can use my Nintendo Switch Online N64 controller. It's real fancy and nice, nice solution. In fact, most of our channels run off of that and more modern systems. It's nice, you know, because it can do Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Super Nintendo, NES, Game, uh, is it Game Boy Advance? Okay, uh, PlayStation 1. Genesis Master System. Yeah, if you, if you do retro games, it's it's a good all-rounder. Right. Like it's basically basically the same as uh, an emulator, but it frees up your PC in case your PC's weaker, and has trouble running an emulator and a stream at the same time, and it also has like there are benefits to running it on a separate thing from your PC even beyond that. But yeah, that's how we, we have an HDMI going from it to the capture card and then back out to the TV. It's a really great experience. Ah, uh, yeah, classic Z fighting. Is the window there or is it really a wall? Okay, if this one's empty, I'm going to freaking lose it. It has a sign on the door. Hey, what's up? <laughs> she has no hands. She's a flipper. She's like a giant big whip. I would say yes, but that, yeah, that's really fucked up looking. Um... <clears throat> Is that right? Is she supposed to have weird flippers for hands? <laughs> the hell's going on? Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> you can't have that. You realize we're dangerously close to Vox doing a shilf percent run of this if she finds out the Mr. Core is good enough for Quest 64. Bibbity bobbity boo. You know what? No, we're, we're going back to the PS1 mode. There we go. Yeah. yeah, turn all that off. Look at how crisp it looks now. But no errors even. This is this might be perfectly ready for for, for Vox's shelf percent run. Yeah, exactly. No. Good thing I remember how to play Quest 64 and have not given up three turns to get hit over and over. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh no. <laughs> I missed. It's like Undertale with dodging attacks. That's a very generous description. Uh, well, this, the N64 core is not really up to snuff yet. It's still in beta. It's not publicly released. But yeah, all the other systems just take whatever ROMs you shove in them. Yeah. That's a really nice little thing. And it looks really sharp. It kind of, like, we spent years building up our setup to have all these retro consoles, and they kind of mooted that immediately. Which is nice. Yeah. Because uh, this breaks, I can get a new one. That's not really the case for the uh, PS1. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Eh. Yeah, it's kind of incredible to have, have this little thing that does... Like the PS1 of all sets. Right, yeah. It, doing PS1 and N64 is absolutely nuts. It's way more reliable than various... <laughs> disc replacement solutions we've used for a real PS1. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Well, what do we think? Rock? Double down on rock? <laughs> People like rock. I'm going to go with rock. The video is very outdated, Skyclad. I mean, that video from My Life of Gaming came out three plus years ago or something. Oh, no. Your run is ruined. Good thing it's not a run. <laughs> <laughs> Because even in that, they say something about, yeah, yeah, it's been forever since they made that video. That's the problem. I saw a bunch of people do, like, Mr. Videos really early on and say a bunch of shit that was untrue a month later. Mm-hmm. And, of course, they'll never go back and make a new video or anything. Right, because that wouldn't be profitable, even though it actually would. So I don't know why they don't. 
Yeah, a yearly update video, because so much changes within a year of Proto's Mister. It's insane how many more cores have appeared. Mm -hmm. Like, they see new stuff happen with it all the time. Like, the 64 core isn't even done yet. Right. It's an active development and constantly getting updated. In fact, uh, updates came this most recent time something like six days apart. Right. And he had a list of things it fixed, so... So what's the optimal magic? Is it fire? I feel like it probably is fire. <gasps> Fresh bread obtained. Nice. Well, shit, man. If I go back to town and sleep, that's less, less efficient than me just eating the bread. I should stay out here and keep grinding and eat the bread. Your hair is attacking people. You have like a... a it just makes a pecking sound. Yeah. My ahoke is a bird. <laughs> I was thinking like a scorpion, but a bird is a little bit safer. It's like the minish cap. <laughs> yeah. Um, fire is basically useless this fifth. Okay, so what is it? Water? I love the dance. They That's do. unfortunate, it's Shinji. So funny. You probably shouldn't have a uh, like any urge to play Kid Chameleon. Eh. Much less for two weeks. Eh. Okay. You stuff everything to the water because that's where that's heal is. That's true. And since you recover MP so fast, then it really makes sense. I'm trying to think, Shinji. Bob, what's your uh, harmful ideation game? I would argue yours is Devil May Cry too. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, there's nothing good that comes of me playing that, but it happens. I feel like some people, people who watch the channel should be able to figure out what mine is. <laughs> Here's a little obvious. Yeah. Um, oh, hello. I see. I constantly have an urge to go back and try Samurai 720XX again. Or 2000X. Seven, seven Samurai? Seven Samurai. God, it's, the title is so screwed up. Because it might be Samurai 7. And it might be Seven Samurai. I'm not sure what order they did. Because, like, there's no way it was that bad, right? Right? <laughs> That just doesn't even make sense. Hey, you're not gonna melee me for a bunch of damage, are you? You wouldn't do that to a little guy like me, man. I like the the randomizer box plays. It randomizes the vowels in the enemy names. Jesus. The vowels? That's pretty funny. Okay. Oh man, look at this smooth menu. I think that thing in the background with the black pixels prob probably glitch. That's probably, probably glitch, yeah. That's supposed to look. Where the fuck's my fresh bread? Yeah, I know that Seven Samurai is the movie and that Samurai 7 is the anime, but I don't know what, what the, the game is. Because the game came out near the anime, but was not related directly to the anime, but they were both licensing the original property of the film. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, hel hello. Are you two Pokemon? I believe they have their Kira Kurosawa's son sign off on it or something to make it official. Bumber shoot! <laughs> Bug moose. Seven Samurai 20XX, that might be right. It's probably right. Man, what a, what an incredible game. No. False. <laughs> oh no, dogs! Or dog. Yeah, singular. we're just dog. I remember the dog being really powerful. I might be totally wrong. It's remember last well, time I already playing. killed one, and you know I'm fine. Okay. I wonder if I stood on the other side of this tree. <clears throat> the tree wasn't real. I wonder if it would have blocked his shot. We'll never know. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna land a hit on him from this distance. Hey. <laughs> I wonder at what point water is strong enough to learn the uh, healing spell. I'm surprised this has no issues. Right? You would think. You would think Quest 64 would be one of the most neglected games when it came to testing. <laughs> and perhaps it even is, but regardless, it It was it just so simple that it couldn't- nothing could go wrong. It's dynamic, thank you. <laughs> it's- it's aerodynamic. <laughs> okay. What an animation. Yeah. What a what a video game. Yeah, unfortunately Castlevania 64 did not work at all. Didn't even move. The speedrun strat is to find a spirit point, then warp, use a warp item on top of it while mashing the search button so you get three or four at a time. That's great. Why wouldn't I want to play this game like that, frankly? Huh. Thank you, Regro, for the uh uh huh. That's cool. Can I sleep here? No. Please? Can I have anything? Sir? I've seen Vox beat this so much, which says something. Uh hmm. Maybe something that's a similar issue to Mega Man X6. Maybe it affected her in some negative way. Who knows, though? It's impossible to tell. <laughs> Still hate that divot feature. I don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> that just, just, just... I think I'm still heading the correct direction. I'm gonna get my ass whipped in a second here. Yeah. But it's okay, you got bread. Hippo. Unless you already ate the bread. I don't know. I already ate the bread. Oh, no. Quest 64 is the kind of game that people take inspiration from is for aesthetically for creepypastas and fake games. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Got the battle so jarring. It, it's pretty weird. You can set the spells on C buttons, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm pretty okay. sure you're right. And it even said something about that in that first castle. I'm pretty sure. Fresh bread. There we go. Da 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 da. Bibbidi boppity boo. Uh, so okay. is this is the this arm. overworld theme is the one you wanted to listen to forever, Spiff? Is this it? Is this the immaculate theme? <laughs> yes. God. I don't think it's good. Oh my god. Are you from Conquer? <laughs> no, oh, I'm, I'm. I swear, I'm a pile of mud with bones. Nothing else. Uh huh. See, I have earth magic. It's mud. And I'm called a man-eater. Let me just beat him to death. Apparently hitting him with a stick does eight damage. <laughs> That's a lot better than me using, uh... Why, why is the poo monster resistance to earth magic? I'll never figure it out. <laughs> Mystery. Oh, cool. I kept him already. Listen to those symbols. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is something you want. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I read the sign? <laughs> what, you can't read that? It's pretty legible to me. <laughs> One second. One second. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. That's... Nah. Yeah. There's a tree to the left and a house to the right. Okay. Ugh. Oh, turning off the texture filter, but leaving all the other horrible anti-aliasing on is terrible. <laughs> oh no, two dogs. Three dogs! Three dogs! Uh-oh. It's okay, I've been careful and getting strong. Oh, guys, it's funny that we're crushing the dog's heads and was the rock. They're hellhounds. Yeah, I mean, they're fucking huge, and they're hellhounds. Like, come on. What's next, guys? 
You're gonna cancel me for killing the shit monster that's full of human bones? <laughs> well, Dan, those are human bones. You're desecrating a corpse. <laughs> if you win a battle, it'll point you in the direction you're facing before you enter, but if you run, it won't, and you have to reorientate yourself, which is great when you're in the identical hallway dungeon. That sounds great. That does sound I did great. notice it was doing that with the reorienting. That's a pretty advanced feature. I wouldn't expect that. What an incredible game. <laughs> yeah, you know. Some might say it's an underrated gem. I bet Foxwood. Let me get her on the phone. She'd be like shelves in it, so yes. <laughs> Is this, she was just standing in one room or something. She's like not actually a real character because no, everything she, got cut from the game. She's a very real character, Bob. What are you talking about? That's Chat's mom you're talking about. Just so is is now a Quest 64 oh, Death Street? No. There's a fucking difference there. She beat Unlimited Saga. Yeah, there's clearly something wrong. <laughs> That's a call for help, if nothing else. We're just gonna, we're gonna screen cap this. And then we're gonna turn off that feature. And then we're gonna ask Twitter which one they Oh, Shelf is a boss. Ooh, so there's actually a fight with Sir. Proofs have an insane amount of jiggle. That, that's surprising for Nintendo 64. Yeah, they clearly went out of their way for that. Right? Based on what I've seen, this runs great, so Chris needs to play Quest 64 now. You're right, you big nerd, Sam. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying, too. It almost feels like he promised it, even. <laughs> it feels like that. Very, very much like that. <laughs> Fucking Quest 64 spoiler their cast. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe he'll come to the big thing and be like, oh yeah, this Quest 64 is the greatest game of all time. Hi. Are you Shelf? <laughs> no. Uh-huh. Oh, thank you. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat that. Maybe she'll give me some more. Hooray! Yay! I don't need to stay in an inn. No, you can just get free bread. There's no currency in this game, is there? That's fucking I don't bonkers. Think so. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, there's a map. That's more than I thought we'd get. Yeah, because we came from Metroad? Melroad? <laughs> Melrose play? <laughs> oh, Smith is supposed to the model of Shelf. <laughs> and Shinji is her boy, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I wonder why he would say that. Shelf's just a very normal gal. Quest 64 commercial also includes Shelf making a very sexual ooh sound, so they knew. They knew what they made? Really? Crazy. Crazy. I thought they just designed a woman as they saw it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I assume mud monsters are weak to water. You would think, right? So let's let's see. Yeah, ten damage is pretty good. Yeah, they are. What is? Ten? Ten yeah. damage is yeah. pretty good. Nice try, fucker. Admittedly, that might be because my water level is so much higher than my rock level. Maybe. They're definitely not resistant to rock. No. <laughs> <laughs> or they definitely aren't weak to rock, rather. Um, it, it was only eight that time. So that's just as much as a regular hit. He's got me on the ropes. Yeah. Phew. Crazy. Still no heal. I wonder how long it took them to make this game. <laughs> I just, I just want to know. 
uh, probably about half as long as they wanted to take to make this game. <laughs> Just a guess. By the end of it, yeah, I'm sure they wanted to spend more time making it. At the beginning of this, they're like, yeah, it'll only take this long. Yeah, we can create that out in eight months. What? What is that? Is it going to be fine. an issue? It's just a 3D video game. Oh my god, hour 72! It's happening, guys. My god, it is happening. We're All it took was them. playing N64 games. And Mario Galaxy 2. Can I read this sign? No. Why can I Tree. not? Read? You sent out an illiterate child to save the world? I miss hour 92. <laughs> <laughs> now we made it all the way to the weekends. Oh, it's not. They were still at 70s. It's crazy. Oh my god. A hookah. We got a treasure chest. Okay. There's like a fucking exclamation mark over my head for one. Oh, that, oh that, whoa. What? Is it, uh, is it the uh, bubble? Uh, Did you think I was looking at the bubble from all the... So this would be the thing I teleport away from while grabbing. Oh. Galaxy 2 made it go down 40 minutes. <laughs> Jeez. Mm. Look, it tried its best. What is that time thing you keep going by? What time thing? There's one that has, like, minutes? Okay. Minimum, maximum, okay. I was like, does Bob think, does Bob think this is a clock? <laughs> <laughs> Mike Lynch asked what the verdict is, boys. Um, it's worked about 50% of the time. A little bit more than that, actually, at this point. Okay. It really is like, especially with Quest here. I'll do the numbers in a second, but yeah, Quest is working perfectly. Yeah, Quest is working good. Fucking weird. Yeah. But it doesn't play Castlevania 64. That's that's the current result. <laughs> and no Goemon either. <laughs> We're gonna cause a riot. People like, can't play either. Are you a teleporter? Take giant steps in battle and double your range. Is this a one-time use item to move faster? Good lord. <laughs> they got the board stuff. This seems to be working perfectly. Hi, <laughs> can you... Can you die to... Oh. <laughs> Time is a hidden element for Quest 64. Exactly. <laughs> Which is immersive, because no one owned watches back then. No? No. Wait, you think this kid's gonna own a watch? He does magic. Oh, you... Come on now. You found when the game launched? <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, Chili Cream's going to make Quest 65. I mean, I'm surprised no one's done it yet. I don't think they could actually sue, frankly. Right? How do you sue over the word Quest? <laughs> Number 65. Yeah, I well, don't know. I mean, they don't even have claim to that. They didn't right? release the 65th Quest. <laughs> You went from the Force Quest. Right. You're gonna die. Yeah, of course. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I feel like we made this mistake last time we played it during a stream. Well, the stream's gotta end this Quest 64 part of it at some point. Exactly. That's why I headed into the forest. Uh, uh hello. Uh, Mary and Nasty. Mary Nasty. That's a fucking great name. Anyway, you gotta die. Oh no. It's made of earth. Bob, who's your favorite character in Quest 64? I mean, so far all I know is boy <laughs> and flipper townspeople. Oh god. Oh god. So I would Oh god. I forgot the kobolds looked like that in this game. Yeah, they are pretty intense. Uh -oh. So I have to give it to boy, but I mean maybe maybe Shelf is great. I, I Shelf, Shelf seems alright. She seems nice. <laughs> That's my new cash phrase. Spiff gets to say he seems or he looks cute, and I say he she seems nice. <laughs> she seems nice. Yeah, isn't the uh, Game Boy Color one even called Brian's Quest? 
imagine I could see. Go ahead and do it. No. Okay, now I can. <laughs> Man, I hate how often you miss. I'm sure you love it. Oh, yeah, no, that's, well, it's just like, you know, D&D. &D. Good, the bat's stupid. <laughs> there are no cute boys in Square 64. It's the only sh one shortcoming. <laughs> Singular. Yes, the one. Oh, no, I'm dead. How could this happen, Dan? Boot I don't know. I can't see anything. Doom 64? Oh, I guess, yeah, we got I Wait, mean, we're in the queues. Right. Why not? Why not? Here you go. Sure. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. We got to start off with the uh, the incredible features of the Nintendo 64 on. Yeah, we need the N64 at its full power. You actually didn't turn that last one back on, sir. Whoops. Yeah, what would we do without divot? Sleep at night. Do not use the rumble pack. Building. No, that's a loading screen. I can't believe this game's lying to us already. <laughs> you can jump up here. Oh man, oh, quick yeah. jump sounds real good. Man, you you can fit in this. This feels like it's way smaller than than I than I am. Well, see, here's the thing. You're used to modern games where the the head, the perspective is lower uh -huh. on the character's body. Right. Meanwhile, this is actually head height, so you would be able to just barely fit it there. Hey Bob, can you stare at that wall to your right? You wait, get back up on that like you were a second ago, and then you look to the this. right. Yeah, and then change the features. Because that is that is nasty looking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Look yes. at all this. Oh, it's so good. Yes. This is what video games will look like in the year 2025. <laughs> can Bob make this sick jump? You can jump across. You can jump across. Uh, I, it, oh, God. Oh, no. Why did it open did it? the door and start shooting me? Uh, that'll teach you to open doors with your asshole. <laughs> yeah. Did it say you could jump across to the PC version? I feel like that wasn't there. There's the, I feel like the way. game just let you figure it out. Right. And here it's like, we know that this is not normal. This is not easy for console gamers to understand. It is funny to turn off all the N64 specific features and now it looks like, you know, PC or PS1. Right, like, yeah, this is just how Quake looks. In an ideal world. Well, Spiff asks if we're doing Hexen next. Are we playing Hexen, Bob? I heard you like Hexen. <laughs> uh, the 64, though, I don't know. But I'm willing to boot it. Wow. We killed Wario. And that's I'm so sorry. tragic. That's so sad. Much sad. Quest 64 worked perfectly. Lucky us. It seems, it seems for the quake. It seems to be going pretty all right there. Right, like no error codes. This is an impressive game, honestly. Like, I'm super surprised this is working. It's so weird that it auto activates when you get near stuff. Like, there isn't an activate button. It just yeah. does it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the case in the original. Oh, really? Like, PC version. Crazy. I could be wrong, but I thought that was the game where you just rub up against walls. Don't forget, Bust Move 99 also worked. Oh, yeah. I wasn't oh, yeah. Here. I wasn't here for that. Thank you. Uh, was that before or after Blues Brothers? Uh, I believe it was right after. Building. Did it have error codes? Plus no, it. no, it didn't. 
I still need to play Doom 64. That one seems good. I don't... Like, you should play it. I feel like everyone should try it. Its vibes are weirdly different from more normal Doom. I don't know. Changing the music really changed a lot. Yeah, of course. Quake on N64's digital blasphemy. Do you want us to turn the N64 features back on? <laughs> I was like, oh, this seems pretty cool. This is an all right. It is funny that the sky always looks bad. Unlike games when we turn off the N64 digital or it's texture true. filtering, like that clearly is supposed to look a lot better than it does. Sequence completed. Wah, wah. Could you aim up and down? I assume you could. In the PC version? Yeah, the PC yeah. version. Okay. So weird. Thank the phone. It's like it plays like Doom. Fox, you just barely missed Quest 64! Oh no! And Bob won't go back! No, I won't. You Hello, can't everyone. make me. Welcome, welcome to the, uh... N64... <laughs> the N64 Mr. Core Replay it with the randomizer, says Vox, resubscribing for 54 months. Jesus. I'm sorry, Bob, we may have to go back into Quest 64. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Here you go. <laughs> oh, joy! Well, you know... I just uh, don't understand how to play Quake 64. There's got to be an easy way to boot into just the shelf. <laughs> Order up. Yes. So, okay. Uh, for people who don't know, I'm Dan, this is Bob. Uh, Gig Boots, every Friday we beat a different game. We also run a gaming news podcast every Thursday. Uh, and we usually do uh, our Friday stream in a thing called the Death Stream. Today, we're doing a different sort of stream. We're checking out with the Nintendo Switch Online N64 controller, the Mr. FPGA console's new and still in development, N64 core. So I, you know, I want to boot this because I need to show Vox. We need to do the eye test for Vox, you know, A or B. <laughs> Which one's better, slide one or slide two? Uh, let me go ahead and... Get back in here to turn it back into full N64 mode. No. <laughs> oh. Well, this is what she's used it's to. It's true. Totally. You, you saved automatically for me, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I actually don't know how to save in Quest 64 because I've never played it long enough. Right. I, I didn't really Maybe have a control effect man. right now. So, anyways. So, Vox, tell me right now. You know what, we'll go outside since it's brighter and I know how encoding and the internet and all that goes. You know what, Never mind. I like this room for doing it. So Vox, there are a bunch of features built into the N64 that they think makes it look better. Uh, it totally doesn't though, but tell me, which one do you prefer? <laughs> what you just saw or this? <laughs> I like seeing the brickwork, it's pretty nice. But you can turn these on and off individually, and it's pretty interesting. You can, uh... What I like to do is turn off the bilinear filtering, because look at the, look at the, like, HP, MP and those numbers. It smudges it up. I don't like that. I don't like that. I also don't like the anti-aliasing, which is... Hard to see what's wrong with it here, but you can kind of see it. Just kind of. Yeah, I like to have dithering, de-dithering, and now everything has nice gradients. And I can still see texture detail. It's a, it's an interesting look. You turn these features off and N64 games start to look like PS1 games. In fact, Mega Man 64 looked exactly like Legends. It was weird. Yeah, it was pretty Really, weird. really weird. God, I, I can't believe you actually beat a story mode on Love and Saga. That seems insane. Oh, it's like, Jesus Christ. That was uh, one of your goals for your uh, Dotathon, right, Vox? 
<laughs> it was heavy research. <laughs> yeah, I bet. But yeah, let's start with this. Do you like A? Uh, or B? Bob, which do you like? I like the one where I can see stuff instead of the glue. You turned the game into. <laughs> the N64 is a very advanced console. Yeah, it's it's got it's got some filtering, but we can do that. And and now, what? Which one's which one's better now, Bob? Is the goo better? Is it better goo? No, it's not. No, no. Oh, okay. Well, I'm leaving it on anyway. It was the end goal of the, the donathon. That was, oh, that's crazy. Wait, donathons can end? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it's happening now. We're down in 72 hours. Obviously, it's just gonna keep going. Down. Obviously. Goop that screen. <laughs> We're gonna have to take some days off to move and stuff eventually too. So it's just gonna- But the trick is we'll leave a webcam on, point it at an empty room, and the timer will just go up. We'll be like, this is how we win. <laughs> The channel is deleted once you're out of the donut thought hours. <laughs> That'd be really good. People are like, wait a minute, what happened to Gigaboots? Oh my god. Hey, I just don't know. Did they intend this handrail to have the texture filtering? I just can't. You know, it just looks so similar between these two modes, Bob. Uh huh. That's intense. That is really intense. Mm hmm. That is. They clearly designed that art around it, looking like it had edges and a spherical gradient to it. A cylindrical gradient. Jesus. Gigaboots directed by Yoko Taro. Wait a minute. Man, can we get the horse? This Is this power? It's power. Oh, my God. Also, no, I don't believe we could get the horse, but it says okay. Nay H H. You know what? Nay horse is the best character in the game. You're starting to reconsider? Yeah, horse seems pretty, like a pretty good model. I can't see him anymore, but uh. Yeah, you're not allowed. But yeah, I guess the that. B button turns the camera towards where I'm looking, which is a very weird choice. It's a fancy horse though. You're it is a very right. fancy horse. A little skinny. Oh. One moment while we crash down to 20 frames per second. Whenever. So Someone describes a modern compile heart RPG. RPG. I'm told it's like Quest 64. That's no. such a state. No. What does that mean? Okay, now go learn the return spell so you can cast it on top of a spirit and spam it eight times as you teleport away. Yeah, Spiff was talking about that. How do I how do I go learn that spell? How do I learn the return spell? Just asking for a friend. Oh. Bob's like that. Oh, we were almost out. Yes. <laughs> You know, this see is... Chris and Chip. Oh, there he is. So now, now I don't know if you saw it last time, Chris. This game seems to run fine. It runs perfectly. You may have, you may the, have the courted notion, yourself. The notion that Neptunia and Quest 64 are similar. That eats away at my soul. I mean, like, I've, I've seen some combat from them, and you can tell what they're talking about. I'm just like, no, I don't want to know. I don't want that to be the case. Hey. Do you know the return spell, fisherman? Halt, who goes there? Oh, it's you, laddie. Ever since your father went away, we had to stand guard against the monsters that are surrounding our town. Lord Bartholomew was the spirit tamer, and we will not be safe until his return. Does this game have visual novel segments? <laughs> Digi. <laughs> Maybe that's how it's similar. Digi. What? This game wishes it had a story to tell you through a visual novel. <laughs> Or anything. <laughs> it's, it's got, got shelf. <laughs> Brian, when fighting, you will have. When fighting, you will have two octagonal areas surrounding you. The large octagon represents the entire fighting area. The small octagon represents your personal area of movement. Use your area of movement to avoid enemy attacks. If you move outside of the large octagon, you will have the option to escape the fight. This game is a treat. I enjoy watching Vox play this game. It sounds like that randomizer is as cool stuff. I mean, yeah, it changes names to Bug Moose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Who put wool on these armadillos? 
<laughs> Somebody's got to armor up. Ba a a. Ba a a. Let me in your house. Quest 64 versus Final Fantasy 1 Death Stream slash spoiler cast to see which one has more story. <laughs> yes. I know that there's a story at the end of Final Fantasy oh, 1. I don't know if there is at the end of Quest 64. I don't know. Shelf said People tell me stories about Shelf all the time. Like, hey, Shelf's hot. And I'm like, good story, bro. Fox says Final Fantasy has way more story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is pretty... What the fuck is a shelf? Someone posted in chat earlier. I'm yeah, sorry you missed it. in chat earlier. Unfortunately, now you're just gonna have to... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Still on hand. Hey, Vox, how do I set spells to C buttons without having to hit the C button once and then hit it again? Fifth posted it earlier. Oh, okay, it's fine. Hate that it's it's shelf, probably. Yeah. yeah, and he just posted it on you. You don't. Okay. <laughs> well, Spit, we're wrong. <laughs> yeah, when I hit the face button, it defaults to whatever that element is. But then I have to hit it again in order to cast it. Mm, okay. I thought there might have been a faster way. Spiff and I were like, there has to be a better way. And then Vox showed up in chat and said, nope, of course not. You're playing Quest 64. <laughs> Which is the best way. <laughs> I like that the rabbit does a dab before throwing the, the It is disc. really good. I love its dance so damn much. It's a real good dance. So Vox, uh, that's, that's great that you beat it. Uh, when, when are you doing it again? Why? Why? Why would you even ask that? <laughs> when are you doing it six more times? Yeah, you, I assume you have to do it with every character. You can thank Vox, Juice of Frost, because uh, we already played this and we were going to move past it, but then Vox showed up and it was like... Well, we have to show how the Mister is now the ultimate Quest 64 console. Because you get to customize how awful it looks. Yeah, I assume that those, the randomizer is hopefully made to work with the original hardware, but I don't know. Given the description of what it does, it doesn't sound like a mod that wouldn't. Right. I'm trying to remember, it also randomized the music, so, like, her overworld theme one time was just the battle theme for the entire fucking game. <laughs> it didn't quite work. Not even all of the GBA is a contender. Look, if there's a Quest 64 at the GBA, it's obviously not THE Quest 64. No, they're talking about... Like, <laughs> like the sequels? No, there's only one Game Boy Color game. Unless there's a typo, I assume they're saying like the Game Boy Advance is a much better use of the Mister the Quest 64. Which, <laughs> I mean, obviously, I don't know about that. Just, uh, you know, people really just. Uh... Oh, hey, that was a sprint. sick. Fun fact about Quest 64, if you have an item in your inventory, that item can't drop. Oh my god. You're telling me if I have bread, you it better will eat never it. drop bread. Yeah. Incredible. I cannot have more than one item of a type. <laughs> Is that... The plot to Quest 64 is on the Game Boy Color version? Well, there you go. We got to do our homework. You can find multiple bread in chests, but you can't get another from monsters. That's somehow even worse. All right. I understand. The game doesn't like me. It's fine. <laughs> That's understandable. <laughs> That's so deranged.
You know what this song reminds me of? Definitely not the beginning of any Final Fantasy battle theme. No, nothing like one of those. No, absolutely not. I still really don't understand how we got no or almost no RPGs on the N64. Was there just no space on the cartridge? Yeah, of course. N64 cartridges are something like a hundredth the size of a CD at the beginning of the gen. Because, you know, there were 8 megs instead of 700 megs. Stop throwing rocks at your, pe at your people. Tell them to calm down. Tell them to leave me alone. Good job, Dan. Let's just boop on Snoot. Anyway, that's that's Quest 64. We all know and love Quest 64. We have us this course surprisingly really good, given that it's still in beta. We gotta turn all these filters, I mean features, back on. Also, uh, this uh, N64 controller from the Nintendo Switch Online thing uh, just works if you have a Bluetooth receiver. Like they made a driver for the Mister to do exactly that, which is crazy. Chat, what do we want now? What are we doing next? Uh, I know Resident Evil 2 won't work because one of the few features that are not working yet uh, is, is important to that game, apparently. I'm going to try my best to ignore my personal bias towards Harvest Moon 64. Oh, is that two people saying Harvest Moon 64? The same person saying it twice. That is two different people saying Harvest Moon 64. Okay, we're doing it. Ooh. It'll be nice to see this version not texture filtered and everything to hell. Oh no, I was leveling up and I didn't even see it through the menu. What's your favorite Harvest Moon spiff? Toy box. Is that the... No, instead, we're farming. Yeah, this is this is a little rough with the N64 filters. Features turned on. He's gone. It all happened so fast. Oh, wow. They actually have an intro where they're like, your dad fucking died. Or grandpa, rather. It happened so fast. I just, I walked in his house with the pitchfork and I don't know kept, what happened. Kept stabbing. It was just so quick. Anyway, do you want to live here? Uh, Yeah, sure. Living's expensive. Go ahead. Push the start. The start. It's yeah, now dog. that I turned off all this blurring and shit from the N64, it looks pretty nice. Is this the same as a PS1 game? It's not the same, but it is the game. It's that game. Okay. It's but it is really different. For example, there was an intro. <laughs> and none of these graphics you've seen so far are in that at all. Crazy. My birthday is summer. summer. Yeah, weird that they don't ask you a day. Enter your rancher's name. 58% of chat hasn't played Quest 54. Clearly need the stream. No. <laughs> That's only 18 people. That's over when you're actually 50%. <laughs> oh my god. Name this dog. I haven't even seen this dog. Round. <laughs> I might end up with the pointy ones. I doubt there are both in this game, but we'll Dog. see. <laughs> he made the face. This is the face. Oh, I have to use the stick. Huh. Oh my god, eight directional movement. Whoa. This changes everything. That red line seems wrong. That is yeah, definitely does. not supposed to be there. I'm sure if you have the old smoothing features, you just don't see it. 
You kind of don't. Weird. Yeah, yeah, it's just blurred into the edge. Right? Uh. Huh. God, it's so blurry, though. I can't. Yeah, no, no, it's not okay. Fuck all that. I want to see shit. Man, look at this actually good pixel art for the bear. I'm yeah, it's great. <laughs> what we ruined it was Vaseline. No. No, please don't. <laughs> if you take this path, you head towards the moon! This is a different map layout, isn't it? Or have they just fixed the camera at a weird angle? Yeah, maybe they are just... Can I turn the camera? This is disorienting. Oh, yeah, this doesn't make any sense. This layout's... What the hell's going on? <laughs> it's a good face. What's the problem, Dad? Everything about the art is those sprites and stuff, so I figured it was the same fucking game, mm -hmm. but different, and, uh... Everything's fucking different. Right? Oh. Oh my. I shouldn't be saying that, should I? <laughs> Probably not. God, and there's, like, a weird scaling thing going on that's causing it to not scroll in a way that looks smooth. Mm-hmm. Mm. If only I had a way to make it look smooth. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. What is he being hideous? This looks fucking terrible. Why would someone want it to look like Hello. Oh, okay, he's wearing glasses. Our sprite on the map makes it look like she's wearing gigantic goggles, at, like safety goggles at all times. Like, yeah, I'm wearing these. He, Dangerous, he works in the machine house, so clearly with machinery all the time, he's gonna cut his hand off, but his eyes will be sick. Yes. Okay, Bob, based on the interaction so far, you have to choose a wife. <laughs> Is it the mayor? <laughs> I don't think it's the mayor. Okay. Well, chat, this game seems to work. <laughs> Goodbye, game. <laughs> Go ahead and smash some names in while we check Mario Golf. Wait, there's a Hercules game? Yeah. You haven't? No, you played that game. That was on a retro roulette. Probably. Is it based on the TV show? Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, actually, wait. Yes. Yes, it is. Chameleon twist. Jesus. <laughs> oh, already got an error code. And it seems broken. Oh well. Let me... It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> but Bob, it didn't even start. Exactly. Uh, 008 0010. You going back for Hercules? No. Oh, okay. What are you doing? Um, I was going to go to Chameleon Twist. <laughs> I don't know why. People keep saying chameleon this this stream. They want that. They, they want keep, chameleon twist. Obviously. I don't want to do Earth Storm Gem 64 though. It's, they might think they might think this is when our playthrough is going to happen. They might. Oh man, look at that. I love Japan's system supply. That's my favorite developer. <laughs> All right. Daisy, Jack, or Fred. Or Linda. Linda. Oh, Daisy's blue. That's cool. It's beautiful weather. Oh, no. I feel like that was the intro. Yeah, I didn't think that I'd skip it in one button press. Whoa! And now you know why Chameleon Twist is cool. Why are you licking your friend? I thought he was an enemy. This is Jungle Land, the gateway to the mysterious world. Go to the training room if you need to practice tongue and body controls. 
Was it controls? I thought he said control, which makes that sentence even more unsettling. He ran off after you. Oh, we'll never know. Oh, geez. What? Will Bob figure out the paradigm? Real Bomberman 64 vibes. For some reason. Oh, oh, there we go. All I can think of is the... It says real Undertale vibes. Person who's on the way to play Undertale. Oh god. Oh, then I shoot them out. Okay. Good job. You got two whole crowns. Right. That makes you a double princess. You clearly do not have excellent tongue control like Dahibe in chat does. Ugh. There's, there's the camera. Heart. Oh, that, that, that one needs... See which way you're lined up, I guess. Yeah. Why did it not shoot out the way I was... can do this, but only when there's a guy I'm attracted to around. So, Bob, what are you thinking so far? Top three platform on the N64? Oh, no! Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, not quite. I don't think. You don't think? I actually don't know much about Chameleon Twist 2. I think we did that in a retro right too, but it wasn't it wasn't like this one. It's different. I still no, he also was shooting out. There's something I'm not understanding with this move. That's correct. Oski, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Rush Dickenberg. Enjoy Rush Dickenberg. No, you gotta solve the mystery of how to get up there. It has a crown. Or something. I don't know. No, it's a heart. Yeah, I think it's just a heart. You gotta master whatever is up with the. Oh no, he just jumped, you guys. Oh, now there's, there's a crowd. There too. we go. Crowds are so important. Oh, we're good. So, do you think this... Better or worse than Sonic Adventure 1? <laughs> Ew. Ew. It's only a little worse. Okay. <laughs> I think the wrong says it's better. Oh, that's crazy. Turn off the features? Sure. It's too blurred. That's obviously what's holding me back here. Oh my god, that looks weird. Yeah, it does. It's so dark. Maybe too. we should leave the game yeah, on. Yeah, the game of clearly is necessary for this. Fish? Fish is a little this, bit too This low. is gonna be me when that uh, place we're moving to opens that conveyor belt sushi restaurant. I'm gonna be like, it's gonna go up the whole sushi line. I'm and then so you'll be asked to leave. And then I'll be like, damn, there's only one of those in town. <laughs> we're gonna lick a tug it. Yeah, we're gonna make the exact sound like a tug does when he eats the sea urchin or whatever. <laughs> Real quick, let me. Let sure. Me, uh, which button does that? Z. Oh, 
Yeah, it doesn't work in any of the ways I would expect it to. I swear I got it to work in the way I expected it to as a kid. Okay, yeah. You can jump higher. You gotta time it really hard. How did I even do that just now? <laughs> yeah, see? Oh. Yeah, the, the jump must work in just the smallest of windows. You have to wait. You have to go fast. <laughs> and then once you get to the top, do it, I think. I think that's what's up. Ooh. Ah, that was close. Yeah, I feel like something could be on the left, but it's more likely if you fell in the left. And you release on the arc forward. Okay, we're going to try that. I mean... You mean jump, or...? Do you mean push A to disengage it at the end? Because, yeah, that's what I was talking about just now. Letting go doesn't... That doesn't do anything. Letting go of the stick equally doesn't do anything. <laughs> so, yeah, hitting jump at the end does... Does about what I remembered. He does not look like a million. Yeah, no, not at all. Really? I know, crazy. What? He's got the time, but that's about it. I had a pet chameleon who looked exactly like him. We called him Fred. My parents got upset. He stopped paying rent. <laughs> you love tube that. Yeah, that actually bugs me a lot about tube. They took that. They took that uh, criticism too seriously. Bob's like, wait, oh, that's two. Like, now this, I can get it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Just, just, just drop down to that thing you can barely fucking see. Yeah. Got it. And you can't really adjust the camera too much in this. Oh, I can. Bye. Yeah. What? That's obviously not how that should work. Okay. They didn't know how to make it work the way you want it to work. <laughs> This is like a free-to-play Korean online game with these fucking porcupines. These 2D sprites that don't have enough angles. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> now that looks like a chameleon. Four million dollars. Wait, are you saying they only changed the look chameleon-like in Chameleon Twist 2 in the US? No, wait, what? Is that what they're saying? No, fuck you, what? No way, that's insane! That's yeah, unbelievably funny though, because it does bug the hell out of me. And you know someone at the office was like, It doesn't make any sense, that's not a chameleon. <laughs> How do you unlock the chameleon class in Ragnarok Online? That'd be dope. Man, now that Vox is beating Unlimited Saga, I don't even know what great whales escape her. Right? <laughs> She can just wrap it up. She's done streaming. <laughs> Please load up both versions of Kill Elite Twist 2, just to check. Uh, I don't have the Japanese version on here. I have a full US dump. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I bet the momentum is such that if I let go while curling it around like that, but not exactly that way, I would be able to... Yeah, okay. Let's try that then. One moment. To be fair, she, she said she beat one story in Limited Saga. That's true. So Whatever, you're done. <laughs> what if you're standing on top of the stick and it's time? Oh, you can't. See. Oh, you can't? All right. But yeah, my idea is we do something like this. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, yeah. look at that. Advanced strats. I don't know why I'm playing, though. I already love Chameleon Twist. <laughs> Clearly. I mean, I do. I, I think it's a really neat game. Chameleon Twist 2 looks wrong, so I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to look like a Bomberman ass character. I don't. What if you date a bunch of spiders? That'd be kind of weird. I don't know. What do you want? <laughs> Is Chameleon Twist not cool because he eats a billion spiders? Don't you wish you could make your head really big and inflated by eating a billion spiders? No, I don't think that thought ever came up. Really? Yeah. Just me, huh? <laughs> All right, sure. Sure it is. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, that's it, Rishenberg. Mystical Ninja work doesn't work. Castlevanias don't work. But Hydrant Heaven works, so Konami Osaka is the best. <laughs> you got it. I don't think I can reach. Whoa. Whoa! I don't know why it immediately kicked back like that. That's not normally how the... Yeah, that's not normal. Why is it just... Oh! Oh, the, um, the, the, the platform there is ever so slightly higher than me. Oh. Okay. I can years. still get that. You, you're not, you think you can outsmart me, motherfucker? <laughs> no! no! Okay, now it's really hard to do this, but I got it. No, I got this. <laughs> so anyway, this is why the game's great. Everyone tell Bob. Because you want it. That's it's the only platformer you lick your way around. Okay. That's good. And it's great. Okay. I mean, this game seems fine, but really janky. What? So I don't know what what you're even. What part of this is janky? It's not like it's Croc. Earlier I said Gex, meaning to say Croc. Hey, what's up? I was like, actually, I just dislike this game now because there's spiders every 10 seconds. Oh, wow. One spider? Wow. Just one? Jesus. What are these spiders made out of? Oh, at least they disappeared. <laughs> Your dog goes, Yeah, Bob, it has everything you could want in a game. <laughs> Your camera does this. The funny thing is, it, it is changing what up means as it spins <laughs> around, so I was just running in circles. Uh-oh. Glorious. Wowzers. <laughs> yeah, I think um, that retro roulette where we played Chameleon Twist 2 was my first time ever seeing it and just, I'm floored over how he looks wrong. I need to play the Japanese version, then maybe I can fall in love with it. Maybe. Who knows? But Bob's like, I've had enough of these mediocre, his words, not mine, <laughs> N64 platformers. When are we going to play some real N64 platformers? Well, Bob, I gotcha. Okay. Bud. There you go. There you go. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'm sure Glover is great. I never really played it. Oh, I played it for Rush River Let or something, but I did not have it back in the day. I don't, I don't even know if we've played it ever on the channel. Right? Which is really funny to me. Because we played so much fucking shit, man. Yeah. You remember fingers and gloves? We already have an error code. Wow. That was fast. That was fast. Jesus. Nick J's. Okay. E O O A. O O O O. Yo, what about Madden 2001? That's a terrible platformer game. I've not been made aware that you see sometimes play play out games. When are you playing Mighty Number no. 9 again? I can go ahead and say that's probably not happening during the stream. Something tells me that effect wasn't supposed to look like that. Yeah. Oh. We are literally a wizard's glove. Oh, wow. I didn't realize the gloves he's wearing literally have our face on it. Yeah. The accident. Oh, I thought the the, Wait, the goo would make us sentient. Yeah, same. But, but I guess the explosion did. The crystals. He was just kind of like him off. Man, this looks fucking weird with all the filtering turned off. The Glover. It just said Glover. <laughs> the 
Evil Glover. Anytime now. We're, we'll make it down there. Is this accurate? I, yeah, I was like, it wasn't red in the cutscene just now. Why is it? Oh, red? it went right after it started sque squeezing the crystals out. Okay. All right, my name is Mr. Tip. DOS games be like. Yeah. Yeah, this is just the the uh, the little guide from Windows. The the paper clip. Clip. Yeah, yeah, clippy. Let's see. Maybe it's just you know we're missing the vision. Oh, there we go. It now looks like Glover. I think they use that bird sound in Ocarina of Time. Yes. You're not going to go in the really obvious door you were right in front of. You're going to instead run off into the distance. Oh, I don't have the ball. Oh, there's the ball. You were just looking at it. They got tips. Yeah, fuck them. You're a pro gamer. This is the answer to the facts level. Jump into the, the well to learn all the tips and tricks. Oh my god, what? Well, I thought up? he'd run on top of it, not this! No, no that would be a very different game. What? What's, what's up, Bob? This is very different from what I imagine Glover being like. My name is Tip. He's Why telling you to talk to him. Are you going to say that again? And the camera C buttons. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Okay. Let's let's take these filters back off. Why would you want to see the game? <laughs> Wow, you can jump with A and move with the stick? That's fucking crazy. I can do a double jump, my god. Oh, will that just always point to it? Yeah, the B button points to the ball. Pretty cool. Spiff, would you believe, after I made that thumbnail I showed you, I went home and Tosh said it wasn't enough and I needed to go back and, and then gave me instructions on how to fix it. So anyways. Please look forward to the revised version. Oh, you dribbled the ball. What in the world? All right. Pretty cool, right? It is pretty cool. Back when, back when 3D pl you just shot it up there. <laughs> oh, I can probably try to get up there. I'm just trying to talk to this guy. It's really finicky. <gasps> Hold B. Okay. Look at Crumbles. Crumble spot for the sub. <laughs> you just did it. Yeah, but what are you confused about? It. it, it... He made it sound like to get up there, I would need to do that. But it's like, no, it's... I thought I could go to the ball after throwing it or something. No. I can get the ball somewhere, not uh -huh. me. Try Super Robot Wars 64, should be fun. Um, I don't think I have that on here. It might be in my translated folder. Uh -huh. I like that this ball is so important. We're learning all these moves to get it places. Right? Really, it feels like I can get the most of it by doing the dribble. Oh. 
<laughs> By the way, it's right there in front of your face, and it's rolling away. Thank you. Thank you. I wasn't sure. Bob, what's your favorite ball slapping action N64 game? I guess Glover. I don't know. Like that, that seems like a really well. There was that genre. ball racer. You remember that? Um, the Iggy thing or whatever. Yeah, that yeah. thing was awful. Oh. Well. And the ledge climb is a fucking. As a fucking club is so funny. <laughs> I like Diggy. It was a lot like Sonic Rivals. <laughs> yes. You know a game to test? Oh, what what game, Shinji? Excuse me, what is that? That's sand, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just sand. What else would it be? Extreme G. I actually don't know if I've ever played Extreme G. Have you, Bob? I don't think so. I've seen it around. It's so funny how differently loud all these N64 games are. Okay, this is the way I thought I'd play the whole game. But I guess it's just you activate it when you're on water. And the controls reverse. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you drowning? Okay, you were just making the ledge climbing sound repeatedly. I was like, why the fuck is he dying? <laughs> oh, you have a ground pound. Yes. Ugh. What do you say? Throw the ball onto try climb or bouncing and throw. <laughs> okay, so we can start. Whoops, 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 whoops. No, no, I don't want to talk to you. I'm trying to bounce the ball. <laughs> By the way, it's right, it's right there. What? That no you way. Should, you Thank know. you, Glover. No problem. Oh, he did it. Have like, you tried South Park 64 yet? No, we haven't. Oh, no. <laughs> why do you Why do you ask, Rush Chickenberg? We. <laughs> Don't just slap the ball into the wall. Oh my God. You can just bounce. You can just bounce up there. <laughs> That instruction down there was in case you broke all the boxes, Bob. I swear to God. <laughs> yeah, it's down there. <laughs> Thank you, Glover. Spoof says people need to know if chefs love shack runs. No, they don't. <laughs> oh, if I jump on it, he does this. Okay. And then you hit that and does that cash in the ball and they're like, congrats, you beat the level. Or do we leave the level with the ball and then it gives us anything? Oh, in fact, it taught you that for this specific thing. The midair throw. Right. Oh, it hit. Yeah, I'm like, did, I guess. Yeah, did it even make a fucking ding? No, it didn't. Oh, whoops, I don't want to slap it. No, I can't not. undo. I was like, the urge to slap it's too, too hard. Help. This game is really quiet, but then I looked over here and it seemed appropriately loud. I'm like, man, that last game must have been loud as hell. Right? <sighs> well, other than the air code, that seems to work. Yeah, which is pretty weird. Pretty weird that it throws an error code and then just works relatively fine. I need to look up what these error codes mean at some point. Right. Let's try Extreme G. Sure. Starts with an X. Just so you know. No, we're not doing a clever test stream. What do I look like, Carl? Oh, I thought it started with an X. I guess it starts with an E. I guess. 
Even Shinji thought it started with an X. I mean, just listen to that name. It should start with an X. It should. What do you mean there's two? We also, now that I did not know. We do have to boot up uh, F-Zero after this. The devs of this game are like, just once I would like someone to play our game and not play F-Zero right afterwards. Sorry, you named your game wrong. Probe. Oh, cool. The people who brought us Mortal Kombat on the Game Boy. Oh, neat. Well, sorry, it looks way better than Mortal Kombat on the Game Boy. Somebody That's... tells me that looks a lot better right. with the I filters turned on. Let me get these on. filters on. <laughs> eh, yeah. It looks almost identical, except for they have the noise filter everywhere see they do that noise filter is strong but that sky and floor sky look a lot better <laughs> the filtering though Let's if you see. turn that off it's gonna turn oh wow i don't know weird oh well okay yeah that yeah, looks like total dog all shit. of them you, they look real bad what if it was noisier how much can we destroy the bit rate while doing nothing He's just doing this at random now. Yes. Do, 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 do. Atomic. Novice Atomic. Did you say my mom is Atomic? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, the Akira bike. Well, that's pretty fancy. It's pretty fancy. I don't think I've ever seen this game before. Looking at how it looks right now, I would argue we still haven't seen the game because, oh man, that's not how N64 games look in the least. A Z. Z? Z? Z. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I figured. Because I was like, if A's not working, then you do make it the cool button, right? Right. Yeah, this looks a little different, I guess. Man, look at it right under the the motorcycle. Uh huh. That's so weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, I don't even know. A little different, just a little different. Once again, I wonder how how much silicon was spent doing this texture filter. <laughs> like, I'm glad it exists because, like. It makes the N64 look different from the PS1. And I feel like certain games that really design their art around knowing it would do that look really good. Then you have the Mega Man 64s of the world. <laughs> and other things like that, where it's like, man, I wish I could see pixel detail. <laughs> yeah, it seems like such a special case sort of thing. Of like, they have to design for this well. Mm -hmm. Oh no! <laughs> what the fuck? See, Bob, this is what I'm talking about. This should get streamers to, to test this stuff. <laughs> We've gone. This is our 42nd game this stream. <laughs> Jesus. Whoa. Ricey just shot out like a barrage of missiles. Is there not a voice in this game that announces power-ups? Um. That does seem like oh. something that should be here. Like, wipe out. What's up? What is uh, down on the, the C buttons. Use that thing in the upper left, which I thought was a bomb, but it's actually nitro. Oh, okay, yeah, it has an N. Right. Which might be more obvious with that on the blur. <laughs> Maybe. Just a little. Um, Lionheart's saying this is running a lot better than it did on original hardware. Oh, yeah? I'd believe it. It's running at about 30. Right. Which, uh, as we know, for the N64, aspirational. Yes. As a frame rate. 
Oh, okay. Juice Frost says, I could have sworn on my life that I had this game as a kid, but there was a British lady who would announce the names of power-ups. And then Rush Dickenberg theorizes maybe that's Extreme G2. Maybe. There are two of them, after all. Yeah, we should, we should boot that one just for a second after this, just to see. We need to solve that mystery. Mm -hmm. And I guess we'll find out whether or not it runs at the, on the mystery at the same time. God, I fucking hate the fucking N64 goddamn anti-alias thing. Because it's just, like, if it only affected the 3D stuff, that'd be different. Uh -huh. But you can literally, if you just look at the HUD in the upper right, watch as the UI, like, gets these errant pixels appearing on the side of it based on what 3D shit's behind it. And that just... I can't believe that jump didn't make it. That seems like bullshit to me. Also, good job, Bob. You're in G place. Yes. Oh, now you're in fifth place. That's great. I assume that's better than G. Right. G It's pretty lame place to be in, honestly. God. Okay, that was the end. Man. Oh, it has a password system. Weird. Weird. I would not expect that. What the heck is this? Are they taking me to the junkyard? Burning me alive? What are we doing? Oh no! But that was a good thing, right? <laughs> oh, weird, we're on the title screen How again. How did that happen? Can I? Yeah, yeah. Was that Extreme Contest? Yeah, that was Extreme Contest. I'm gonna try this just for a little bit. I won't even do the whole race and then we can switch to two. Nice. You said down C, use the nitro? Do they both consume N? No. Okay. I see. This game seems pretty sick. I like how the vehicle leans sort of at the exact same angle as the analog stick is tilted. It's pretty cool as a touch. I wonder how I refresh my N. I wonder if there's like a break. You don't? I don't. Well, luckily, I can't actually make that jump without using the nitro. Make this into a VR racing game. Do it. I want to vomit. Just doing this. Yeah, no, even this is a little too intense. Yeah, I bet if you had head tracking to change your perspective based on you just moving your head, mm. that would make this absolutely, like, it's just too much. Yeah. Just too much. Seriously, though, when are we going to make consoles where that's, like, a core feature of the system? What, head tracking? Yeah, just, just fucking have an official head tracking thing then have games, whether or not they have it, say, on the box be interesting. I mean, it's definitely a more conducive thing than fucking VR. Yeah. Put on a $500 headset versus $30, $30 tracker and a webcam? <laughs> yeah, we clubbing. <laughs> but yeah, you, you tried the head tracker with... Um, American Truck Simulator, you saw how crazy that was with that. Now yeah. imagine it with a game that's just a normal video game like Devil May Cry. Right. It just gives it a lot of depth. Yeah. That, that just about made me sick doing the uh, American Truck Simulator. American Truck Simulator. I have to wonder how well it applied to other games. 
Well, I feel like part of it making you sick there is when you hit on the bricks but didn't feel it. Yes, absolutely. You, using a controller extrapolates it a bit, I feel like. Mm hmm. I was really scared I wasn't going to make that. I think I'm going to make first. Nice. Maybe, I don't know. I said I wasn't going to do a whole race, but I'm curious what they do now that I'm basically... They still show you in the dump. Yeah, I'm like, do I get to watch them ruin someone else's life, or...? Okay, cool. We done? Oh, man, hour 71. Give it up. Holy God, give it up for hour 71. Oh, wow, another brown level. He said for once not playing a 7th gen video game. <laughs> Fuck divot. Okay, look at my tire. Okay. See my tire? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. I, Looks I, great. God, divot is such... It's the worst feature. The others of these, I can begin to understand where they're coming from. Fucking divot. Fucking scrunt. God. God bless you, N64. We're going to find out if there's a British lady in this one. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a timer this low. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know uh that thing only updates once a second so it's not a hyper accurate frame rate count hour 70, what now? give it up for hour 72 for the next three Ooh. minutes fancy it's really fancy also i'm surprised it looks that good I did turn most of this off. Let me turn it all back on. Yeah, this is way fancier than the menu in the first game. Yeah. Cool. Though the background looks more plain. I like the storms going on in the first oh, one. Oh, man, but we got people in yeah. these vehicles this time. That guy sure asked me. It's a lady. You know, I was like, wearing a bra, maybe? <laughs> sure asked me <laughs> really going undercover this time. <laughs> Okay. I think I can do that. I think I can manage. Man, this is fucking really fancy compared to the other one. British lady. True. Oh, and you have to shield it more. Ow, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, uh, that went about as poorly as it could. Right. I don't like lift your motorcycle as much. Like having that big thing on top is just playing. Diesel. That is really funny that this and Devil May Cry 2 should share anything in common. Yeah, yeah. Only the best video games have diesel sponsorships. <laughs> oh my god, these Same producer, rates. maybe. These yeah. fucking yeah, frame these rates. these frame rates are so much worse than the first. Yeah. Well, there's our British lady. Right? They need to stop letting these people who work at Diesel to, to join game development companies. <laughs> or they need to start letting game development companies go and work at Diesel. <laughs> it's only fair. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, you have a, you're a front view camera when you do the reverse. That's so crazy. It's the very bottom. Oh. Interesting. Well, this was a great time. We had a great time with it. F-Zero? So, uh, yeah, literally anything else. Yeah. F-Zero sounds great. Here you go. Have fun. All Have right. Fun. I intend to. <laughs> Already a code. Yeah. It's just too intense. This game is powerful. Oh, it's like... 
The same lady's holding up all the signs. Are there just a lot of her? Unclear. Vroom. Oh, no, sorry, that's Va- Ooh. Yeah, Mew City. Wow, this is a ton of racers. Oh, yeah. This game has an absolute ass load. If I remember correctly, the, uh, the Smash level, Melee, I think it has literally every racer on that track. Huh. <laughs> that is fucking some art. Yeah, it is. White cat, you know, black cat's other alias. <laughs> I like that dude's face. Yeah. So does the person who made Red Line. Yes, obviously. And Red Line sure is like one of the coolest anime movies ever made. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to watch it again the next time I get a TV. <laughs> they need to. They need to make a 4K version. They do. Disco Tech needs to get on that. Maybe they have that on that. Maybe. It's not done by Disney Tech, and they're like the only people doing 4K anime. So, I doubt it. You got most power. You got most power. Did you turn off, like, those features? Um, I didn't Because the dithering's everywhere. That's weird. It's all on. Except for the noise. Except for noise dither. Which I guess is being used. Turn that back off. No, never mind. It, yeah, it it's not seem... being used. That's it's so weird. That, that, does it, it, oh. that just immediately made some of the art like weird. Yeah, that's weird. I have to wonder if them not having those features made it run better. <laughs> Maybe. This is a very dithered game. Yeah. It's interesting. I guess there must be some performance cost to the features. Right. I'd love some sort of interview or investigation into that. Right. Watch your back! <laughs> Watch your back! Watch your back. Man, this, this game's still really cool. Yeah. I wish I had it back then. Like, I, I don't oh, think same. I ever even tried it. No. I like how chunky the sky pixels are now. It looks like, you know, FC are on the SNES. Yes. Can you believe that the Switch F Zero doesn't even look as good as this? It would have been really video cool games really dark. That Switch, the ninety nine F Zero using S sixty four graphics, that'd be incredible. That would be really dope. Ooh, I move on. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just weird in such a specific way that I'm like, it's weird. I don't know. I got nothing. I'm trying to think if there's any 60 frames per second racing games on the PS1. Chat, does anyone know? Yeah, I don't know. The Ridge Racers don't do it. Oh, they modded um, Ridge, the first Ridge Racer using the engine for Ridge Racer Type 4 to run at 60 frames per second. Mm. Obviously, that game doesn't look quite as fancy as this, though. Then it definitely doesn't have, like, you know, 30 people on the track or whatever. 29. You got both powers. powers. Wipe out 60. God, no. What about Jet Moto? I'm sure... So that one's got it. That is literally... Ooh, excuse me. That is literally what Greasy Pete said in chat right after you said it. <laughs> Did any of the Jet Moto games run 60? Hell no. That would have been cool, though. Yeah. Aaron Bunny says, I love this track because if you go too fast on the wrong part, you can just shoot off into space. Good.
dude crashes his car into the side of the wall and says, is this sequence breaking? <laughs> Wash your back? Yeah. Why's your back so gross? How can the announcer know your back is that gross? Got a little bit more difficult. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I had gotten this back when it came out. Did it come out in like 99, 2000, 98? I have no idea. For some reason, I was like, isn't this a launch title? Which seems crazy. Crazy. No, no, no. I would have gotten it if it was. It's, you got everything. As, as, as If you could, you would have. Uh-huh. Because it's fucking launched. There was, it was the N64. Uh, late 99 or 2000, Convoy Ash says 98. Okay, so we have three years typed into chat. Meow. Meow. Chat, you know, you can just go to Wikipedia, right? They don't. No. Yeah, Zero on SNES was a launch title. And that was huge for proving it was way more powerful than that. Dinky G Sega Genesis. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I can't believe it does. It can do that on the 64. Oh, the physics thing where you follow the wall? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's way crazier than you expect. July 98 in Japan. Yeah, that's pretty late in the gen. Yeah. By that point in Japan, I think the Dreamcast is out. Because that comes out in 98 in Japan. It came out in 99 in America. I think it's late 98, though, so it might have come out slightly after this. But, uh... I'm fine. Everything's fine. Is that what fine looks like? That looks, that's what fine looks like. Okay. Somehow it's still in ninth place. So it came out in America at the end of 98. Yeah. 1998 was a pretty great year for game. Yeah, it was. It's really crazy that Capcom is so productive and has been doing, like, game busters on sales and quality of their latest titles. Mm -hmm. And Sony can still only... It, like, this is, like, one of their down years because they shipped Spider-Man and nothing else. Yeah. It's like, guys, this game's great, but we need more than one. <laughs> I, here, I thought it was going to be like, and yet they released Exo Primal. Oh, yeah, yeah the free yeah. weekend, I guess, happened. Or is, is, maybe is, it's still happening. Yeah, it might be still happening for uh, eight seconds. Right. 98 had one of my favorite games of all time, Resident Evil 2. Exactly. It's hard to compete. Resident Evil 2 is such a great game. Devil's Forest. Is Ocarina also 98? Is what? Ocarina of Time. That might be 99, but I think it's 98. Yeah, I think I think it's 98. We could probably skip off or move on. It, it seems like the game's working really well, even though it's got an air code. Um, yeah, this curious. game is a lot of fun. Don't worry, Dan. All those live service games will be coming out in no time. Uh huh. They definitely didn't shutter all of those. Yeah, definitely not. After they had the heartbringer of death come around and tell them that all their games were bad. Man, the way that stretches. Because <laughs> we have texture filtering turned off, right? Yeah. Yeah, the way that looks stretched is fucking insane. Right. <laughs> Ocarina of Time's 98 in the West. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, legit. I agree. It's going to take, like, two whole years to recover from what Jim Ryan's done to Sony. Right? Yeah, at least. They're lucky that man... That man's lucky that they're not going to execute him. <laughs> they're literally one of the most powerful publishers and platforms... Platform holders in the industry, and his ass just jeopardized it by trying to go to the fucking lotto. Yeah, with every studio, uh -huh. it seems like. What did he say? Oh, they got fucked! 
Those Penguin Man's a <laughs> terrible fucking announcer. We need a commentator who isn't Pat Bird. Kyle Keeskin chat says the better Zelda came out in 2000. <laughs> we should load up one of those Zeldas. A Aaron Bunny says it was, wow, you're way out in front. Oh, Apparently. that's what it said? Yeah, yeah, that's what he was saying. I like it. Two different versions. GameCube edition, huh? Oh, Master Quest. Okay. That's normal. The one above it's major. Oh man, look at this chunky cartridge load. We're gonna find out like years later. Like some of those uh, games of the service were actually looking incredible, and Destiny or in Bungie shut them down because they were stupid. <laughs> There's just no way that would happen. Oh, oh my oh. god, that looks wrong. Wow. For anyone who doesn't know, we have all the N64 features turned off, so... Right. Now you know how designed around the texture filtering and everything this game was. I mean, just oh look. God. Yeah, let me let me turn that on real quick. Oh, wow. As I said, when games are designed with that in mind, they look really great. Yeah, you should also turn on the dithering and the de-dithering. Because that, that allows it to do gradients correctly. Yeah, it does. Wow, look at that. Those three features mean everything. That is literally how you make the game look how it should. It's so funny. That's so fucking unreal that it looked like that. The 60 frames per second Ocarina of Time menu isn't real. It can't hurt you. <laughs> That's just too fast. It shouldn't spin that fast. <laughs> In the vast deep forest of Hyrule. Long have I served as a guardian spirit. I'm known as the Dick Tree. Well, in the Japan, the, the, the U is... You, you don't pronounce it like a long U. <laughs> it's just a... The children of the forest, the cockery, live with me. <laughs> Each cock has his or her own guardian fairy. You, you sure you're supposed to say it like That's that? That's how this is pronounced. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. <laughs> yeah, this also seems weirdly high, like weirdly crisp. Like, because we have the anti aliasing thing and the bilinear filtering turned off. Right. It's nice. Tan knows Japanese, don't worry about it exactly. <laughs> Zelda is a fucking cool franchise. Did you know that? I noticed. It's pretty crazy. Zelda's pretty cool. I feel like the gamma thing might need to be on. Because it feels like weirdly dark. I mean, that seems dark. No, even before that. The, yeah, it's not this no, weird. that was also dark because it's nighttime and you were asleep. Yeah, no, I know it's supposed to be dark, but I feel like it, had, it looked even weirder, like not okay. quite right. I think you're wrong, but... <laughs> I like the little dithering artifacts existing around Navi. Yeah. Those are here to stay. You don't get a choice on those. <laughs> no. DJ, there's this, and Navi pulls out the gun. <laughs> uh, B. No. Okay. <laughs> in normal dialogue. Right, maybe. in normal time. Not, not here. He, he was talking about the other scenes in Nocturne. I'm thinking of remembering the only time I have beaten Ocarina of Time is on an emulator with keyboard only. Oof. <laughs> I just remember the dumbest, whitest kid you know sketch ever, and I will not elaborate. What if? Uh huh. 
What if it just looked wrong? Yeah, what if it looked hideous? What if there's squares of color oh everywhere? Oh my god. Right, because the background is just a 2D image. Yeah. And it's expecting yeah. to be scaled correctly instead of jittering. <laughs> hey. It looks a little different. <laughs> and even the text was massively affected by that. Right? Uh, uh, it makes sense that they would have gotten this working pretty well. I guess who a bunch of people are testing this exact thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would it surprise you to know that there are ROM hacks that make it so you can bash through text like this much faster? No, not at all. <laughs> but what if it was off? I like oh. how much the C buttons look like shit when you turn that off. Right? But the, <laughs> the, the one on the right's melting. <laughs> oh, thank God it's 30. I was scared it might be like the title screen. God, Link's face, go back. You still have the filter turned off, right? Yep. Look at Link's yeah. fucking face, yeah, it's, it's melting. The poor boy. Okay, it looks melting either way. You're right, apparently. I feel like some emulators ha do, did have problems where just bringing up the pause screen caused them to like, Oh, yeah. Out. Yeah, 100%. Like, yeah, because I have to take that picture. X N64 emulators were very troubled for a very long time. They might even still be, frankly. Do you want to save? I mean, I want to save those features I just enabled. <laughs> Oh no, the stereo mix. Oh no, the stereo mix. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the core recreating the N64 so accurately you have the ability to lobotomize it. That is important. I am really curious if Majora is going to do this well. Yeah, let's just go ahead and check it. Okay. They're still the most troubled emulator of an old console, to my knowledge. Yeah, that makes sense. The only way you could get more troubled than that was include the next generation. Because then you would have to deal with Xbox original and PS2. Right. Which, good job to the Dolphin team. They made the GameCube something that's relatively emulatable. So, like, that's a fucking miracle in and of itself. Oh, yeah, 20. We gotta decimate that frame rate to get the whoosh. The whoosh looks so cool, though, right? Uh, Well, it probably would look better if the features were all turned on. <laughs> Let's turn on the features. <laughs> Teehee, said the spooky man. Is Saturn much better? I don't know. Yeah, I feel like Saturn I always hear being in rough shape, too. Yeah, I don't know the modern state of Saturn versus the modern state of N64. Right. But the Saturn was just as troubled back then, at very least. Yeah. It truly is funny that the PS1 came along so fast that Bleem existed on the fucking Dreamcast. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. Meanwhile, Saturn's like, oh no, why? GameCube's relatively stock power PC, from what I gather. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. It's still, like, complicated in a sense. You know, there's a lot going on there and some pretty high-end hardware, but it's a pretty stock, pretty powerful console, so. It makes sense that it would be easier, but it's just, it, I think it's very impressive. Speak, stop doing the 60 frames per second menus. It's great. Ah. <laughs> Can you play some weird busted version of Pikmin if you put the disc in a PC? They included the PC version of the game they were developing on the disc. Like, it's still there today. It's still in the Switch version. What? Yeah. 
since the Switch port of Pikmin 1 is just an emulated port. That's crazy. Yeah, it is. I wonder if anyone looked at that and determined whether or not it was Dolphin. Because it wouldn't surprise me if Nintendo just went, this is ours now. Right. Like, no, no, no. Yeah, just put the Switch cart in your PC. I wonder if emulating that... Um, oh, man, that font is not working. <laughs> this is it with all the features off Yeah, again. you need the filtering for the fucking font in this game. It's something I'm figuring out very fast. Mm -hmm. What were you saying? Uh, if they ever got emulation of that weird arcade that Strider 2 uses down. Strider 2. Zinc, I think it is. Something like that. This looks fucking wrong. Is Gamma turned off? Yeah, let's turn off. Gamma on because I'm pretty sure this shouldn't be this bright. I guess that it should be. Huh. I guess. Weird. <laughs> I wonder if everything was smirched. Sony ZN2 hardware is what Strider 2 is on. That's bizarre. Yeah, I remember getting the emulator working was not easy and it did not work great. Real quick, before this cutscene's over, turn on dither and de-dither because this cutscene should not be this bright. Like, even chat's agreeing with me on this. Something's fucking wrong, wrong here. I'm gonna go watch a whole new video of this. One moment. <laughs> yeah, I always remember it being, like, foggy and not necessarily that dark, but maybe I'm wrong. I feel like it's supposed to be a little darker than this. Man, that's when we had those cool t-shirts. 